Just ask them how I did it. I got out the limo, grabbed the hand, went upstairs and fucked her. swallowed up have you gone through a time of swallowing
want to be the best in the game. Invest in my name. Check no restraints. I'm obsessed with the pain. I ingest, I retain. Assess and I change. Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day from society's restraints. Money, clout, and fame. Mud disease, a plague. We all love to hate. Have to play the game. Have to make a name. All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy. Think that it was meant to be. Living in a time where disease is on every screen. I won't let them fester me. I know most are festering. Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak. No mercy. All I got is working. Never stop searching. Never quench the thirsty. I'm toxic and psychotic. With this logic, you can't stop it. It's been chronic since I was a boy. So neurotic and chaotic. Oh. To last with the webs I'm weaving. I could change the past with all I'm achieving. Got my foot on gas. Never stop competing. If you break like glass, then this life's gonna eat them. Make mistakes real fast. Then you yeah. run out of time. Yeah. I'm on it. I just wanna be iconic. Sipping on a gin and tonic. Got me going off when I'm on this topic. Yeah, if I ever play, I want it. You know that I'm always honest. Stay away from those who are toxic. Keep them out your face. No way you don't want it. Yeah. Don't try to drain my energy. The enemy is everything. It's mentally unhealthily spreading like a rare disease. But I won't let it get to me. I don't need your therapy. I can leave a legacy of leading by intensity. Come on, we can fight this. Freedom is priceless. Late night crew. What the fuck is going on, man? Happy Wednesday. Happy Thursday to you fuckers on the East Coast. And to my folks up north. Say what's up to your boy. God is great, ain't he, Rhonda? Samoy. Number five, Chadrick. Janice, Bob. Janice, I went back. I didn't, but you still was a fucking clout demon. Damn, even Steph Curry missed free throws. What the fuck? Janine. Community. Com- uh, community. My bad. Number five, Kendra. Anita. Betty. Natasha, thanks for the email. What up, Tommy? The cap. I feel good this evening. Hush, what's happening? RG, what up? Somebody told me we hit 10K yesterday. God is great. Jerry, what's happening? Well, I don't know about everybody, Mike, but I'm doing tremendous. Stupendous, maybe. Even. I just like letting the beat ride tonight. Just want to let it ride. You can't play with my yo, 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 yo. Don't try to play me out. Don't try to play me out. What's up, yo, yo? Everybody that made donations last night, I got you in the intro tomorrow. Shay was sluggish today. <laughs> Carol God is indeed great. Cloud is indeed great. Uh, apparently so, Janice. Lucille, great evening. 
Apparently so. Apparently you want all the clout. Joe Law, what's happening? Hey. Um. Welcome to the Pterodome, bitch. Pterodome, bitch. Miss Ivy, what up? Something told me, hey, Shay. Why don't you take a look at the nigga in the 501 jacket? The Gargamel looking motherfucker. Y'all gonna tell me that Andrew Holmes don't look like Gargamel? That's what y'all gonna tell me? Hold on, what is this, cuz? Hold on, there's a guy. Got a piece. I just got a piece of mail. I got to check right now. Oh, yeah. We'll be playing this on the show. This nigga don't look like Gargamel. Look at him. You can't tell me which one Andrew Holmes is. I had to label it. It's the same nigga. It's the same nigga. Uh, we got some stories to tell about Andrew Holmes, my nigga. <laughs> but, 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 let's not get ahead of ourselves. First of all, Mayor Henyard. I saw you made an appearance last night and you was looking kind of tasty. You tamed that motherfucking wig you had on a little fitted tee. The motherfucking titties was sitting nice and shit. I mean, you still evil. I mean, <laughs> that shit don't really work on me. But I, I, I saw you last night, boo. I saw you last night, boo. Mayor Henry was out in Thornton, Thornton Township last night. The Otis, what up, cuz? Bless him, what up? This is Chicago's very own WGN Evening News at 5. WGN Investigates has an update on a deficit of trust in the south suburbs. It's Come leading mayors to urge their residents to vote no on a proposed tax for mental health services. And the mayors say the politician asking for that money can't be trusted. Investigators... <laughs> <laughs> what was that? It's leading mayors to urge their residents to vote no on a proposed tax for mental health services. And the mayors say the politician asking for that money can't be trusted. <laughs> and the mayors say the politician asking for that money can't be trusted. <laughs> Go ahead and keep it a stack there. Get a reporter Ben Bradley here with the story. Mental illness is real. I don't care what y'all say. Mental hold on, nigga. She looking. She hold on, nigga. Yeah, she got it caked on. And yeah, real. she got the little double chin popping. Look, I understand all of that. This is the best Tiffany's look in about three, four weeks, nigga. You still putting on too much makeup. We still know that it's Tunchi under there. We know it's young moolah baby up under there, but hold on. Money can't be trusted. Yeah, she can't. Reporter Ben Bradley here with the story. Mental illness is real. I don't care what y'all say. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Tiffany. Oh, no. Look at all this shit. She, her shit look like Little Richard. This is how Little Richard used to do his makeup and hair.
These niggas got the same skin tone, nigga. She just made hers a little more chocolatey than his. He went a little more red bone, and she went chocolate. Nigga, they got the same fucking makeup artist. This is outrageous, nigga. This is this is fucking outrageous, nigga. <laughs> and here she come with that motherfucker. Just don't do it, swoop. Does your hair part any other way? I'm well, the hair that you bought, does it part any other way? Never mind. Politician asking for that money can't be trusted. Investigative reporter Ben Bradley here with the story. Mental illness is real. I don't care what y'all say. Mental illness is real. But y'all have to be willing to do something about it. Illinois' largest township, which covers all or part of 17 south suburbs, wants to provide new mental health services and facilities and is asking voters to approve a new tax to pay for it. Me, Tiffany Henry, I support the tax. It's $42. The Thornton Township mental health tax would add an extra $42 per year on a $100,000 home. Oh, hell no, nah, bitch. I'm not giving you $42. For what? They hope to raise $2.9 million in all. Residents spoke for and against the tax Monday night. When we vote down your tax increase, I hope every one of the residents also vote down these trustees who supported you? Damn! Yay! 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 Yeah! She belongs to the streets. Everybody hollering about that. This tax here, this tax there. If it's something that's dealing with mental illness, we got to do something about this. And if the township want to step up and do something, then hey, we ought to support them. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You don't just get to say we doing mental health shit. What are we? What about mental health are we addressing? Eleven of seventeen mayors who represent suburbs in the township, along with two Cook County commissioners and a state set sports mania. Scott Carroll was happening. Senator penned this letter urging a no vote. They call it a needless and inefficient duplication of services. But also add Township Supervisor Tiffany Henyard essentially can't be trusted with the money. They Hell no, she can't. Reference our reporting on Tiffany Henyard's unexplained spending of tax dollars on first class travel, restaurant meals, self promotion, and more. Basically, fighting against the devil. How are you fighting against the devil when you running around doing the devil's bidding at all costs? Evil spirits. I'm the good spirit. They, they, they the evil spirit because I know. I'm losing my motherfucking mind, man. They the evil spirits. I'm the good spirit. <laughs> Who the fuck be writing this whole speeches, man? What the fuck is this, bro? Like, bitch, are you for real? What the fuck does she be talking, nigga? She just be talking, nigga. First class travel, restaurant meals, self promotion, and more. Basically fighting against the devil, the evil spirits. I'm the good spirit. They, they, they the evil spirit because I never seen nobody try to tear down people this much. We in the news every single day. Y'all, if y'all ain't gaddy, I don't know what to tell you. I am a black single parent. You know, Rick is so wild and has went so far off the, the meter. It's shit that I can't even tell, talk, tell you on TV. I mean, you know, I, for the sake of our friendship, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not even gonna bring it up, but trust me, he's went there. He, he, he has went where it's like, yo, Rick, man, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? You done took this shit too far. And his response is like this. There's no such players. Darkness. Let's go to the abyss, nigga. <laughs> I'm not with it, man. I don't want to go to the abyss, man. You know what I'm saying? Rick wants to go to the abyss. 
In fact, he dwells in the abyss. Rick James dwells in the abyss, okay? And he, and he wants company sometimes, you know? And, and for some reason, he likes to reach out for me. Whenever I'm around, when he, when he wants to go there, he will reach out for me to try to take me to the abyss with him. And I'm not with it, man. I'm not with it. And that's when we end up, you know, tussling or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Here we go with this bullshit. So since you're a single black mother, does that mean you fucking? Because other than that, what are you telling me for? She be dead ass and somebody has told her this shit's going to work. This shit ain't never going to work. Kells, what do you think about this strategy? Is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense. I'm black and a woman. Don't you know I'm black with, and I'm a woman? I'm black with a vagina. I'm I'm a, I'm a have a vagina that I didn't keep closed until I was married. So I deserve sympathy for that. And 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 and, and, and I'm black. So you know my my ancestors were slaves. I ain't no slave. You know what? I actually became mayor, which is against everything that I could ever use about, you know, black people behind the eight ball. No, actually, I became a mayor. First black female. That's me. But you know what? But you know why they are attacking me in the media? It ain't because of all the reckless spending. It's because I'm a single black woman. Now, it's a damn shame that I'm only 41 and a mayor and a supervisor of a whole fucking township and still can't get a man. <laughs> I'm just somebody's side bitch. <laughs> I'm just so funny side, bitch. <laughs> All this boss bitch shit. She still, this bitch became, nigga, Kevin Samuels is, bro, Kevin, y'all better be lucky Kevin Samuels is dead. Kevin Samuels would be all over this. He'd be like, look, here's the modern woman right here. This bitch is the mayor and the township supervisor. She still can't get a man and she's still somebody's side bitch. <laughs> Married niggas call my phone. <laughs> <laughs> but she a boss though, right? <laughs> I don't know what her status gonna be when she at the prison yard, nigga. <laughs> All that boss bitch shit might go. You better start learning how to do your natural hair because you ain't gonna have much time to learn where you, nigga, it's gonna happen fast. You need to start, you need to take that helmet off and we need to see what the fuck's up under there and you need to start letting that shit breathe real air before you have to start breathing prison air. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I can't stand that fucking... Bro, she, she's in a town full of black people. <laughs> That's what makes this shit worse. It ain't nothing but black people there. <laughs> It's all fucking black people there. This bitch is still like, it's racism, nigga. What are you talking about? All the people, that, ain't the governor black? Ain't the fucking attorney general? Everybody's black, nigga. Everybody, everybody's black except Burt Odelson, nigga. <laughs> the one person you probably wish was a nigga ain't a nigga. <laughs> Oh my goodness. She really pulled the single black mother card to and understand this is her response to the fact that she quite possibly covered up a rape. Her response to that is <laughs> they just coming at me because I'm a single black mother. 
is the victim a mother? Is she a single black mother? I, I honestly don't know. And I, and I don't need nobody to look and don't be doxing no shit like that. Again, how are you pulling the single black woman card in response to a black woman getting raped? Can somebody make this make sense? Or allegedly a black woman. I don't know, but I just assumed that her assistant would be black. And I get beat up on every day. We in the news every single day. Y'all, if y'all ain't gaddy, I don't know what to tell you. I am a black single parent and I get beat up on every day. It's not just trust and transparency that's lacking. A new complaint filed by Henyard's former assistant says she was fired for reporting to Henyard an alleged sexual assault by a Dalton trustee on a taxpayer-funded trip to Vegas. I mean, if any of that is true, it's just, I mean, unacceptable. It's just disgusting. I mean, I don't see how, you know, which could continue as a township supervisor. Well, that... Okay, so now I got to reach out to Thornton Township because now I need to ask them. I need to talk to somebody over there so somebody can educate me on, okay, at what point would she have to step down? Trustees call for Henyard's resignation won't have much of an impact because all of the other trustees on the township board are Henyard loyalists, some of whom have enjoyed that first-class travel on the taxpayer's dime. She does face significant opposition in Dalton where she's... See, that's what I'm saying. And don't you realize, remember what uh, Trustee Belcher said? Trustee Belcher was telling us, she was like, look, yo, she said, she said something about them Thornton Township niggas and she said something about them niggas most likely being in cells next to each other. So all of you uh, uh, Thornton niggas, hey, I'm about to be looking into y'all too. Because over there, over there, they like helping her. Over there, it's a lot of niggas helping her. Succeeding, what's happening? Kiki, what up? Truth, what's happening? The mayor and opposing trustees there have called for a federal investigation. That mental health tax question well, that is on Tuesday's ballot. Micah and Ray? Well, so we'll see what happens with that vote come election day. It's the second time around. It narrowly lost the first time, so we'll see. All right, Ben, thank you for that. <clears throat> yo, yo, the fool. Yeah, everybody except the Hispanic dude. The Hispanic dude be jaying her ass down. I will, nigga, when, when she tried to lie about the fucking assessor shit, he was the only one jaying her down. She was clearly lying. Boston, I got one special for you tonight. I got a special piece of content for you tonight. Cause I got one more video I want to show before I look at um some of these. You ain't even gonna believe some of these. Uh, you're not even gonna believe what? some of these motherfucking um uh, these Andrew um Holmes videos. Yeah, this video's for you, Boston. 218 people in here. Hit the fucking like button because we about to have fun. Shout out to Tommy G, nigga. Tommy G posted a video seven hours ago called Exposing the Most Corrupt Mayor in Motherfucking America. America, America. Somebody went to Dalton to do an audit. Somebody went to Dalton to do an audit. Oh, shit. So now Dalton getting ready to get more broke. 
trustees, y'all need to reach out to the motherfucking Lacey and tell this nigga he's going to cost the city a lot of money if he's out here violating niggas civil rights on camera. You can't be violating some motherfucking silver niggas. YouTube is on it. The YouTube investigators are starting to show up. They showing up from their cribs like me. They showing up on the set like others. Tiffany. In other words, the pain is a coming. I would have been swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing? Practical nuke incoming! Sir, can you explain to us a little bit? I will not. You guys step over there on public property. The goons have come. Was that Lacey already? Sir, can you explain to us a little bit? I will not. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Didn't I just tell the trustees to go tell this nigga not to violate somebody's civil rights on camera? I can't, we can't even get 10 seconds into the video, and it appears to be Lacey's getting ready to violate a motherfucking civil rights on camera. Nigga, you can't, you can't make this up. These dudes do this for a living, Lacey. They do th these. Uh, what did I say last night when they showed that pussy ass white boy last night? I was like, y'all got lucky it was him. Because if the real niggas show up, y'all not doing them real niggas like that. Not even 10 seconds into the video. Here this nigga. Why is Lacey so hands on? You ain't you the chief? I thought the chief worked all the way to get to the point to not have to be this hands on. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Lacey's so fucking stupid. You guys step over there on public property. The goons have come out. The, this is public property, you dumbass. This nigga said, go step on public property. Nigga, this, this nigga called 12. <laughs> Look at these weak ass niggas. And white people, of course, it's only 10 of y'all there and one of y'all police officer. Damn it, bro. There's only like 10 white people in Dalton and one of y'all niggas is a cop. Of course. Oh, boy, boy, boy. It's going to be a long one this evening, bro. <laughs> this nigga putting his gloves on. He ready to get hands on like a motherfucker, nigga. When they putting the gloves on, he only putting the gloves on because he want to get hands on. Tommy G, they call me. Milwaukee. Milwaukee representative. Hello, folks. I'm Tommy G. Today, we're looking into the most corrupt mayor in America, allegedly. <laughs> hey, nigga, shout out to Tommy G, nigga. Expose this bitch. The mayor. Is she a hero or a villain? Some. No. <laughs> we're in the town with potentially one of the most corrupt mayors in America. We're still looking, but this is just for videotaping. Look how many police they brought out here. Are you gonna get this? Is just for video. Look at Chief Lacey, bow legged, odd build ass nigga. <laughs> Chief Lacey, why you built like a fifth grader, nigga? <laughs> this nigga look like a husky kid, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga built like a fat ass fifth grader nigga oh shit <laughs> this nigga built like an oak tree stump <laughs> Hey, you're not gonna videotape it. Shut your fat ass up, nigga. Before I dunk on you, nigga. <laughs> oh, 
shit. <laughs> This nigga built like an oil barrel. <laughs> this nigga the same size and height of an oil barrel. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> this nigga is literally the plane boss, the plane, nigga. This nigga be sitting this is the plane, Tiffany, the plane. <laughs> This nigga, his mama told you put that damn snowsuit on for you go outside. You put it on now. Lacey, you got that snowsuit on? Yes, ma'am. Oh, shit. Let me calm down. I'm mad this nigga Lacey built like this. That caught a nigga off guard. I, I was not quite ready for that, bro. Oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> We're in the town with potentially one of the most corrupt mayors in America. We're still looking, but this is just for videotaping. Look how many police they brought out here. Are you going to get in your vehicle? Yeah, I'll get in mine, you get in yours. One day while scrolling through TikTok, I was assaulted by a barrage of videos covering Dalton, Illinois Mayor Tiffany Henyer. She refers to herself as the super mayor as well as- Hold the on, nigga. How did you- YouTube. Because I don't think Tommy's lying. YouTube. How did he do all that scrolling and then scroll past one of my videos? Come on, YouTube, do better. Most powerful woman in Chicago South Side, but does she use her power for good? People on the internet and in her own community have been calling her the most corrupt mayor in America. And here are some of the things she's been accused of. Stripping business licenses away from people that don't contribute to her charity, pay for play kickbacks and bribes, taking lavish first class trips on the taxpayer dime, making the city pay for her own. Oh, and at, oh, when she was on the taxpayer's dime, yeah, her assistant got raped and she helped covered it up, allegedly personal ice skating rink, using the taxpayer money as a marketing budget for self-promotion for things like 122 billboards with her face on it, and using tens of thousands of taxpayer money dollars per month to hire a PR firm that's designed to clean up her image. And I'll give her this, her image is tough to clean up. Here's some more reasons why. <laughs> yeah, it is. Why? She double dips as both the mayor of Dalton and the village of Thornton Township supervisor, and she's made it so that if she's not re-elected as supervisor, the incoming person would receive a 90% pay cut. She's racked up credit card debt like she's trying to set a record, and she tells the residents things like, B better have my money. I hope you have fun taking this picture with, with motherfucking Joe Biden. This is the last one. You will never be that close to that white man that's in that mask ever again. That will be the last time you'll be next to a nigga in a Joe Biden costume. You can wrap that shit up. And compares herself to Martin Luther King. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. It's alleged that she rolls around like a crime boss. Some people claim that she's even gone Jimmy, as was far good. as having the cars of people that oppose her shot up to intimidate them. She rolls around in a convoy of extensive private security, of course on the taxpayer dollar, and it's said that she has the police force in her pocket partly due to the outrageous amounts of overtime she allows her officers to be paid. Again, on the taxpayer dollar. I hope you're noticing the theme here. Unfortunately for Tiffany and her police chief lapdog, Officer Louis Lay I have in my possession receipts, disciplinary forms, documents, and insider information that we will. <clears throat> he was going to use what? Hold on. Let me see if I can go back to the beginning of this message. Wait, what? In the theme here. Unfortunately for Tiffany and her police chief lapdog, Officer Lewis Lacey, I have in my. To Sergeant L. Lacey <clears throat> from Lieutenant Jenna Wojak. Okay. On. June 1st, 2004, you were verbally ordered to submit a letter of explanation and a re recommendation when a laptop computer was left in the tactical car. On June 2nd, 2004, the required information was not received. <clears throat> you were then left a written order to submit the original request and submit a second letter of explanation as to why you disobeyed the first order. As of June 3rd, 2004, none of these orders have been obeyed. I therefore find you in violation of the Dalton Police Department rules and regulations as outlined in the department operations manual in particular. So, nigga, you done been in trouble. Possession, receipts, disciplinary forms, documents, and insider... Lieutenant Lacey exited his police vehicle or, he's, or, or he was going to use his taser gun. This was on 157th and Dobson. I did not understand why he was approaching me that way. I was scared, so I followed his orders. Sergeant or Lieutenant Lacey put his knee in my back and punched me in my back and my face. 
I was not being combative. Sergeant or Man, Lieutenant we Lacey put handcuffs on me. Then he snatched me up. Lieutenant Dying. or Sergeant... Hold on, let's go back. Unfortunately for Tiffany and her police chief lapdog, Officer Lewis Lacey, I have in my possession receipts, disciplinary... This nigga think he's Stringer Bell, nigga. ...forms, documents, and insider information that we will be diving in... Damn it. I missed it again. Unfortunately for Tiffany and her police about chief music. lapdog, Officer Lewis Lacey, I have in my possession receipts, disciplinary forms, documents, and insider information that we will be... <clears throat> he then snatched me up. Lieutenant Sergeant Lacey asked who vehicle was playing the music. You did all of that to ask a motherfucker who was playing music? You beat they ass and then was like, who's playing the music? Oh, so you got a Napoleon complex, too. Look, man, short, stubby niggas can get bad bitches, bro. You just got to have game, and you don't have any. Diving into in great detail today. Folks, this channel does not stand for bullies, and by the end of my expose, I'm sure you'll draw the conclusion that Tiffany, Officer Lacey, and their cronies are not only bullies of the worst kind, but an absolute disgrace to the title of public servant. The FBI is currently investigating her, so I hope she gets to see this video, but I'm not sure what the Wi Fi situation is in Cook County Jail. Let's begin the episode. Hey, hey. First day out and back to work, like shit ain't nothing happening. Nothin Was gone a hundred ninety some days, but shit, I'm back in action. Right Pull on this block and put my gloves on just like Michael Jackson. <laughs> Hopefully, folks, if you're watching this right now, you have the privilege of living in a democracy. And if you live in a democracy, that means that you've elected people that should represent you and have your best interest at heart. Right? The cap. Right now in the United States, we have a crisis with our politicians. There's an awful lot of people that are abusing their positions of power to enrich themselves and to f you, the citizen. You can look at the national level where we have people like Tommy Tuberville, Nancy Pelosi, U.S. Senators and Congress people. Damn, that Nancy Pelosi, she looked like she a thousand and two. All being full-time politicians are also somehow the best stock traders we've ever seen. They're outperforming Wall Street. Today, folks, we look at it at a local level. We're looking at the most corrupt mayor in America. And I have to say allegedly, because this mayor, Tiffany Henyer, she likes using the legal system. People that don't agree with her or speak out. Pull up. When y'all ready to pull up on my YouTube channel, I'll be waiting and I'll win. And then I'm going to sue the shit out of y'all niggas. I'm not even going to sue the village. I'm just going to sue y'all personally. And you won't have qualified immunity. Not even the mayor. And then when I sue the fuck out of you personally and win, I promise I will donate every penny outside of my legal fees that you will be paying for. I will donate every motherfucking penny to the city or to the village of Dalton. That's on my mama. So try me if you feel, if you niggas in, if you niggas in that motherfucking city hall feeling froggy, I'm with the shits. We can keep it gangster. We can keep it cordial. How you want to go about it? Against her, she's a lot of cases that have been filed. Y'all should be ashamed of y'all stuff. Y'all black and y'all sitting up here feeding and attacking on a black woman. I want to avoid being dragged into court by her. So I'm going to say this is all alleged. This is all my opinion. And we'll let the FBI, who's also in town right now, determine the facts of the case. We're speaking to a lot of people, angry, upset, and ready to speak out against. So he talked to Thornton Township Assessor. This lady right here, so you know this is Miss Stubbs. They shot at her house. This is Mr. Gonzalez. He's a trustee for Thornton. This is the county is this is the Thornton Township Assessor. Come come on, trustee Belcher. <laughs> I told you I was gonna get better at it. This is the uh Thornton Township Assessor. This is the lady that got locked out when and then when she tried to interview with Dane Placco, Dane Placco tried to kick her out. And yeah, she thick. And, of course, this is trustee Tammy Brown, trustee of Dalton, the village of Dalton, and has called for her resignation. Against this mayor for all the egregious things she's allegedly done. So, folks, let's pull up, let's hit the streets, and let's dive into this story. Let go of the purse, but I can be without it. Couldn't think, couldn't even eat, couldn't even sleep without it. They locked my dog up for an M, and I want to speak about it. Mayor First of all, I, I'm going to reach out to, I've reached out to Jason House today and I reached out to Dr. Scott. I don't want to reach out to too many people at two times, uh, two, uh, you know, at once. You know, I don't want everybody saying yes at once. So you know, just space it out. <clears throat> but I definitely want to talk to Tammy Brown because in my research, what I've learned is Trustee Brown, she ain't never, she was never going for this. 
Like, pretty much day one, she was voting no on shit. Even when the other trustees were. And that's why I kind of feel like they, I, I don't know. This is just my personal opinion from the outside looking in. I just feel like they feel like they kind of owe Tammy. Because I think they feel like they probably should listen to her a little more. I could be wrong. The hero or villain? She's a villain. She really don't be doing nothing for us. She tried to make a big show, a big act, but she's not doing stuff that really needs to be done. We hey, man, shout out to White Castle, nigga. Where my Midwest niggas at? <clears throat> Last time I had White Castles was when I went to Chicago. I ain't getting none when I went home to nap. But shout out to White Castle, man. Only, only my Midwest people be knowing. I heard that the FBI is in town looking into her. They are. What is she allegedly guilty of, do you think? Well, just so you know, you don't work at White Castle no more. She getting ready to take White Castle license. White Castle, y'all can't operate in Dalton no more, and you can thank this bitch. Stealing that money. Because you know her family work with her. Most likely she's stealing money and giving it to her family and using it for herself instead of giving it to the people that actually need it. And she be having her names all on the trucks and stuff. Like, it be everywhere. Bills obtained by Fox 32 under open records laws shows Thornton Township paid more than $10,000 for the vinyl signs themselves. If you could speak with her directly, anything you would say to Tiffany. Do better. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. White. Yes, yeah, science. Bitch, do better. Naptown, stand the fuck up. My hometown. Did you know the mayor, Tiffany? Yeah. Hero or villain? Villain! She's a gangster. Pulling up to the administration. She's a gangster. <laughs> they talk about this bitch like she Griselda Blanco building we're meeting trustees people that are our public servants and want to speak out against her let's see who we have gathered so mayor tiffany hero or villain from what i know villain her the security guards is getting like 300 hours on their checks and stuff the officers are paid every two weeks which without overtime is 80 hours but when they're put on henyard's detail no motherfucking detail of the mayor should be wearing a biggie small shirt nigga <laughs> this is fucking this nigga got a dodgers hat on what is this? This nigga, aren't you a fireman or a paramedic? That's a paramedic uh, joint. That 80 hours balloons to well over 100 hours. Look at Lacey's checks, nigga. Look at Lacey. 120 and a half hours, 117, 84. Lacey, you lying. Lacey, you worked 144 hours, then 146, 8. Nigga, Lacey getting $9,000 checks every two weeks? Nine, eight thousand nine ninety nine, dollars 9899 $8,435, $5,845, $7,200, $6,200, $7,100, 80, this nigga got an $8,864.69 paycheck for two weeks. Doing what, nigga? What the fuck were you doing? Look over at this other one. 7,600, 6,400, 6,200. This nigga just be, this nigga don't ever clock out. This nigga don't ever clock out. Thank you, Bob. 144.66, 146.35. Sometime. Yeah, and these ain't even the records. Marissa Curry, $4,700 checks, $6,800 checks. It's 200 hours. And in the more Lacey's. Nigga, Lacey had a $36,000 check. <sighs> On April 9th, this nigga had a $36,000. $168.74 paycheck. You see that shit? And it was only for 91 hours. Javon Barksdale, what up, kid?
Nigga, these niggas is cashing out. This nigga had a $7,900 check. The case of Officer Terry. Look at this shit. 200, 239 hours. 11,190. 180. Hey, this nigga, when he found out, it, look, he was doing cool at first, but once he found out it was on. First of all, he had he had one time where he had no pay, no hours. He got three hundred five dollars, but still somehow got four thousand dollars. So he got three hundred five. So I guess some vacation hours or something. Then he doubled back the next month, did it again. But this time, instead of just doing three hundred five, he did three thousand eight hundred and ninety three dollars. So then once he found out he was getting away with it, 122, 5,000, 122, 5,000, fuck it, 144, 6,000, 125, 5,200, 180, 8,100, fuck it, 239, 11,000, 171, 162, 169, 210. This nigga, once he found out it was cool, his checks never dropped under 6,000. One, one, whatever happened in July to let them niggas know it was cool at the end of July, this nigga started cashing out. This nigga doubled up his checks in a couple months. Doubled them up. Young last May. Look at all of this bread. And then there it go right there. See, we all, everybody talks about the 303 hours and where he got 13,000. But nigga, look before it, 190 for 9,700. Then before that, 233 for 10,000. Then 203 for 9,200. All they want to keep bringing up is that 303. Look at all of this shit. And then these niggas get up in the meeting and go, we need more money. Fuck you. You niggas is cashing the fuck out on the village, nigga. Yeah, and that's 303 OT hours. Hours worked over a two-week period. That resulted in a single paycheck of more than $13,000. How does a person put in a two-week pay period, 303 hours? That's impossible. How are you securing somebody in your sleep? How are you getting 300 hours so you know that she's pulling money from somewhere? Because he counts when he fall asleep in the pussy. So if he's fucking her and he falls asleep in the pussy... He's still technically on the clock. He's still protecting her. So, 303 hours. Cash me out. Nowhere. She's not pulling out her butt. So, clearly, we know this means something. I'm rocking some new attire, okay? Rip mainstream media. They've tried attacking me, this channel, because we stand for truth and actually talking to people. So, if you want to join the resistance, join the movement, link is in the description. And I'm actually going to FaceTime three people that buy it in the next 48 hours. I'm picking three of you to FaceTime, talk to you, connect to you. So, join the movement, link in the description. What do you expect of a mayor when you elect them? What kind of behavior do you expect? Leadership, inclusiveness. Mm -hmm. What is a trustee? The governing body. We maintain the finances, amend, and make laws for the community. Now, if she doesn't do <laughs> see, see, Ms. Belcher, I'd pull up, you know what I mean? I'd pull up and interview it all on the ground, but I don't use too many bitches already. <laughs> I ain't scared. I just <coughs> don't want to see any <coughs> We don't need to be taking that <coughs> hit right now. <coughs> Go to prison for this. Will you be putting any money on her commissary? No. Hit that like button. Police, as her scapegoat to intimidate, retaliate, people speak against her. They're giving people tickets. It's just a lot of stuff. The police are in her pocket? Yes. Are they on her payroll or what? Police are payroll. Do you think she's a hero or a villain? A villain. She. <laughs> Stop the cap, nigga. She shot my fucking house up. The bitch is definitely a villain. She had them fucking young boys shoot my shit up. And it's all because I try to get her out of the position of mayor in the Thornton Township Supervisor. So, yeah, she's a fucking villain. He is spending all the Village of Dalton tax dollars and Thornton Township, which is part of the Village of Dalton. This is Valeria Stubbs, a vocal critic of the mayor who believes her home was shot up at the request of the mayor, stemming from a bitter feud they had last summer. Asked if she believed that Henyard was behind the shooting, Stubbs did not hesitate. Yeah, that's right. I saw you coming out the nursing home the other day. I start them. 
Absolutely, she told the New York Post. We have some of the highest taxes, property taxes, in the Southland. And because we have a food desert out here, lack of businesses, we need all the tax dollars that we can get. She created Greenwood Falls ice skating rink that is never open, that does not generate any revenue whatsoever. None. Zip Zero, and is named after her daughter. It's your mayor, Tiffany A. Henry. The Look at this nigga jacket. People's mayor, we're finally in the second phase of Greenwood Falls. And remember, we do this for you, residents, because we care. You come first. I saw a video where she was in the ice rink having a party. Only when she's having something is the ice skating rink open. So she. No, no, you, you lying. This bitch brags about this ice rink all day long. All she do is brag about that fucking ice skate rink to only find out it's only open when her daughter want to use it. Oh, well, sounds like Justice Ice Rink or Justice Rink. She basically has a personal ice rink that she's funded through taxpayer dollars and gets to use for her own parties. Yes. When she... <laughs> This is why she ride around with security. Because she knows that somebody should probably try her at this point. He went to a board meeting and dressed as Nino Brown. Said that the residents, Blink, better have her money. What's being referred to right now is the town hall meeting when Mayor Tiffany walked in dressed as Nino Brown from the movie New Jack City with the Rihanna song playing in the background, better have my money, as a message to her residents. Every single resident. Pay me what you owe me. Pay me what you owe me. When she do it now, nigga. Hey, as a matter of fact, hey, get the collection baskets and go around this motherfucking meeting. Deacon, get that basket around the back there, nigga. Fails to realize is that that is not her money. That is the taxpayer money. But this is much bigger than Mayor Tiffany. This is a larger trend around the country of public servants and institutions showing that they have no regard where our money goes or how they piss it away. For example, the Department of Defense has failed their audit the last 10 years in a row and are unable to account for up to $3.1 trillion worth of assets. They are accountable to us. We fund them. So my question to them is where is our money? And they need. <laughs> Come on, Tommy G. Those are bars. Bitch, where is our money? To answer that. There's two sides of this. There's the township and the village. And she kind of double dipped. She's the mayor of the... She's the mayor of the village. She's the mayor of the village. And she's also a the supervisor. supervisor for the Thornton Township. And combined her income from this job is... Well, I say over $300,000 a year because she get perks too. But she would make it... Are you talking about Percocet? Look, we got to be certain because... She could be talking about she's getting perks with a K, but she could have been talking about she getting perks with a C. Cause sometimes don't don't bro, Tiffany Henry be acting perked up sometimes. She might be perked out. The next person that gets elected would get twenty five thousand dollars, right? So that's a kind of way to ice out the competition. She was appointed to that position, not elected. If she was elected to that position, that salary would go down, and I believe it was approximately fifty thousand. The FBI is in town. Do you think Tiffany knows she's cooked, or do you think she thinks she's innocent, or what do you think? I really don't think that she thinks she's going to jail. I'm also a former Cook County Sheriff for the Department of Correction, and I. And I don't scare. I will beat her motherfucking ass. And I hope to be there that day. I'm in talks with the FBI now that I could be down there that day so I can read her black ass her rights as they ship her black ass off to prison and save this village of Dalton. Suggest that she go and take a tour of that facility so she can see what's in store for her. That's for <laughs> she told the bitch to go take a tour of the jail so you can know what time. I told you you need to take that wig off, let that head breathe. Folks, you don't need to be a corrupt mayor to need a lawyer. Is it fair to say that Mayor Tiffany probably needs a good lawyer? Yes, yeah. absolutely. 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 Everyone needs a lawyer. Everyone should have a lawyer in their back pocket. And sit is damn. Transparency. Mayor Tiffany, hero or villain? <laughs> villain. How is Tiffany doing with taxpayer money? I don't have enough information, and that kind of goes to the root of the problem. There isn't much transparency. There isn't much uh, back and forth as far as, you know, hey, this is what we're doing. This is why we're doing it. Things of that nature. But then it also goes into different things like types of accommodations and things. And I know a lot of people have heard things about that. Damn, that look good. Is that what you had, Tiffany? Order me one. 
Shit, you ain't paying for it no way. Village of Dalton, I'll get y'all back, bro. Just let me hold this. As far as like, you know, you don't need west. to be in the Bellagio <laughs> exactly. penthouse. If you're going to get the stipend, then you use it for your meals. You use it for your transportation and things like that. You don't go then and put everything on, say, the township credit card. They say if you want to find the truth, the best way to do it is to follow the money. So we obtained the Thornton Township credit card statement through a Freedom of Information Act request. This is how I want you to see how trifling Tiffany Henyard is. Are you ready? <clears throat> do you understand what you're looking at? <clears throat> this bitch stole all the credit card points too. You see that? Those are all hundred dollar cash back rewards. So this bitch also. <laughs> so from the last statement they saw, they saw this bitch. This bitch also was stealing points. <laughs> This bitch was stealing fucking points, credit card points too. She, bro, she leaves no stone unturned when it comes to stealing from the village, nigga. Everything is eligible. Let me get them credit card points too. You see that shit? Scorecard, cashback reward, minus $100. Thank you for that internet payment of $181,461.65. But dig. <clears throat> watch these cashback rewards and got to digging when we looked through these we noticed that tiffany herself does not have a credit card however another one of her lap dogs thornton township and village of dalton administrator keith freeman has made some awfully sus purchases in the last year take for example a round trip flight from chicago to dc despite an economy ticket running about 200 dollars, tiffany and keith booked flights at <laughs> economy flights were like 200 dollars. these niggas took First class flights at twelve sixty five eighty a piece. And the Thornton taxpayer dollar for twelve hundred sixty five dollars each. That's first class, folks. Another set of transactions is the Bliss Beauty, a local hair salon. Five hundred sixty five dollars on January sixteenth, twelve hundred twenty five dollars on February third, and seventeen hundred thirty five dollars on February nineteenth of twenty twenty three. Now, my question for Keith and his purchase of fifty four hundred dollars on beauty supplies is: Are these wigs for you? And if <laughs> Let's look up Bliss Beauty. Bliss Beauty. I so love having two screens now. This this is this is the way to be. Let's see. Body Bliss. <clears throat> so this is from some motherfucker called Body Bliss. But it's like multiple people. This is like a scam. And like everybody is complaining that this motherfucker place has charged them money they weren't supposed to charge them. Bliss products and services. <clears throat> Look at this shit. $489 at Target. $220 at Target. <clears throat> Another $121 at Target. Target Simply Cellular. So they bought a trap phone. $10. Best Buy. $59. Then another $78. Then Style, Style Me brand. $1,392. Blueberry Field, $53. Theo's Steak and Seafood. Let's see how much it costs to eat at Theo's. Steak and Seafood. Oh, so this is in Indiana.
Oh, so this how you doing it. <clears throat> See, they only talking about shit everybody know. It's time for us to start scanning this shit for real. Hold on, nigga. So you already know what time it is. Rack of lamb. $47. Ribs, $30. Trash, I'm sure. Shrimp Dijon. Oh, yeah. Oyster Rockefeller. Steaks. $50, $50, $50, $60, $60, $50. Surf and turf at market price. Now, you know the lobster don't even come with a price next to it. It just says. Never mind. Never mind. Wild caught seafood. Yeah, the village of Dalton can't afford nothing on this motherfucker. $15 for a wedge salad. Yeah, y'all should have got up and left right the fuck up out of there. $30 for Mediterranean chicken. Yep, y'all should have left. Oh, we thought this was something else. <clears throat> so that's Theo's, which is right here. $427. So it's probably just her, Keith, and maybe a couple of niggas from the detail. Or fuck around, just been hurt knowing her made everybody just stand there and watch. Yeah, because she probably made them eat at China Star for $60. $520 for some chocolate. $500 at Lowe's. Then she spent another $700 on chocolate. See, people ain't even talking about that. So what is that? I just said. So, nigga, that's $1,200 in chocolate. She's bought $1,200 in chocolate, $500 on a Walgreens trip, $16 to a newspaper. Dollars on February 3rd and $1,735. Let's look at this one. How the fuck did you spend $700 at Osco? $137 at the original Pancake House. Another five hundred dollars is style me. So this style me must be some type of monthly shit. And then here comes the motherfucking chocolate again for another two hundred seventy dollars. Another two. So now we up to fourteen, almost fifteen hundred dollars in chocolate. Seventy dollars at Panera. Another thousand dollars at Target. Another five hundred at Walgreens. Then one hundred and twenty four dollars at Olive Garden. $15 to Adobe. Uncle Julio's or Orland Park or what? Uncle Julio's Park? What? Yeah, let's check out the website for Uncle Julio's Orlando Park or Orland Park. I'm so sorry. Uncle Julio's Orland Park is where y'all went. And how much did y'all spend at Uncle Julio's? $140. So y'all just bought a gang of Mexican food. That shit look good, though. Uncle Julio's look legit. Good taste. Another $300 at Pancake House. On-demand printing. $5,000. And I'm sure her face was on it. Another $330 at fucking Olive Garden. $260 at uh, Walgreens. $61 on Grubhub. This bitch wild, nigga. $5 on February 19th. And these are the last bills that people seen. 
2023. Now my question for Keith and his purchase of $5,400 on beauty supplies is, are these wigs for you? And if that case, Slay Queen, or are you secretly buying wigs for Mayor Tiffany and running up the taxpayer dollar for her? Next, let's talk dining. Mayor Tiffany and her comrades love spending money on extravagant meals, like $427 at Theo's Steak and Seafood and $426 at Hamada. $426 at Hamada of Japan? Let's look that up, nigga. In Tinley Park, Illinois. Let's look at the menu. Damn, nigga. How many people did y'all take? Hold on, nigga. Y'all gotta see this. This shit is so fairly priced that you about to be like, well, damn. <laughs> I thought they went to a real expensive Japanese steakhouse, nigga. Make this shit bigger. The most expensive thing is fifteen dollars. You the party tray is twenty three dollars. So how did y'all spend so much money? It ain't, bro. So y'all was there getting drunk. Th this is where all the money went. Right here. Cocktails, martinis, frozen daiquiris, margaritas and shit. Well, I guess y'all could have got the, even if y'all got the super expensive hibachi trays, the hibachi dinners, $32. So y'all, bro, yeah, so y'all went like, look, give me the triple delight. What's the most, y'all just go in places and ask for the most expensive shit. <laughs> hey, how much is that? What's the most expensive shit? See in Japan? Yeah, let me get about eight of those. Let me get eight seeds of Japan's. I'm on three triple delights. And let me get a Shogun steak. All y'all niggas should be ordering from the little sumos menu. This is y'all down here. And for the for the like people like Keith, you can get you a side order of hibachi chicken fried rice or appetizer noodles, soup and salad. You can get a soup and salad if you do super salad. These niggas spent all that money on them drinks because it ain't even expensive to eat there. They probably didn't even get food because niggas don't really be trusting Japanese cooking. Even though Japanese cooking is some of the best fucking cooking on earth, bro. Japanese food is the shit. Yeah, they, bro, they was popping bottles of sake all over that motherfucker, nigga. I just, who live like this? Just <laughs> bitches running around pouring sake on everybody, nigga. True barbecue and wi whiskey. Let's look at true barbecue and whiskey. In Munster, Indiana. So you be in Indiana a lot. You be you be over there a little too much. You was probably at the All Star game. Yep. You look like an alcoholic. Yep. Hold on. Let me put this over here so y'all can see where the money went on this one. A modern barbecue experience. Select your location. I don't even know what that is. What is that, ribs or something? White people ribs? That could be all right. This is what they came for, nigga. Get this bourbon popping off. Sit at this bar, nigga. Nigga, y'all be eating good. For everything. Just just y'all woke up today. We eating good, nigga. If nothing else happened today, we eating good. What is Marquise who's who? Marquise who's who? Nah, you bullshitting. You bullshitting. 
You pay Marcus Marquise or Marcus who's who to get in they shit. Oh my word. She paid Marcus who's who $1,541 and 12 cents. What were you buying from here? You buy him. What is this? A biography database? Oh, my word. Look what she spent money on. Be a part of Marcus Who's Who. Have you made strides in your career that deserves to be showcased to the world? Could you benefit from joining a notable network of like-minded seasoned professionals? Are you looking for an effective way to revive your professional reputation? Contact us. She paid these motherfuckers $1,500 to try to be on her biography shit, bro. You can't even, just when you think you can't make it up with her. Everybody who has these records, either send me a copy of the full records or y'all need to go through every fucking business and identify every business in there. Cause she gave some of this shit just going over people's head. And it ain't cause people stupid or nothing. It's just like, you kind of seeing you like, yeah, this, I don't know what this is. Then you look up, you're like, wait, what the fuck? Patrick in the cup one time. Lady shall break out the motherfucking Methuselah. Shout out to Texas. Texas staying the fuck up. Showing love to Shot Town. This bitch put $1,500 on the town credit card. And, and, or Village credit card, and Keith did it. So she, I didn't do it. Keith did it. $1,541.12. He spent $1,500 at Sam's Club. $30 at Starbucks. This nigga loved going to Target. He spent another about $1,500 in Target. $1,800 at Martin Produce. Another $200 at Olive Garden. That might be that same $200 from the other top. Martin Produce, down there, $1,900. These niggas ain't even paying for their own. These niggas is making, between him and Tiffany, making over a half million dollars, nigga. And them niggas ain't paying for, they don't pay for their own shit. Gross. Japan are just the tip of the iceberg. In fact, in the first two billion periods of 2023, Keith Freeman spent $5,900 towards meals on the Thornton Township card. $6,000 in food. Which begs the question, folks, is this illegal or merely I unethical? Because to me, a public I servant should not- I'm a Division I basketball player. You're not, you're not talking basketball with me. Bring it in That didn't go well. Nancy Pelosi looked terrible. Not be balling out on the taxpayer dime. The question of legality is not for me to decide. I'll let the FBI handle that one. Let's just say Tiffany watches this video and you could say a message directly to her. <laughs> what would you want to say? Just re Fuck you, bitch. Sign. Just same thing. <laughs> Just resign. <laughs> Please let me do my job. If you're gonna be a public servant, you better act like it or mm -hmm. get the hell out. I'll see you in jail. Uh, I would like for you to repent for the sins that you have. Oh, she don't went biblical. She like, man, I, we way past all that quit shit. I'm trying to save her soul from the depths of hell. That's some real shit, Miss Stubbs. That takes that take. That's a real one right there. That's a real one right there, nigga. Nah, you look on some real shit. She need to repent. She she on a fast track to hell. Have done or go to jail. We've gone. <laughs> or you can just go to jail. 
through all this where there's no transparency, seeing where money's been misspent, unfortunately. It's beyond something I think that could be repaired and fixed at this time. It's time to go. Pulling up to a strip mall <laughs> to talk to a business owner, Dr. Scott, that has been screwed by the mayor. Let's see what she has to say. Next, we meet Dr. Scott, who recently bought a strip mall in Dalton. She's trying to bring much needed services to the community, like a free food bank that functions like a grocery shop. But she's struggling against Mayor Tiffany's attempts to drown her out. Everyone I asked about Dr. Scott says she's like a saint and can't believe this is happening to her. Let's meet her and hear her story. Pleased to meet you. I sent, I did send an email out to Dr. Scott today. So we'll see what, we'll see what happens. Nice to meet you too. We're a nonprofit organization. We acquired this entire strip mall to bring additional programs and services to not just Dalton, but the Southland of Cook County. The shelves aren't full now, but by tomorrow, we will have all the shelves full and the, the numbers indicate how much of each item they can have. This area here, when we purchased the property, the idea. Bitch, What's happening? was to open up, you know, a thrift store to give people access to quality items. We have not been able to do the amount of thickness in Dalton. I just want to put that as a side note. That. How long has this been sitting vacant for? July. And you still have to pay property taxes. Yes. You still have to pay rent. You still have to pay overhead, insurance, I still, all that. I still have mortgage. I still have insurance. I do partner with other organizations that give me volunteers, but I do have a small team that we have to pay payroll because we still function. We still try to serve the community by having the grocery store available. If this isn't able to be funded, whose pocket does it come out of right now? <laughs> Mine. Cities can have layers of bureaucracy that keep you from running your business and making money and the longer that they keep this vacant the longer that you have to foot the bill and the longer that they cost their own people this in particular makes me mad because when you see someone actually willing to take a risk like she is and they're preventing her from doing it it's not a good thing all of this space is to expand the grocery store right now it's just being used as store like this is ridiculous Storage. Now this room here is when we're able to do a pop-up fundraiser. We have things that have been done. This is jealousy. This is what jealousy look like. I don't understand why you, Tiffany, would not want to be behind this lady. I don't get it. Donated to us that we sell to the community. All the clothes and things you see are a dollar. Shoes are two dollars. Wow. I received a letter from the village telling me that I needed to have these six things in order for them to even begin to think about giving me permits. And that package was architectural drawings, which I've already submitted to the village, but they want to have a state certification stamp on those drawings. And just a number of different things that they were asking for is though I were building a building. I'm trying to do simple renovations to get us back up and running. Boring, and they're, paint, light. Yeah, they're requiring us to do a number of things that someone who is building a structure would need to do. For the type of work I'm trying to do, it doesn't require everything that they were listing. They wanted to come in and do a occupancy inspection. I didn't request the occupancy ins inspection and so I said, no, you cannot because do Because what they were trying to do is come in and write you up for everything. Absolutely, to shut me down. When we were closed down for two weeks because we had flooded, there was a mother who drove up with three kids in the car asking if we were open because she didn't know how she was going to feed her kids. That is what matters to me. If you could say a direct message to Tiffany, what would you say right now? It's really unfortunate that you sit in the seat of, yes, power. In my eyes, you did not do the right thing. I have no idea why you chose to stop something that could benefit the community that you love. You know, you grew here. Everybody else flew here. But I said to you when I met with you to see my heart and know that I want to help the community. So this is my problem. What did she do? Like, and I don't, I'm not with breaking laws. I believe in being a law abiding citizen. But here's my question that I have. Let's say that she is infringing upon some sort of code if she's as if she's doing what she says for the community which we see she's doing it why would you not be wanting to help her get her shit to standard i mean y'all let y'all turn y'all blind eye to a lot of shit but for some reason the place that's providing food for the needy 
you trying to get them to jump through all these loops, but then I find it a funny that a coincidence is while you striking all this shit down, then you want to get in front of everybody. Our food pantry is doing the greatest shit ever, and our food pantry has boxes with my face and name on it. It's fucking disgusting, bro. Just pettiness. Her levels of pettiness have no boundaries. Somebody this, we've never seen somebody this petty have this much power. I think this is a first in humanity. What's, bro, you can't tell me this ain't, this is not about jealousy. This is a fly ass place. And just because you're down on your look, don't mean that we got to embarrass you with this big ass food stamp book. <laughs> Fuck that EBT card. Go down here with this food stamp book. So we're not going to embarrass y'all. Just come on in here. It's a grocery store. Shop. Get what you want. Get what you don't. And then bounce. God bless. She's fucking gross. One way we fight corruption is with our vote. Another way is with our dollar. I'm going to donate 500 of my own money to this cause to keep this food pantry open and running so that the city can't squash her out of business so she can help the people. I started the rally around Dr. Scott GoFundMe. I put 500 of my own dollars in. Let's flood this lady with money. Let's see what we can do as a YouTube community. And this is also a way to stand against Mayor Tiffany. Link is in my description. Let's blow her up. Thank you guys. You're welcome. Don't worry, uh, Tommy G. Um, that's cool. And, and you know, I'm gonna throw a spot over there. But when, when I have Dr. Scott on the show, yeah, I'm telling Dr. Scott to make sure she bring whatever link she got. So, LNC can make sure that we show up and show out because this is ridiculous that we are in a place now where there's nothing political about this. This is literally a, this is a lady that like, hey, I got this, I want to help you guys with this food. Let's blow it up, let's fund this, and let's give a big giant f you to the Mayor Tiffany. That's right. Yeah, look at, no, don't be shocked. We giving her a fuck you. Don't be shocked, Dr. Scott. I'm with Tommy G. We giving her a fuck you. Big fuck you to the mayor. Dr. Scott, like this white man didn't use the F word in front of me. Lord have mercy. <laughs> nah, we sending a big fuck you. And let me get one of them Gatorades too. Nah, that's for the needy. They can keep that. If you try to approach her township, her fortress, what happens? The police gonna come and uh... crack heads, nigga. You seen the movies? <laughs> I'm up for the challenge. Let's head over to her township and see if we can speak to her or people that might know more about the story. Good luck to you. Yeah, good luck on that. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, don't call me when they lock your ass up, nigga. <laughs> Hey, nigga, don't call me. Bye, money. Just call me. <laughs> oh, man. Stub, Miss Stubbs is a real one. Miss Stubbs is a real one. She said, when they pinch you, go ahead and call me, nigga, because they, they get ready to fuck you up. <laughs> go ahead and call me. Just call, bro. I man, I I fuck with Miss Stubbs the long way, bro. <laughs> this the, And they act like they pulling up in, like, some type of famous Crip territory or some shit, nigga. Yeah, this, yeah, this is where the rolling sixties be at right here, nigga. Hello there. <laughs> Hold on, nigga. He's coming in hot. This nigga, I told you that last nigga was doing it wrong. This nigga, this nigga, the last nigga was doing it wrong. Potential for um. This nigga want all the smoke, nigga. <laughs> Oh shit! Bubba in the building. That's ten motherfucking K. What's that, in the kid? Founder status. What the fuck did I do? The last nigga said this same SUV rolled up on him and he was scared of motherfucker. This nigga, <laughs> this nigga is <laughs> he walked right up on. Hey, can I get you to roll your window down? No, all the way down, I, bro. If he start talking to him like twelve, I'm about to be done. Tim motherfucking K, nigga. We still celebrating. Yeah, as you can tell, some of the city officials don't want to talk about what's been going on, but let's talk about the motorcade that Tiffany uses to roll around town like. Look at these niggas. 
to some sort of crime boss. We did some digging and we found the receipt from the car dealership that Tiffany leased these Tahoes from. What up, Tag? Just one of these Tahoes with a re retail price of $93,000, Tiffany overpaid by nearly $56,000. I don't know if she's the worst negotiator on the planet or if there's something fishy going on here, but this is a shining example of how Tiffany has failed the hardworking taxpayers of Dalton. It's purchases like this that has led the town to be millions of dollars in the deficit. We're probably not gonna be able to talk to many of these people because they know that they're guilty, allegedly, but let's <laughs> go into the township and see what we can find. I love bringing justice to a city. Is Mayor Tiffany, would you say, a hero or Villain. Hero, of course. Why is that? Everything she's promised, she's done. Get a gun. Who is this nigga? Hey, Kara, who is this? Who this? Welcome to the Dome, bitch. Somebody tell me who this nigga is. What's happening, Stuart? Who, who this nigga? Who this nigga with the push broom mustache? Garbage picked up properly. Uh, there, are, there are a lot of improvements. Like nice. She has an amusement park for the kids on Green. She got an amusement park. Greenwood Avenue. Are you a citizen? Are you an employee of the city? I'm a citizen. Yeah, I've lived here for almost 32 years. Could we talk to some people who are really upset about some of her spending? She's buying $150,000 vehicles. The fact that she's bought an ice rink basically for herself. Mm. The naysayers are saying some really damning things about mm. her. What do you right. think about that? There's this drumbeat to try to remove her. I don't know if it's because of her youth or what it is. So would you say financially she's spending the taxpayer money appropriately? I think so. Why do you think the... <laughs> Out the cap. FBI is in town right now. There's a lot of hubbub and a lot of stuff going around, stuff, people talking and... Me personally, as a citizen of this city, I haven't seen anything overt. We just talked to business... Nigga, you been there 32 years and you ain't married? What you doing living in a small town for 32 years? You look like... You don't look like you some downtrodden, nigga. You look like you got your life together. Business owners across the street in that mm -hmm. strip mall mm -hmm. that are not getting permitted and licensed to open up things that will help the community. A lot of these people are saying because they don't donate directly to our campaign, mm -hmm. you get stripped of your business license or you're not granted a business license. I hope oh, that everyone has underestimated I've never the potential heard of for, um, for just massive destruction. Janice with the 17 piece, celebrating 10K. You've never heard of this nigga? You definitely getting paid. If there was a question, if you was on the payroll, there is no longer a question, nigga. You definitely on the payroll. What? I ain't never heard of that. If there's such a thing going on, I'm against that for sure. If you, I'm hearing a lot of allegations, sure. but I'm, I have not seen anything concrete. Hello, sir. Hey, good. How are you guys doing? Oh, good. We're just doing a story. We've heard controversy about the mayor, and we're here to see if she's a hero or a villain. What is your take? Oh, you know what this nigga about to say. You know what, when you see this motherfucking Black Widow, this is his tattoo that he got to pledge loyalty to Tiffany. He always keep this Black Widow over his heart. You, I've always noticed this damn... Black Widow over this nigga's heart. I pledge allegiance to the wig of the mayor of the village of Dalton. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Here this nigga is. I gee, I wonder what he's gonna say. Oh, she's the greatest thing ever. And the only and if there's only thing, one thing I'd say we need to change here in Dalton. I just need them trustees to name one thing that you got. I just need you. I need y'all to name one thing. Just one. One thing that you, you trustees have done. I had a conversation with you, Jason House. And you told me you did nothing. We had that conversation. So I want so before you get up here and want to be talking about my mayor, just tell me one thing you trustees have done. Thank you, Mayor. All right, thank you. Go ahead, Lacey. Knock it off. Knock it off. Thank you, sir. No, I don't have a take. I'm saying, what, what, do you, what are you here for? Just oh, you don't have a take. Oh, now you don't have a take. I'm here because I can't be here, bitch. Now you ain't got a take. Now you ain't got your microphone. You got bitch in you. I can... I smell it on you. 
taking uh we're running a video right now but you got to get permission to do that and apologize no i don't go ahead and school this nigga <laughs> it's time this is what i've been waiting for tactical nuke incoming Hey, any of you bitch ass niggas think that you gonna come over here and tell me what how the fuck I can talk? It's gonna be a long night for all of you. I say what the fuck I wanna say, nigga. You don't like the way I talk, nigga. Then get the fuck from around here, nigga. Bitch ass motherfuckers, y'all be having me fucked up, nigga. <laughs> y'all got, got the game fucked up. Let me tell you how shit could be around this motherfucker, nigga. <laughs> now, before I was interrupted by that bitch, um, what happened to all... Why ain't you telling this nigga about how the trustees don't do nothing? Why are you out here... You just a department head. Why are you out here checking to see why this nigga's recording and lying about the law to this nigga? Dog, I'm about to get sued, and it's all these niggas' fault. Area, sir? Yeah, I don't believe so. This is a public area, huh? Okay. Which means you get to film in public. There she is, right there. Oh, is this a public area? Yeah, but we don't, you have to. Yeah, 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 but you have. Nope. This is a government building, and this is a public area. He can record there, and ain't shit you can do about it except get sued. You get the about the pictures of people here. You cannot be in here. Wait, wait, isn't this a public area though? You can't be with the cameras. Come on out. Come on out. Wait, wait, gentlemen. Wait, is this a public area? Come on out, gentlemen. Can you ask that sir? Question? Step out, please. Is this a public area? Sir, please step out. I don't okay. think this is legal. Sir, that's a police officer saying that. Sir, can you explain to us a little bit? I will not. The man you see. Now y'all getting sued and it's the police chief's fault. I'm so sorry, Village of Dalton, because this ain't funny. Y'all get it. He about to sue the shit out of y'all. And it's the, this is the fucking police chief violating the motherfucking civil rights because this nigga swore off to the Constitution, but it don't mean shit to his fat ass. This nigga got on snow pants in 75 degree weather. Y'all little town politics are over, bitch. The days of y'all niggas thinking y'all getting ready to do all this shit in quiet is over, nigga. Everybody know now. And all the shit that the news won't show about how dirty the police are, don't worry. We'll show it. News, don't think I ain't noticed that you niggas don't want to say nothing sideways about Chief Lacey and the police and shit for real. So what? I'll do it. Y'all talk shit about Tiffany Henyard, but you won't say shit about that dirty ass police department in Dalton. This nigga got 1.4 million view subscribers, Lacey. The video already has 500,000 views and you on fucking national TV across the world violating a motherfucker's civil rights. Yeah. <laughs> It's over for y'all, bro. Hashtag Shay was right. I told you when a real motherfucker auditor go up there, it was going to go down. I told you. And here we are. Great job, Lacey. This is great police work, you stupid bitch. Here's Deputy Chief Lacey. While you might look at him and think he's a Walmart version of Detroit Urban Survival, he actually is a man... <laughs> a disciplinary report thicker than the Bible. He currently has three active lawsuits against him. All three of them allege violations of the Constitution for the acts he is committing. Let me share some of his past actions with you so you can get a picture of the man he is. Let's Lacey, your moment in the sun has arrived. Your moment in the sun has arrived, Lacey. This is what your bitch ass get. 
start with his petty incidents. One of his reports details him threatening the water Goodnight, company Bob. over a $300 bill he didn't want to pay. He's also known for trying not to pay tolls when he drives oh, through them. But things get more serious. Bitch. Many residents have banded together to note his excessive use of force and his use of the taser. In a 2012 incident, he was sued for Fourth Amendment constitutional violations due to excessive force. Lacey lost this case and the judge ordered payment of $12,000 for the you had to pay $12,000 for hitting a bitch? Incident. In the summer of 2021, 19-year-old Alexis... He said that nigga got on leather shoulder straps trying to be tough. <laughs> Shot seven times and killed CEO by was the police. Happening. Her mom emailed us twice, pleading with us to expose Officer Lacey. Activists Carlos West and Rabbi Michael McLean protested this killing seven days later, exercising their constitutional right to free speech. However, their rights were violated by Officer Lacey once again when he ordered their arrest without due cause. Justice for Alexis Wilson. Yeah, Lacey, we, yeah, Alexis Wilson, everybody getting ready to eat, bro. Lacey going down with that bitch too. Don't trip. Poli yes, they the media don't tell y'all, but police chiefs get fucked up and go to jail and shit too. You don't want it to be high profile. High profile is when they kind of get off. When it's low profile, cops be getting put in prison, nigga. Y'all don't think it's no police in prison right now? Y'all don't think there's no police in prison in Illinois? Okay. They want y'all to think that there they, there's no justice for these niggas. There he is. <laughs> and it's coming. They filed a lawsuit, and on March 4th, both of these men were awarded $50,000 in settlements. This is one of Mayor Tiffany's lead lapdogs that she uses to control the town through his goonish actions. Another case he was involved in resulted in the largest settlement in Cook County history, $33.5 million. $33.5 million. I was put up on this story last week. Because I play college ball. I am a division one basketball player. You're not, you're not talking basketball with me. Carrying the cup one time, ladies break out the Methuselahs. Let me educate y'all something on settlements. That didn't go well. For you to get a $33.5 million settlement from the police, the police fucked up they don't hand out these type of settlements unless it's clear as they probably could have got like four five hundred million and that, and i'm not saying that to say like they was wrong to end when they did or no shit like that i'm just telling you like when the police settled and they talking about mid eight figures nigga somebody fucked up and there was multiple losses of life Somehow Dalton has the most police chases in the entire country. Did y'all know that? Cops turn everything into a police chase in Dalton, apparently. Everything. Multiple people have been killed during these so-called chases. They don't give a fuck. $34 million paid out. They don't give a fuck. In dollars. You guys step over there on, on public property. Night, this is not public property. Okay. Where is the public sir, property? Have a good day. Can you not answer my question, sir? Do you have ID? In Illinois, you have to have ID. <laughs> no. Do you have ID? Yeah, I got ID. And you can't have it, you stubby bitch. <laughs> Legal aid. If I carry an ID, do I have to identify myself in Illinois? You cannot be forced to show an ID. You can be required to identify yourself only if the police reasonably suspect that you are in the process of committing a crime or committed a crime and you are in a public place and the police think you are part of a crime. This nigga built like Shaq Big Toe and always want to be talking shit.
ID. Do you have, we have ID? ID? May I see it, please? What is the thing you suspect us of doing? In, in a minute, I'm asking you. This is a public taxpayer area that we're now being Step over here, sir. Tasseled. Step over here. The goons have come out. Okay. Here we Oh. Why'd you give them your ID? This is quite a response for people doing a storm. Keep so walking, sir. How many police sir. vehicles are, are coming for this? What exactly are you guys trying to accomplish? Show how fucking tyrannical you niggas are, and they are succeeding. He's done nothing. Look how y'all acting, and this nigga ain't even done shit. Nigga, we need somebody that's not going to give the ID. Shout out to Tommy G. No hate. You did You did what you felt you needed to do, and I won't question that because you actually in the field, cousin. But we know it's some niggas that will go and won't give that ID. The mayor, is she a hero or a villain? This is part of the convoy, too. Look, this nigga just, now he's on, now Lacey's on video violating his own cop, his own police officer. He just violated his civil rights on camera. I'm sorry, can't no nigga 5'7 with that gut be talking to me like that. I don't give a fuck what he got on his hip. I know you used to get punked in school, nigga. You was never no, you was never anybody anybody looked up to. You was always looked down upon. Guys, the taxpayer sponsored Tahoe was right there. Look at this shit. They got a nigga tactically creeping in the background. Look at, y'all think y'all look tough? Y'all look like bitches. He might be 5'2". I try to help him out. Y'all niggas think y'all tough. Y'all look like hoes, nigga. Nigga, y'all ain't even got no juice in Chicago. Y'all go to Chicago on this bullshit. The fucking 12 ain't fucking with you whole ass niggas. The fuck y'all doing up here? At 150K for a vehicle. Oh, wow. That's Run me a Wisconsin plate. Run me a Wisconsin plate. That's another violation. I play college ball. I am a division one basketball player. You're not, you're not talking basketball with me. That didn't go well. Lacey did not know how big this nigga's YouTube channel was. <laughs> <laughs> this is how stupid they were. Let me give y'all a word of advice. If y'all see some random niggas out there with cameras, find out who that nigga is and find out how many subscribers he got before you start fucking with him. Because this nigga got 1.4 million subscribers, you stupid bitch. Every nigga, everybody's going to know by tomorrow, you dumbass. The news is going to pick this up. The news is going to see that you were on camera violating people's civil rights. And here's the best part, Lacey. When y'all ain't got no control of the footage at all. None. So ain't nobody got to do no FOIA request. They can just go on YouTube and see your ass. I know Tiffany mad in the motherfucker over this. Tiffany, you got to be mad. You Of all the shit you didn't need right now, you did not need Lacey violate niggas' civil rights with a fucking million subscriber YouTube channel. Mm, mm, mm. Of all the things I didn't see happening today. Great job, Lacey. This is this is great police work. Hit the like button. I can tell you, sir, I'm not riding dirty in the slightest, so there's nothing y'all. Right, because I'll just look at these pussy. This little ass nigga ain't even so much as raised his voice. All these niggas is out here with vests and gloves on. Nigga, let me just tell y'all something. Let me just tell you something. Nigga, you a bitch, you a bitch, you a bitch, and you a bitch. Y'all all bitches. Ain't, ain't no, that's why I couldn't be no cop. Hey, we got to go help Chief with this little skinny nigga. What is he doing? I don't know. He's not really doing anything, but Chief, Chief scared of him. Fuck you. I'm here to protect and serve the community. I ain't here to protect and serve that fat motherfucker. Tell that nigga stop eating so many sub sandwiches and maybe he can take that nigga. Can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you have your guys sit in the car, please? What? No. You sure? You want what do I need to sit in the car for? Now this nigga Lacey's trying to turn this into a traffic stop so he can put these niggas in the car to then pull them out of the car. <laughs> Lacey.
Lacey don't know. Like, if Lacey knew that how many subscribers this nigga had, <laughs> the greatest thing Tommy G did was not tell him who he is. Because I swear, if Lacey knew who this nigga was, he would not be doing this. This nigga got more clout than Dane Placco. He would never try this with Dane Placco. The police is having, what I'm learning in this new age, the police is having a real problem adjusting to new media. They are stuck on this whole, if you're not channel three, channel five, channel eight, channel 13, nigga, you're not the news and we don't have to respect you as such. <laughs> he told these niggas to go sit in the car. I'm pretty sure I'm not riding dirty in the slightest, so there's nothing y'all. Sir, Sir, can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you have your guys sit in the car, please? What, no. You sure? You want us to do something off camera and no. I'm surrounded by six people? I'm not gonna about to do yeah, that. Yeah, step back real quick. Can you please tell me? <laughs> no, nigga. Lacey ain't this dumb. Nigga, Lacey. Hey, back up three feet. Back up back up six inches, but stay up on them though. <laughs> this nigga like, you got all your homies out here. What? Oh, okay, I got you. Hey man, just step back right quick. <laughs> This nigga Lacey, nah, nigga. No. This nigga Lacey is... This is a this is a TV... Nah, these niggas are all paid actors. This nigga built like Reginald Dell Johnson, nigga. <laughs> this nigga's like... Hey, won't y'all get in the car right quick so we can try to violate y'all rights in a... Better a way that's better for us. <laughs> hey man, I don't feel comfortable with you all your homies. That's all you worried about. Hey y'all, back up a little bit. <laughs> I don't know how Lacey thought this was gonna go. Oh, Lacey, you fucked up, nigga. Welcome to the Oh, I got breaking news. Breaking news. There's one technical thing that has to be done, and if this technical thing goes through... On Saturday, on Saturday, trusty Jason House. Yeah, Mr. White. Yes, yeah, science. We waiting for one little prong. And trustee Jason House will be here Saturday. So we clear this last little hurdle. And we will have Jason House this Saturday. Oh, boy. Woo. Come on, then, Dalton. So the next mayor of Dalton. We'll be in the building. Now, I've extended an invitation to Mayor Henyard, but I'm also extending an invitation to Police Chief Lacey. I will, I will extend the same courtesy to you, same rules and shit, for all guests would, would, would apply to you. Uh, I would guarantee no type of disrespect of you in the chat or anything. Are you bitch made?
Jason House, 2025, huh? We about to help a motherfucker become mayor. I'm with it. Whatever it takes to help the community. And everybody know, this was a test from the Lord because everything's case by case. And one thing I've learned is with me giving my life back to the Lord, everything I say I don't be on is going to get tested. That Would I be on it if I had to do his will? And the answer is yes. Oh, Chief Lacey don't want no smoke with me because he don't understand that I will body him without saying a single cuss word. I will just ask questions he will have no answers for. So, Chief Lacey, why do you have a problem with people speaking during public comment? As a matter of fact, Chief Lacey, I'm also offering you that I'll give you every question that I want to ask you beforehand. I'll give you 72 hours to go over all questions. What you scared for? I'm just a little nap town kid. Come on, man. Midwest, we got to show each other love, Lacey. I will ask you, I will tell you one question I want to ask you. Have you ever used a taser on a female? And if your answer is yes, why ain't you just punch her in the fucking face? <laughs> What was uh the more gentleman thing to do was to hit her with a taser instead of just punching her like you wanted to do? These, these are just questions, Lacey. Can you just say what the public areas that you want me to go to? Tommy G, they call me. Milwaukee. Milwaukee represents everybody cams on. Everybody cams on? In Milwaukee, you can literally steal a car and rob a bank and not this many cops show up. So once I come up clean, then what? Who else got ID? I'm on my way. What do you mean I'm on my way? I'm going to just be chilling. Who else got ID? Nigga. <laughs> nigga, you're not getting my ID. I don't give a fuck if I'm holding it. This, this nigga try to ID the cameraman. <laughs> These niggas are so stupid. This video is going to have a million views by tomorrow. I need y'all to understand. Go check Tommy, Tommy G channel. Who else got ID, nigga? Not me. <laughs> Coming back. Hey, the state of Illinois, you're supposed to have ID. Go get not your ID. For what? I'm back. Hey, go get your ID. Unlock the car so you can get his ID. It's not a request. Oh, it's not a request. No, not at all. Mm -hmm. You know you're lying right, 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 right. in Illinois. For what? Get it right. I know who you are. Get your information. Get it right. That sounds like a threat. No Coming problem. back. Valid. Hey, dude, nice job. You're valid, dude. Good to see you. I'm legal, so. Okay, gentlemen, have a good day. Are you gonna get in your vehicle? I'll get in mine, you get in yours. Hey, go to your car. Have a good day. What the <laughs> f is going on, these motherfuckers? <laughs> we should probably the light. That's intimidation. This is why the trustees did not want us to come here. <laughs> the trustees told y'all niggas, don't pull up. <laughs> this is why the trustees told us to not pull up. Chief Lacey, you stupid fat fuck. You just violated a nigga's civil, you violated multiple people's civil rights on camera, you stupid fat bitch. And there's too much case law, so guess what you don't get? You don't get qualified immunity. Womp, 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 womp. Women. Another lawsuit for Dalton. Tommy G, just take the L, don't sue them. Stupid fat motherfucker. Don't sue this village of Dalton. Just take the L. Fuck him, bro. Whatever you feel like you lost, you're going to make it back on this video on your ass end. So don't even trip, cousin. Do not sue them niggas. Oh, Sue Lacey personally, nigga. Sue the shit out of that nigga. Sue him personally. You can sue that nigga personally. And when he go to the fucking high court begging for qualified immunity, they going to tell him, excuse me, Chief Lacey, we're going to lift up our robes and you're going to suck us off because the answer is no. I'm, and Chief Lacey, I know you watching at the crib like, yeah, bring your black ass to Dalton. We'll show you. Nope. I'll keep my black ass right here. 
I ain't got nothing to prove. Y'all niggas got guns, and y'all willing to kill me. See, the difference between me and you, Lacey, you willing to kill me over your opinion. <laughs> you willing to shoot me in my motherfucking face over your opinion. You willing to tase me. You willing to beat my ass. You willing to have 10, 15 niggas jump me. You willing to have niggas follow me, fuck with my mama, all type. You willing to do all that shit. Me, I'm going to just call you a bitch on the internet. I'll call you a bitch to your face if you pull up. You can come to Oklahoma. And you can bring all of them niggas. And if any one of you niggas touch me, I'm calling the Oklahoma City Police Department on your bitch ass. And you will all go to jail. Try that tough guy shit outside of that little ass radius. You pussy ass niggas. You got all this power and can't even leave Dalton. Weak ass niggas. Christ, dude. Is this something that someone that's innocent would be doing? <laughs> Look, business. Shut down. What is that, Masonic Temple? Shut down and shut down. Mayor Tiffany, when you go to jail, there will be many people applauding it. I think there's only 20 police officers or something like that in Dole. These little nerdy ass niggas, and when I say nerdy, I don't mean no disrespect of any kind. They didn't, they didn't even want no smoke, bro. Somebody, I'm telling you, now, here's what's getting ready to happen. I'm telling you right now. One of the real auditors is getting ready to see this, and one of them real boys is getting ready to go down there and get arrested. You better hope C.J. Grisham and the rest of them niggas don't go up there. They C.J. Grisham will go. And tell you niggas to your face, if you do anything to me, I'm going to sue the shit out of you. They will tell you this to your, fa to your face, Chief Lace. They coming now. Once they see how y'all just did Tommy G, they coming now. The video ain't even been out a day. It said a half a million views, Lacey. Good luck. Stupid. This is what an egomaniac look like. This nigga, bro, the first thing you got to do is see, okay, this nigga's a YouTuber. Who is he YouTubing for? See, because they don't realize that YouTubers build these massive ass followings from their cribs, from their cars, a couple of cameras. That depending on their subscriber base, they've got the upgrade over the years. This nigga's in a regular ass car. These niggas ain't in like nothing, nothing for real. This nigga Chief Lazy like, yeah, if you, we just letting you know if you pull up, we running your plates and shit. And I'd have, bro, I'd have let them niggas arrest me. They couldn't have did nothing but hold me for three days. Once my lawyer called, nigga, they would have had to let me go. First of all, when they when they would have arrested him and they found out who he was, Tiffany would have damn near fired Chief Lacey. Holy shit! That's <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh my god! I mean, look at the, even the county assessors like this is it, and you know why she's like, oh my god, because this is embarrassing as fuck, nigga. You see how embarrassing this shit is? Like, we can't even get no tourist dollars. Because if somebody want to come here and just talk to us and just film some shit, y'all going to freak the fuck out and try to intimidate niggas to not even come to our city. Oh, yeah, that's Deputy Chief Lacey. He's the biggest jerk of all. Officer Lacey, you want to handle this like a real man? I will pay you a week's salary. Any gym in Illinois or Wisconsin, I'll meet you there. I'll handle it like men. If I <laughs> You know, Rick is so wild and has went so far off the, the meter. It's shit that I can't even tell, tell, tell you on TV. I mean, you know, for the sake of our friendship, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not even going to bring it up. But trust me, he's went there. He, he, he is went there and it's like, yo, Rick, man, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? You done took this shit too far. And his response is like this. I told you ain't nobody taking that fight. shit from your stubby ass, nigga. You Doc, can catch man. this thing. Let's go to their best, nigga. I'm not with it, man. I don't want to go to the abyss, man. You know what I'm saying? Rick wants to go to the <laughs> abyss. 
In fact, he dwells in the abyss. Rick James dwells in the abyss, okay? And he, and he wants company sometimes, you know? And, and for some reason, he likes to reach out for me. Whenever I'm around, when he, when he wants to go there, he will reach out for me to try to take me to the abyss with him. And I'm not with it, man. I'm not with it. And that's when we end up, you know, tussling or whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, fat nigga, remember all that shit you was talking in the parking lot? Well, well, dig. I will pay you a whole week's salary to come get your fat ass whoop, nigga. <laughs> Said, remember all that tough shit you was talking in the parking lot with all your homies? <laughs> Lacey, a million people getting ready to see that this nigga challenged you to a, a fucking fist fight. I lose, I give it to you. If I win, I donate to charity. And I'm pretty sure you're going to keep your little butt in the office. You're not going to take up a real challenge. I don't f***ing bullies. You try messing with the water bill company when they're trying to collect their bill from you. You try messing with the toll people. You have a long history, longer than a Harry Potter book, of you messing with the citizens of your city. Come here like a real man and sort it out, but or you can say you're scared little butt in the office. You Ooh, Chief Lacey is about to go viral that this nigga... You got this little nigga has challenged you to the fade, nigga. <clears throat> this nigga has challenged you to the motherfucking fade. Okay. You're built like a fucking potato. <laughs> 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 I told you I'm not taking this shit from this stubby ass nigga. Shout out to Tommy G. I'm with Tommy G. We not taking this nigga. You tough with all your homies with the guns, nigga. Come pull up, nigga, you fat fucker. Put the potatoes in the chat, nigga. Put the motherfucking put, put the chief laces in the chat, nigga. <laughs> Put the motherfucking, put the motherfucking Chief Lacey's in the chat, nigga. Fuck the dumb shit, nigga. Fucking stubby potato built motherfucker. <laughs> and he's trying to, yes, exactly. He's trying to turn your ass into mashed potatoes, nigga. <laughs> Dog, and I feel so sorry for y'all, man. Because this nigga got all them guns and weaponry. And he need it. He need it. This nigga, I don't think Lacey ever been in a fist fight. Right? <laughs> I love funny, it. funny, funny. I didn't even get to the part where Is I that tell a you public area? that she's had me arrested. What? Did they turn you out in jail? Because you do got some pretty eyes. They look like they might. How long was you in jail? Did they turn you out? Don't, you know what? Don't answer that. You're on the good side. What? Yes, for picking up her campaign literature off my windshield in my car. You got caught. Yes. <laughs> Eight months of them continuing, you know, the court hearing for right. the case to be dropped by the state's attorney's office for lack of evidence. Was where we were public area. Yes. Inside Bro, them Dalton women love their nails. It don't matter if they black or white. All the women. That's got to be a Dalton thing where you can't get caught in Dalton lacking with your nails. So, ladies... It don't matter if you white, black, Latina, indigenous, whatever. When you take your ass to Dalton, the, the motherfucking shit better be on point. Because I've yet to see one of these Dalton ladies without their nails on point, nigga. <laughs> they keeps their nails dead.
inside and outside. We 100%. were we were escorted out, made it seem like we were doing something illegal, taking our IDs, pressed. They wouldn't it, tell him that if we didn't give him our ID, they're gonna do something. He had threats to us. You've done the FOIA request. You have all the documents. What kind of stuff have you seen in those documents that catches your attention? Things that. That's who I want to interview. She's the one that has a lot of the documents. Stand out, obviously, are the travel. I mean, it's huge. About two trips a month, three to six days for every trip. I would say 95% of them are unrelated to the township. You know, 95% of her travel is unrelated. She went to Portland, Oregon for some conference called the Her Voice, like a women in power leading other women to God. Anybody who knows when you're using taxpayer funds, when you start putting religion into it, it's a touchy situation because you govern in the township 190,000 voters. Not all of them believe the same thing you do. How is she living when she goes on these trips? It's outside of her, her own pay scale. That's Damn, <laughs> she make 400,000 though how she's living. She's not living a $300,000 a year life like she's making. She's living a, a million dollar life because she's keeping her money and spending ours. You get a $600 per day per diem. You don't turn in receipts for those. Which is $600 very per, per day. You shouldn't be swiping the per credit card for anything, ma'am. $600 per day. Just so you know, understand, if you go on Mori, they gonna give you like $25 per diem. No cap. She gets $600. That's outside of her room and anything. $600. That she can just jack off throughout the day for whatever. Food, whatever. She can have $600 worth of food. Like, she want to just have good meals that day. She's spending outside of that. Why do I see all of your meals on here? Why do I see your hotels on here? Why what kind of hotels is she staying at? Is it fancy? Yeah. Hyatt, Hilton's, Four Seasons. Four Seasons. Stay the way money, bitch. Nigga, I'm in the post like Garnett with the bank card, nigga. Reasons. Oh, yeah, you name it. Just the best. Nigga, Shane ain't never been on Maury, nigga. The fuck I look... What, what kind of nasty bitches you think I've ever fucked with? ...of everything for her. Flying first class to Las Vegas. Her I've been in entertainment for 20 years. Why wouldn't you assume that I've maybe been dealing with TV for 20 years? Nah, you gonna assume that because I'm black, my black ass have been on there with some trifling ass bitch that I done nutted in. You... Oh, come on, man. I hit 10,000. I still... The assumption is, nah, it can't be this nigga's done this, nah. It's, yeah, what, what nasty bitch you have on Maury, nigga? <laughs> Keith Freeman. I know the news didn't say that. He put out her $3,700 flight for herself. She bought a $3,700 flight to, to Las Vegas. Vegas. But Keith Freeman's flight was the same amount. Her and Carmen Carlisle had, you know, $1,600 flight to Atlanta. Where is she eating? What kind of places is she going to when she eats on the oh. road? Steakhouses, lobster, anything you could think of that would be high end dining. <laughs> the most expensive shit on the menu, nigga. For the most part, that's where they're eating. Now, that looked a little different in their little bike ride to Springfield for her non-for-profit. On those trips, they stayed at Hampton Inn. They're bike riding, and they have a, a full-on DJ being pulled on a trailer behind them. I mean, they're blocking off streets for this. What else is outrageous that you've seen now that you get to, now that you're privy to the books? The amount of money she's spending on her PR. That's probably running Thornton Township about $25,000 a month. So um, taxpayers, they're not only paying for the front end of all the bad stuff she's spending money on, but they're paying for the PR cleanup on the back end as well. Absolutely. What would it take to just remove her from office? She was recalled. The residents voted to remove her from office. But y'all got to own up that y'all did the shit wrong and y'all were trying to be slick. I know y'all were trying to be slick, even though y'all don't want to admit it. And I get, get it, but y'all need to just admit it and know that you'll be okay admitting this. It's okay to admit that y'all tried to be slick. Y'all knew that it wasn't on the books. Y'all thought that you could maybe get it without it. And there was nothing dirty about thinking that. But it didn't work. And so it was. Because if y'all did it the other way, by the time you could have actually put on the ballot to recall, she was going to be on the ballot to get voted out anyway. So just keep it G.
What was the percentage vote to recall her? It was about 56%. We were at about 1,900 to remove her and about 1,300 said to leave her. Her salary is 224,000, but if she doesn't get reelected, the person that takes over will get 25,000? So, and that's a way to deter people from running against her? Mm -hmm. The previous supervisor was in his ninth term. Now you can see the $200,000 salary because he worked for it for 32 years. Yeah. She keeps his salary because the law for township municipality says if you take over his term you complete the term whereas in a regular municipality like if a mayor passed away and the board appointed somebody the next municipal election that mayor would have to run that seat would be up but in the township it doesn't work that way you finish the entire term my previous boss had passed away eight months into his term so she had a full three years to to finish so she gets to keep his his pay what would happen though if she ran in 2025 and she won she would have went to a first term salary the pay scale was changed dramatically because she made it that she keeps the salary she has now anybody else goes down to 25 <laughs> <laughs> so tiffany <clears throat> your shit was going to go down to fifty thousand if you won in 2025 so you passed the ordinance to keep your shit at two hundred and twenty four thousand, and then if somebody win then it can go down to 25 you dirty bitch you fucking foul bro Bro, this bitch be stealing, coming and going, bro. There's no more salaries by term. She removed that. Is there anything positive you can say about the mayor? I will say she has some ideas that I think are great. You know, the ice rink, it's beautiful. Visually, it looks nice. Had that been done right and had there been a plan in place, a, a plan for revenue, a plan, you know, for long-term maintenance, a plan on how we were going to bring people out to make sure that the cost was covered at minimum. This could have been good things for the community. Because of the choice to always do things in a me, me, me manner, it never feels like it's for the community. All of the qualities that we see now that are like, like these big beast qualities, those were all there when she was just little Tiffany Henier that was a trustee here in Dalton. They just magnified with the money and the power. I got let go from the township. I was the maintenance manager for 20 years. I was getting ready to retire. Yeah, I went on vacation, when I came back off vacation, I was locked out of my office, was told that I had to see Keith Freeman for my keys. I sat up in the, at the township three days in the lobby, getting paid, you know, waiting for my keys. And on the fourth day, I said, forget it, I just took two sick days. Then at Friday, I got a termination letter saying I was terminated. And so your benefits from retiring, or did you not have no, access no, to she, she, No, she didn't mess with that at all. Uh, we got harassed by Officer Lacey. What can you say about him? He's one of the mayor's lynchmen. He just... Lynchmen? You worked your way to be a police chief that ain't nothing but a lynchman for that weak bitch. And of course, Thief Fre you gotta get your shit back from Thief Freeman. Had this nigga sitting in the lobby for three days. Y'all niggas are just, look how y'all do to people, bro. <clears throat> this is shit that the racist white people are supposed to be doing to the nigga town. Not, uh, not the black people. Got appointed that spot when the other police chief resigned. Is there anything in the books that reflect that police officers are getting kickbacks from the mayor? Their overtime. It averages about 100 hours a pay period for her security. The the one had he had 303 hours on one biweekly pay period. Most and then he had a bunch of 290s, 280s, 270s. Bro, that's just the biggest. He had a bunch of big ones too under that. That at an overtime check. rate. Yep. A thirteen thousand dollar check. Absolutely. And that's a cop or security guard. It was her security guard. Folks, this channel does not stand for bullies, so I'm happy to put out this piece about Tiffany and Officer Lacey. I hope that town gets cleaned up soon. And folks, just a reminder to contribute to Dr. Scott's GoFundMe. Let's help her out. And last thing, R.I.P. Mainstream media. The independents like me are taking over, and they don't like that. You want to rep the movement? Go to the website. I'll see you guys next week. Shout out to Tommy G, bro. <clears throat> Chief Lacey, you literally in the middle of going viral. The video is at 520,000 views already, and it's steadily climbing. 
over 30,000 likes on that video already. You fucked up. You done violated. And now when the when the niggas that are willing to go to jail over this shit, they coming, Lacey. Here they come. Once they see what you did to this nigga, they coming now. They be like, shit, I wish this nigga would lock me up. They coming. Oh, Andrew Holmes, I know you thought I forgot about you. <laughs> I got some questions for you. Do you know Saul Goodman? Because you seem to be at a lot of places coincidentally. Is Gargamel, is this nigga, is he creating the news? Because I got proof of him creating the news in one incident. Okay, let's just watch the first one. <clears throat> let's just watch the first one. CTA bus ran a red light, hitting two cars, including one driven by... Oh, let me turn it up. CTA bus ran a red light, hitting two cars, including one driven by activist Andrew Holmes. He was carrying a truck full of Easter gifts. And our WGN's Shannon Halligan has the details. That's right. So I, we, you got to keep count. Keeping count is very important for what's about to happen. So first, Andrew Holmes was driving a van filled with about $2,000 worth of Easter gifts that he was giving away when he was struck by somebody running a red light. If you've ever seen Better Call Saul, you're going to see why I say this nigga no slipping Jimmy. Just wait. This is what the white cargo van looks like after the CTA bus crashed into it. Andrew Holmes said that there were minor injuries, but he was just relieved he was able to walk away from the crash. Baskets, jelly beans, other assorted candy, toys, and stuffed animals filled the back of this van. Andrew Holmes was driving it. Jeff, <laughs> this nigga is limping over to the camera while holding a bunny. They're just picking up donated items to fill more than 2,000 Easter baskets, which he donates every year at the 7th Police District in Englewood. On his way back to the storage facility, a CTA bus reportedly ran a red light at the intersection of 51st and King Drive and crashed into Holmes and another driver. The next thing I know, the van was spent around, so the bus... <laughs> what the fuck is this flak jacket he got on? It was coming that fast, he spent that whole van around. An ambulance took the other driver to the hospital where she was treated for minor injuries. Holmes stayed with his van and was later taken to the hospital because... Why did you stay with you? Why didn't you go to the hospital? You just got hit. Even though it looks like you got hit from multiple directions. Why didn't you go? So what? why didn't you go, Andrew? He was concerned about leaving all of the items meant for the Easter baskets. I'm losing my motherfucking mind, man. But, you know, I had a lot of product, Easter baskets, a lot of candy inside this van, over $2,000 worth. Not saying everybody is bad, but I know if I'd have went to that hospital, Easter was over for these kids, everything that was in that. This nigga, he's telling the story of how he sacrificed his body for Easter. <laughs> oh, nigga, just wait, nigga. I started scratching the surface with this nigga today. I said, oh, I don't remember who called this nigga and said, that nigga ain't nothing but a Jesse Jackson wannabe. Oh, you don't even know the half. Van would have been gone. He said he's doing okay, but Holmes said he is in pain. Well, I, I have to get my rotor cup checked, and uh, I'm just hoping I don't have no hairline fracture, but I got a lot of swelling. I got a heat pad, medicine on there from uh, my neck to my side back is how did the how did this van get all the way back into this spot over here is all i want to know andrew starting to tighten up now so into my arm on down my shoulder <laughs> so that's where i'm at right now just in a lot of pain Holmes said despite the crash he still plans to give away the baskets and their annual easter giveaway this sunday in dalton shannon halligan wgn news hold on so I was like, okay, Shay, maybe you just kind of tripping. He, he's not into creating news. 
Activist Andrew Holmes is known for his work as a victim's advocate, but today he found himself as a crime fighter helping. <laughs> <laughs> He's a crime fighter, nigga. Police make an arrest in a hit and run crash. It happened this afternoon on I 290 near Austin Boulevard. Wait till you hear this motherfucking story, nigga. One car hit another while on the expressway and drove off. He then got off the expressway and hit two more vehicles. That's when Holmes spotted him. I went back behind him, started jogging. He never knew I was jogging. He went 12 blocks. He went past. Let's stop right there. This nigga want me to believe that he jogged for 12 blocks behind a car. <laughs> Got the cap. <laughs> Jog 12 blocks behind a car to apprehend some. <laughs> nigga, stop, nigga. Stop. This nigga said he jogged 12 blocks, nigga. I need y'all to understand what I heard it earlier. I rewound it. I was like, did he just say? Did this nigga just say he jogged 12 blocks? Home spotted him. I went back behind him, started jogging. He never knew I was jogging. He went 12 blocks. He went past the hospital, two blocks past the hospital. That's 14 blocks. So I'm still behind him. <laughs> Yeah, that nigga don't even see me, nigga. Whew. All right, here we go. Oh, shit, he busting the left. Oh, shit. Yeah, I got your ass, nigga. Hold! <laughs> <laughs> This nigga old ass and he jogged 14 fucking blocks, nigga. Stop fucking playing with me, nigga. What kind of fucking idiot do you take me for? The news ain't shit. The news be letting these politicians get on here and say any fucking thing, nigga. This, this old ass nigga ran 14 blocks to catch a nigga that did a hit and run. Okay. Off. He then got off the expressway and hit two more vehicles. That's when Holmes spotted him. I went back behind him, started jogging. He never knew I was jogging. He went 12 blocks. He went past the hospital, two blocks past the hospital. So I'm still behind him. So once I got a little closer up on him, I identified myself as Andrew Holmes community activist. He asked me what I want. I asked him, you know, you left the scene of an accident. I got to detain you. Hit. Your old ass would have been panting. I'd, I'd have stole on your old ass and bounced. <sighs> I'm Andrew Holmes. <sighs> you just left the scene of an accident, and I'm going to detain you. <sighs> <laughs> I'd have just slid that nigga. Hey, you trying to sit us and arrest me? I'm letting you know you catching a fucking sucker punch. I'm a sucker punch the shit out. You try to apprehend me and you not the police. I'm a sucker punch your ass, nigga. Halt. I'm community activist Andrew Fop. I just socked that nigga. As soon as he didn't identify some type of law enforcement. This nigga jogged 14 blocks to catch a nigga that did a hit and run. How fucking stupid do you think I am? 
Well, he then called Chicago police who arrested the man. Holmes says three people from the first car were taken to the hospital. The suspect is also being treated for his injuries. That's two. You don't believe that this nigga be creating the news? Hold on, let me switch something right quick. News. Here is the ultra proof. Here's the unadulterated proof he be fucking creating the news. Tactical nuke incoming! Watch this. New this hour 18, he's helped in solving murders and cold cases. She one of my favorite Chicago newscasters. I still don't know her name. She bad on motherfucker. Go ahead, boo. Now this well-known Chicago community activist helps police catch his own brother, accused of a crime hitting so many of Good us night, in the city. Good night, succeeding. CBS 2 Stephen Graves talked to him about why he led police to a member of his own family. Andrew Holmes believes wrong is wrong, even if it means holding a family member accountable. No, we're close, not bitter. When you got the proof right here, and I'm looking at you. That's right. He getting ready to turn his brother in to the police on camera. This nigga getting ready to turn his own brother in for a felony on camera. Oh, I love the karma brewing for you, sir. You Gargamel. Look, he got that Gargamel tooth, nigga. That's that Gargamel. You telling me him and Gargamel ain't got the same grill? The tooth that he's missing is in Gargamel's mouth. Him and Gargamel same, share the same grill, nigga. You gonna tell me this nigga don't look like Gargamel. Oh, you got it. Trusty Gargamel. That's your name from here on out, my nigga. <laughs> nigga like Gargamel, nigga. Don't, nigga, I grew up on the Smurfs. Don't tell me what Gargamel look, look like, nigga. Because I know. <laughs> yeah, Gargamel said, fuck family, nigga. I don't like them Smurfs, and I don't like my brother neither. And I'm watching you. Holmes is referring to this. Watch this nigga trifling ass brother. <laughs> Watch this nigga brother. Doorbell video, he says, shows his brother, Eric Holmes, stealing packages. You see him walk up to and then sit on yeah, a porch. Yeah, we'll just sit down right Later here. walking away, bag in hand. These are people's personal properties. They pay for the, these items to come. Holmes says Auburn. Do you take? Do you believe the same goes to another woman's uh, vagina? Do you think that that's other people's property that shouldn't be taken? I'm just asking. I, I, there's no reason why. I just want to know your answer to that question. Some neighbors recognized his brother call after call from other people saying his sibling did the same thing to them. Now, so yeah, I got to put a stop to it. And he so what if your brother decides to lock you up for what you allegedly did in Vegas? And when I say allegedly did rape, I'm not I'm, I'm not the rest of these niggas. I've read the YouTube community guidelines. I can say the word rape when it's talking about an actual case and stuff like this. And we're talking about an actual case of alleged rape. But like you said, nigga, like you said, you know, you, this is a bitch lying on you. You was just trying to help her. But Officer Boyle, what did you say that he told you? Just ask him how I did it. I got out the limo, grabbed the hand, went upstairs and fucked her. He did. You know they looking for you. Ooh. 
Holy. Yeah. yeah Calling yeah, Chicago nobody. police detectives to come nobody, pick nobody. him up last month. Hands Holmes' right his normal work of. This nigga just locked up his own brother. Talking about keep, keep your hands. Keep your hands right there. Keep your hands right there. And he did. You know they're looking for you. Who? Holy. Yeah. yeah. Calling you know Chicago nobody. police detectives to come you know pick him up last month. Holmes' right normal work of helping keep find murder right suspects there. and consoling grieving families put on pause for his own family business. You know, just because you're my brother don't make you right that you have to commit a crime and you have to get away from this. That girl said you raped her and you and Tiffany Henyard fired her, covered it up by firing her. So fuck you, nigga. As a matter of fact, I don't give a fuck what your brother did. I don't have no respect for no nigga turning over his fucking brother to the fucking police like they gonna help this nigga. The question I want to know, Mr. Community Activist, how you helping the community when your brother out here stealing Amazon packages off people's doorsteps, nigga? Your brother look like a fucking crackhead, bro. <clears throat> I'm supposed to let, believe that you can change our community when your fucking brother out here on work stealing packages off people's porches, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. Can't believe you would have your. What did I tell y'all the other night, nigga? Criminals are more likely to snitch than people that ain't. People that don't ain't criminals ain't snitching on their family like this. They'll cut their family off before they like, nigga. I'm getting you locked up, <laughs> nigga. You got hey. Why can't you just pull that nigga to the side? Hey, nigga, you got to stop stealing Amazon packages. Nope. Not only did you turn this nigga over to the police, you turned this nigga over to the police on camera. You had 12 come pick up your brother for a photo op and sent it to the news. You recorded this shit with your phone and sent it to the news. You trifling. I'd never trust a nigga who do that. Um, I wouldn't, bro. I don't know what you thought you would get out of me throwing your own family under the bus. <laughs> nigga, I don't trust you. You sent your own brother to prison for a fucking photo op, nigga. Nah, 12, his hairline didn't jog for 14 blocks. He jogged for 14 blocks and left his hairline at the scene of the crime. I saw this shit. I said, oh, so you saw Goodman. This is like the billboard shit that Jimmy Slippin' Jimmy did. Next thing I know, this nigga's gonna save a nigga from falling off a billboard. Yeah, I jogged 14 blocks to arrest a motherfucker. I arrested my own brother. All this shit on camera, except me running. How much do you be paying these niggas to do these events for you? Because now you done did these events and shit. And now all of a sudden you trustee. And now you was going to try to work your way to some other position. But it stops here. Alleged rapist. And I got a question. <clears throat> Stan Brown. People are reporting that you were there. Why the fuck would you, won't you come out and say you didn't? Were you in the room with that bitch? I don't care if you was there with your wife, nigga. Did you leave the room and did you go in the room with motherfucking trustee Andrew Holmes with Tiffany Henyard's assistant? Were you ever in that room? Because I find it weird that you won't come out and say that. I didn't do shit even though I was there. Because if, if I had went and I didn't do it, I would not be quiet right now. I don't give a fuck. So Stan, come out and denounce this shit, or were you there? <clears throat> I'm asking all the questions. Let me remind you of something Bert Odelson said at the secret meeting. He said, I'm not surprised that two of the trustees are not here. He didn't just say the rapist. He said both of them saying, why would you not come out and protect yourself by saying you had nothing to do with this? See, Stan, I ain't stupid. 
I ain't stupid, my nigga. I know what time it is. Come out and say you had nothing to do with this. Because if I if it, if somebody was like it's between you and this other nigga, like me like me and me and some other dude went to some trip, and some girl said between one of them two guys raped me. I'm going to immediately stand up wherever I need to stand up and say I didn't touch that girl and I have no idea what the fuck she's talking about. Cause ain't nobody raping nobody in front of me. You can't show me once you show me her body unconscious, nigga. I gotta tell. So if you plan on having like girls unconscious and shit like that, and you need help with the body and shit, don't call me because I'm telling. This nigga told on his mother. Jason House came out immediately. Nigga, I wasn't even there, nigga. Nothing to do with it. Remember, the girl says she don't remember. And Andrew Holmes was dumb enough to brag about fucking. Was Stan just smart enough not to as well? Stan, the window's open because you won't come close it. Come close the window for me, my nigga. Black ass nigga looking like a Halloween Pez dispenser. You won't even come out and denounce Andrew. That is scary in itself. You won't denounce a alleged rape. Wait, a nigga's allegedly a rapist and you still won't denounce him? Huh. All right, then. I thought about that overnight last night, and I'm like, this nigga's silence is weird because the news is saying you were there, nigga. The news said you were there. So even if you if you weren't there, why wouldn't you come out and go, hey, the news wrong, I wasn't there. No, he was there. And just because he was there, think about how easy it was to get away from his wife. Him and his wife in the hotel room. Trustee Andrew Holmes calls him. Hey, come to my room right quick. Andrew didn't even have to tell him it was a bitch. Come to my room right quick. Hey, Andrew wants me to come down there right quick. What's his wife going to say? No. They their own business. Of the village. <laughs> yeah. Or Thornton, Thornton Township or both. Who knows? Whatever credit card they throw on the table that time. Stan, you go in there and fuck with that girl. Do, do y'all be tag teaming bitches on trips? Do y'all be drugging bitches at tag table? That's sad, man. That's sad. You you got all the power as a trustee of a motherfucking village, and you still can't get willing threesomes and foursomes and whatever you need. Y'all y'all niggas got y'all you you old ass niggas gotta be taking bitches and you juicing. I'm sure y'all got that Balco. Spare no expense. They don't take pills. He probably got some type of needle. He go in the bathroom and just pump it right in his shit, nigga. Instant hard, nigga. I'm about to wear this mother. Wear this bitch out, nigga. Yeah. This nigga called the fucking police on his brother. Would you call the police on your brother over so, not and not like a situation where possible bodily harm? You found out your brother was stealing Amazon packages and he's possibly on drugs because Andrew said this nigga's on drugs. So your brother's a, dr a drug addict who's stealing packages. Will you call the police on them, Press? One for yes, two for no. I ain't saying let the nigga store the stolen shit at your house or let him stay. But come on, man. You really think that this nigga's going to get the help that he need from them? They gonna lock him up just long enough so he can really be Jones and then get back on the streets and do double what he would have normally been doing and maybe even OD. Andrew, especially when we talking about Amazon, 
yeah, I'm so sorry it will be an inconvenience for you and all of this shit. But me personally, if, if that nigga stole my Amazon package, I wouldn't want them locking him up because what kind of dope fiend shit is this? And I'm getting it anyway. I'm going to hit Amazon. Somebody stole my package. And they're going to send me another one immediately. And he does all of this. And he calls the police. And he sets up his old brother's perp walk. He set up his own brother's perp walk. He set up his own motherfucking brother's perp walk. That's all I need to know about a nigga. I'm that type of nigga. When I see you exhibit certain traits, I'm like, oh, can't fuck with you. You did that to your brother? For clout? Hmm. You know the police looking for you. Yeah, because you told them where I was at. <laughs> this nigga like you. This nigga like he just heard about it on the corner. He didn't call him and tell him that. He waited until he called 12, talked to the news, everything. Then he told him, and keep your hands right there. He set up his own brother's perp wall. Recognized his brother, call after call from other people, saying his sibling did the same thing to them. Nah, so yeah, I got to put a stop to it. And he did. You know they're looking for you. Ooh. Police. Yeah. yeah. Calling Chicago police detectives to come you're pick him up you. last month, Holmes' right normal there. work of helping Keep find murder right suspects there. and consoling grieving families put on pause for his own family business. You know, just because you're my brother don't make you right that you have to commit a crime and you have to get away. This. That's the clip I'm going to play when they arrest your ass. Just because you my brother don't mean you could commit a crime and get away. That is the shit I'm playing when they lock your ass up, nigga. When grieving families put on pause for his own family business. You know, just because you're my brother don't make you right that you have to commit a crime and you have to get away. This is far from the first time Eric has had trouble with the law. Accused in July of stealing packages from a USPS mail truck, smashing the... You a community activist and your brother is Bubbles. And not season four, season five bubbles. Your brother is season one bubbles. Side window with a rock. Police say they caught him with a duffel bag full of the stolen items ranging from shirts and jeans to coat. This nigga stole apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur, the whole club. This nigga, he stole some fur blue jeans from Lane Bryant. Oh my Jesus Christ. He stole some jeans for a bitch with a fat ass, a multicolored shirt, a blue box, some black coasters, a black box, a red black box, and a multicolored box. This nigga stopped. This is the definition of petty theft, nigga. I know some bitch with a fat ass man. She was ready to go to the club and them jeans didn't show. This nigga saved you from getting pregnant, girl. Somebody was going to nut all in you when you got them new jeans. You was going to stuff all that ass in them Lane Bryant jeans and get chose. Nah, he actually saved you. You was going to let some little pookie or Ray Ray drop off in you. Nah, you good. So shout out to Andrew Home brother. You know what I mean? He did a solid. Oh, that's five shirts. He stole five shirts. And four brown and black coasters. <laughs> That's dope feed shit. Coasters, nigga. This nigga. Coasters. He stole. This is the crime of a nigga that just stole the first shit available. You see it on the screen? He stole four brown black coasters. <laughs> It's not funny. It's just like, nigga, you were supposed to be a community activist. Can you start at home first? Can you get your brother off drugs and get him a good job and brush his teeth? Can you do that? You were supposed to be in charge of the village. Posters. Holmes says his brother struggles with substance abuse. Yeah, he a crackhead too. I ain't tell y'all that, didn't I? Yeah, he smoked crack. Uh, yeah, he smoked that shit. Been trying to get him off that shit for years. But we gonna get him off it today. Lock him up. Lock him up. We gonna show his ass. 
This was in an effort to save him, he says, from more run-ins with the law or even getting killed. Who's the best person to find a, a relative, is a relative? Hey, nigga, don't trust none of your family, nigga. <laughs> In one statement, this nigga made me not want to trust my own fucking kids, nigga. Nigga, don't, hey, bro, you, bro. <laughs> this nigga's like, nigga, ain't nobody better to tell on the nigga family, tell on the nigga than his family, nigga. If you got family, tell on them, nigga. This was in an effort to save him, he says, from more run-ins with the law or even getting killed. Who's the best person to find a, a relative, is a relative? You know how to find him, you know how to get him, put a stop to him. Holmes says he hopes- Well, why don't you find him and keep him out of trouble? If you know how to find him, find him and get him off crack so he can stop stealing coasters. By speaking up, this will motivate anyone with loved ones caught up in criminal activity to take action and get those family members some much needed help. Reporting in Auburn, Gresham, Stephen. Who is that? DJ Augustine? Graves, CB. This nigga Andrew Holmes told on his own fucking brother, bro, and put it on video. For what? See, let me show y'all the type of shit he be on. This nigga's a clout demon. But I want you to remember something that Kara said in the chat earlier. She said when her daughter got killed by the police, oh, community activists... This nigga wasn't nowhere to be seen. Now, let me be fair, Kara. You know what I mean? That was at night. You know, it was late at night. You know, you know, maybe his old ass was asleep. You know what I mean? You, you know, you let's give him a, you know, he maybe not, he never out at night like that. Practical nuke incoming! Approximately uh, three individuals got out of an SUV, uh, fired multiple shots inside of another vehicle. The other vehicle, there were uh, three individuals in that side of that vehicle, uh, three, two females and one, one male. One male was self-transported to a local hospital. Uh, the three females were shot, two females were shot multiple times. They have succumbed to the injuries and were transported to a local hospital. So why weren't you there when Alexis Wilson lost her life? Where you at, uh, community activist? I tried to give you some leeway, but looks like you be out in the middle of the night. Oops, can't have that. Sorry, Kara. Got to take that up back. I apologize. I tried. I tried to help him. I tried, I tried to give him a fair shake. I bet your old ass was up till the sun came up in Vegas. That bitch woke up naked. You want some coffee? What am I doing here? I brought you some donuts. You, shit, you just fell asleep here. You sure that's what happened? Yeah. Man, I don't feel right. Oh, that's because that nigga, that nigga Andrew called me, nigga, and he said he beat the cakes. What? Yeah. He said, nigga, I fucked her so hard, my hairline went back another inch, nigga. Nigga, I fucked a whole inch off my hairline, nigga. You're a creep. You're nasty. I believe it. And all this is alleged, you know what I mean? Because what do I know? I'm just some nigga on YouTube to smoke weed. Did they say anything about uh, being gang-related or anything? Or, well, you know? I'll have to leave that up to the detective. Still in the preliminaries. Uh, the commander had just got here, so we'll leave that up to the detective to decide, uh, you know, what happened, actually happened or what uh, it was about. We do know that we have two females that are now. Andrew, were they shot in the uh, in the car? Do you know, or outside uh, the car, or anything else? No, these, uh, in the and let me remind y'all of something. I don't know if y'all ever noticed this, 
And I hope y'all noticed that last last week when we uh watched the in the whole board meeting in its entirety live, Andrew Holmes, every fucking board meeting is going to make a long ass pro police statement. That's why he wasn't there. Just so, just so, if you, and I'm sure you probably already knew that, Kara, but just so you know, that's what every, fu- go watch every board meeting. He, there's going to be a time where Andrew Holmes is going to make like a two minute pro police statement every time. Prisoner was shot inside of the car. It seems like the car SUV pulled up, they got out, fired multiple shots inside of the vehicle. Uh, three females, or two females were shot multiple times. One male was shot twice. Uh, he was transported by a vehicle to the scene. I want y'all to watch this again. And I want to ask y'all a question before we watch this again. Is it just me? Or is Andrew Holmes reading off a motherfucking teleprompter? How did how does he know all of this by memory? And why does he never look away? Not even for a moment. He reading this shit off a teleprompter. Uh, three individuals got out of an SUV, uh, fired multiple shots inside of another vehicle. The other vehicle, there were uh, three individuals in that side. This nigga's reading the teleprompter. Uh, three, two females and one one male. One male was self-transported to a local hospital. He won't shift uh, his eyes even a little shot, bit. Two females were shot multiple times. They have succumbed to the injuries and were transported to a local hospital. Did they say anything about uh, being... What's happening, Yolanda? We already covered it tonight, so definitely make sure you rewind. Good looking out, though. Gang related or anything, or you well, know. I'll have to leave that up to the detectives. Still in the preliminaries. Our commander had just got here, so we'll leave that up to the detectives. This nigga eyes won't move from like this nigga's reading off of a fucking teleprompter. And just so y'all know, they have cameras and shit where you can just look into the camera and see the words and shit you're supposed to say. This nigga's reading. Detective to side uh you know what happened actually happened or what uh it was about this nigga worked with the police nigga andrew were they shot in the uh in the car you know or outside Uh, the car or anything else no these uh individuals were shot inside of the car it seemed like the car suv pulled up and got out fired multiple shots inside of the vehicle uh three females or two females were shot multiple times one male was shot twice uh he was trans how you know all this by memory you ain't got no little note paper or nothing. Do you think he was reading off a teleprompter? Press one for yes, two for no. Monotone, no motherfucking like. Somebody said he talked like he got a broken jaw. This nigga's not talking with no type of normal, uh, like his normal voice at all. the fuck was that what are you out there running interference for the police what the police done did out there yeah Tommy G told this motherfucker and I and I and I second that Chief Lacey I will raise two thousand dollars on my channel to challenge your fat ass to a fist fight in Oklahoma or Indiana. I'm not dumb enough to do it in Illinois. We can go to Oklahoma or Indiana and I'll beat your fat ass. Take that badge and that gun off, sign it, and whoever win, the money go to charity, nigga. So I'm on that as well. I back Tommy up on that. And if Tommy, if he even remotely Act like he want to catch the fade. Whatever you need from my channel to help, I got you, bro. No charge. Consider this one on the house. This ain't no dick swinger. I just want this nigga to catch the fade. So if you think that it's a, you, I might be an easier match because I smoke a lot of weed, you going to see how powerful THC is in a charity sanctioned fight because I don't believe in violence.
I don't believe in carrying firearms. Only pussies like you do, Lacey. Not all people that carry firearms are pussies, or pussies like you are. <laughs> you ain't gonna fight that nigga. <clears throat> oh yeah, we definitely gonna slide for Tommy. If that let that let that motherfucker try it. Chief Lacey, just know when Tiffany go, you going too, nigga. <laughs> This nigga got the nerve. He trying to bully niggas. I know he's, bro, he's sick right now. He's sick right now. Do I got any more Andrew shit down the pike? I believe I do. The mayor stated this at the September meeting. Myself and my administration have done everything correctly and by the book. That's number one. So I, everything, I want, every everything that's been done in her administration has been done by the book. Hold on, is that is that Trustee Belcher up there? Yeah, this is before she fucked it up for everybody. Residents to know that you are safe. You will always be safe. I am always key on um, safety for the village uh, residents and for anybody that comes through our town. That was a lie. <laughs> the investigation conducted by the Illinois EPA found that the work was ongoing for three months, with 20 to 30 loads already removed from the site. The investigation also found that asbestos was present in the floor tile and mastic samples that were being moved which is a serious health concern. This mayor put the whole village in danger with her reckless movements. The lot on 142nd and Cottage Grove has been vacant for a long time. It used to be- Dalton residents, this lot look familiar to you? <clears throat> Whatever the mayor was doing on this shit, she exposed y'all to asbestos cause she's a fucking moron. the Kaiser aluminum plant. In 2022, Mayor Tiffany Henyard recklessly started doing work on the site, despite knowing its history. It's important that elected officials prioritize the safety of their community and take necessary precautions to ensure that their actions do not put anyone at risk. This mayor put the whole village in danger with her reckless movements. Trustee Holmes supports everything this mayor does and says nothing. This election, let's send him back to Look at this creepy ass nigga. You out here with all of this shit, but you can't get your brother off drugs. Chicago. Remember Good night, Boston. Remember to exercise your right to vote and choose trustees who prioritize transparency, safety, and accountability. Only then can we ensure that our community remains a safe and healthy place to live in. February 28th, vote five, six, and seven for Tammy Brown, Edward Steve, and Samisha Williams. Misha, I ain't never even heard of you. Ed, Steve, damn, bro. You got behind that number six, bro. You got to get from behind the number six. So y'all niggas exposed the community to motherfucking as asbestos? Here goes some shit about what people was talking about last night. A Dalton woman says her dream home came with an unexpected surprise, a huge unpaid water bill. Once she discovered the apparent era, things only got worse. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kozloff went straight to the village for answers. For six years, water in Trina Downs Dalton home has been the source of all her headaches. Not the actual liquid itself, but what it's cost her. The more I pay, the more of a problem I had. A problem with her water bill, a big gushing one that she didn't discover until 2015. No. Niggas said $3,000 water bills last night, bro. Niggas said three thousand dollar water bills last night, bro. They said three G's. I was like, nigga, you bullshitting. Looked into it. They were not lying. Niggas be getting three thousand dollar water bills in Dalton, nigga. 
Yeah, she's not the only one. Yeah, Kiki. Kiki was like, yeah, three thousand. I was like, nigga, what? <laughs> Look into this shit. She was not lying. This is and this is this is on par, bro. Hey, here's the best part. She went down there to try to figure out why they paying, why they charging her so much money. Don't you know that the water department called the fucking police on her? Yeah. It's that type of, it's Baghdad there, bro. If you go arguing about your water bill, nigga, they calling 12 on you. But wait till you hear why she owed this money. Oh, I did not start at zero. Four years after buying her house and paying her quarterly water bill, the tip-off? They still. Suddenly getting a miscellaneous bill for more than $1,000. Miscellaneous $1,000. Make a payment. That's when she demanded a detailed billing statement and discovered she'd inherited. I was not aware of it. A 2400 she inherited a $2,400 water bill. And then she ran it up another G herself while making regular payments. Make that make sense. She was making regular to regular payments and it still went up to three Gs at a point. $100 water bill with the property. Even though she says her closing documents show she bought the house free and clear. She got documents showing there was no bills owed on this fucking place when I bought it, so you can't try to do it now. Because we checked on all of that before I bought the place. So you can't try to be like, oh, we, nope, nope. I had the stamp from the village. Um, I had an attorney close um, with me, and um, everything was paid. Some of my dishes. Downs has spent I, years. I told you, man, all these girls in Dalton are thick. Was fighting to get her account straightened out and the money she says she's owed. Can you tell me why they called the police on me? Dalton they called the police on her because she want to know what's up with her fucking water bill. Bag, little bag, that nigga. Officials even called police on her when she went to the village's payment center to get answers in 2019. She's filed complaints with Cook County's Inspector General, Illinois' Attorney General, and court action with no resolution. Right now, now I'm I'm not paying them until I receive a refund for what is owed. Mayor Tiffany Henyard's assistant got back to us and says this issue goes back to a prior administration, but current village staff has already met with Downs twice. No! You gonna say it's, it's a Riley fault. You gonna try to blame this shit on Riley, but you ain't gonna fix it. You gonna leave it like that and take the money from this bitch, but she can't be mad at you for taking the money. She need to be mad at Riley. Shut the fuck up. How stupid do y'all think niggas are, bro? And they're going over her account to make sure she's only responsible for water that she's used. It's always somebody else's fault, but it, she can't fix it. So who's supposed to fix it? Riley's gone. You gotta fix it. Don't be mad at us. Be mad at Riley. Bitch, just cancel my fucking debt. You see, it's an error. We call on the police. When they determine that, they'll meet with her again. But it's not clear how many weeks, months, or years that will take. In Dalton, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. These niggas is paying $3,000 for water in Dalton, bro. And Andrew Holmes is out here running 14 blocks to catch hit and run criminals. Yeah, I just jogged. About 14 blocks. Yeah. Shut your lying ass up, nigga. Y'all niggas are all going to prison. This is some unprecedented level of prison. Y'all niggas are getting ready to go to. Unprecedented.
I need y'all to understand this, my niggas. Thief Freeman. Expect, bro, hey, Thief Freeman, I want to interview with you as well. Yep, here go more proof that this nigga Andrew Holmes, he, he, bro, this nigga's a police officer. Organizers and volunteers handed out hundreds of these free gun locks outside the City of Praise Church of Chicago today during an event held for the community. They say every one of these that was handed out is making yet another family that much safer. This is an intervention. This is prevention. This is proactive response. Through Chicago Survivors, we respond to a crime scene after a person is shot. Were y'all there when Alexis Wilson was shot? These are several questions I want answers to. Now we're being proactive, as we always has been, to stop it. The giveaway, spearheaded by Chicago survivors in partnership with community activist Andrew Holmes, was held for two hours and saw dozens right. of community members stop. Why are you hugging them like that? Stopping by to pick up a free gun lock. All right. You're trying to save your children. The best person can save a child is a mother, father, or you who has that gun. If you got a gun, put a lock on it. Organize. This nigga really think he Jesse Jackson. Organizers say the lock takes just seconds to put on a gun and can prevent a potential tragedy. Chicago police also partnering with Holmes and Chicago survivors for the event. The gun locks are absolutely a, a crucial key. Uh, as you've covered before, we've had quite a few incidents where uh, kids are getting a hold of these loaded guns and tragic things are happening. Holmes says incidents like a shooting last March in Dalton where police say a toddler accidentally shot and killed his own mother as the family was sitting in their car further emphasize the importance of these efforts. Children shouldn't have to go to this. We're not stopping until we save our babies. I will never play with a gun. Yes. During the event in Chicago... Nigga, don't raise your hand and swear to this nigga. First of all, you only got one kid and you just keep showing him from different angles, making it seem like you got a bunch of kids. This is the same nigga you was awkwardly hugging. Let me ask you a question, young man. When you got up the next morning for cereal, was this nigga in the living room? You can just shake your head yes, or you can shake your head no. When you woke up and got cereal the next morning, was Andrew Holmes sitting on your couch? Everything this nigga do, he won't on camera. Did you get that on camera? Did you get that on camera? Did you get that on camera? Chicago lawn, several young people taking a pledge. This nigga giving out fake certificates and shit. Nigga, he'd have gave me that motherfucker, I'd have let the wind catch it. <laughs> oh, damn. Never treat a gun like a toy and know what to do if they find one. Look at this weak ass <laughs> And look, you see the 66 on the bottle, nigga. That's probably some hand sanitizer shit. Any type of hand sanitizer and shit with 66 in it, nigga, that shit is poison. Don't be putting that shit on your hands. But don't believe me. I'll just be making shit up. Dude, who are you supposed to call? 911. see community. Yeah, me, me, and, me and Trustee Holmes used to wrestle over the frosted flakes. Like we used to real life wrestle over the frosted flakes. <laughs> I like when you like this, Daddy. Uh, daddy, I like when you when you're scrambling and scraping the <laughs> shit. I like that. We used to wrestle over the frosted flakes and to see them come out and actually take them, uh, it's a positive step. And to be able to be a part of it is awesome. And hopefully they take them home and they actually use them. 
Chicago Survivor says education, providing information and support is a key part of their mission because more than 90% of families they work with who have been impacted by shootings have children in the home. They're glad to support this effort and to see the turnout this event generated. Organizers say the trustees of Dalton are elected officials. Planning their next free gun lock giveaway, which will be held in the 11th district. Reporting in the Chicago Lawn neighborhood, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News. This nigga Andrew, this nigga Andrew Holmes is a wild nigga. And like, he always just showing up to shit. And he ain't, I, I ain't never heard of him really fixing anything, but he likes to show up to shit. Don't believe me? Come on, nigga. Shay, go in the archives on Andrew Holmes. Andrew Holmes, I've been watching you today, my nigga. <laughs> and I didn't like what I saw. I saw, I see a nigga that just be grandstander. Don't believe me? You don't believe that this nigga's a grandstander? Come on, bro. Damn. Practical news. Oh, my Enjoy. God. Grandstander. to be outside and with more on that is Audrina Vegas. Audrina? Steve, we're already seeing single digit temperatures here along the lakefront here in uptown and this feels even colder out here with these wind chills. It's How do you feel cold with all that fucking fur on the top of your head? This bitch talking about she cold. She got 75 bundles up under that motherfucking knitted cap. Dangerous conditions for those living here, and there could be even more forced to live on the streets this week. I put three or four comforters on the top. Doing whatever it takes to stay warm. Well, what the fuck does this have to do with Andrew Holmes? It's freezing out, and it's only going to get worse. Joe and Maria Murray, two of hundreds living under about five uptown viaducts. And we have each other. So that, that makes a difference, body heat. While more tents line up along the Lawrence Viaduct in Uptown, there could be even more people forced here from this shelter two blocks away. It's days away from closing down. It just appalls me in this rich city that we have this problem. Home Amen. Homeless activists call the closing a political failure from the city to state level, criticizing the state for failing to come up with $100,000 needed to keep it open. We're not even anywhere close to having enough shelter beds for every homeless Chicagoan, and yet in the face of that, our city and state are um, cutting back. Community activist Andrew Holmes is sleeping outside under the viaduct tonight in the day. Can't make it up with this nigga, bro. You just can't make it up with this nigga, bro. This nigga, this, this nigga called. Yeah, I'm gonna go sleep with the homeless. Hey, news, come on down here. This nigga was down here. As soon as the cameras left, he left, nigga. This is the, this nigga trifling, nigga. This nigga trifling as fuck, bro. I don't trust this nigga as far as you can throw him, nigga. He couldn't just stay down there. Bro, I, I feel gross to even say this. If this is the shit he be bragging about doing for people, first of all, this is trifle. Second of all, like, nigga, if you want to, like, we can have a private battle. I'll talk to you privately shit I've done or whatever because this is some weak shit. You didn't bring the homeless nothing except your ass. Putting the camera all in their face. Yeah, we cold in the motherfucker. It's four degrees. Can you let a nigga hold something? And this nigga come down there talking about scoot over. <laughs> this nigga Andrew Holmes, we 
this, this thing is trifling as fuck, nigga. He ain't even dressed like he's staying. It's for you see on the screen, it's a like four degrees. He ain't got no hat, no real gloves on nothing, cause he's just gonna take this picture, then get his black ass up and go get in his heated limo. Prima Donna, I've heard of it. Send that shit to me. Shay at latenightcrew.net. Somebody please put my email in the chat. One of my mods, pretty please. I can't believe this nigga took his black ass down there to quote unquote sleep with the homeless. Why don't you just bring a couple of homeless niggas over to your house? I'd have respected that more. Like that little white couple that was in the tent, they look like they've been together forever. They ain't look they, they was all strung out on drugs and no shit. So what if they were? You want to do all this shit? You should have, whoever's in that tent right there, you should have knocked on there. Congratulations. You just want a free night of a great night's sleep, warm house, breakfast, dinner, all this shit with a late checkout. I would have respected that. There's no spaces in the email. As a matter of fact, Janice, pretty please, will you remove that and, and put it back? Because that'll confuse some people. Every homeless Chicago and yet in, yet in the face of that, our here. city and state are... Um, cutting back. Community activist Andrew Holmes is sleeping outside under the viaduct tonight in the dangerously cold conditions, hoping to send a message to legislators. What is the problem that you can't come to agreement to get the budget fixed and to help the people? I think the money. And there it is. There it is. He don't give a fuck about the homeless people. This is a photo op. You could just go down there and help the homeless. Even if you got, if you one of them niggas that gotta be on TV, all right, then put it on TV, my nigga. Um, but why are you making it political? Why aren't you down there showing how you giving them all this shit? Why aren't you coming down there with blankets and shit like that? Unreal, this nigga. Is there? It's just a matter of the will. There were 72 beds in that shelter down the street. Activists say they want all 72 beds replaced in new shelters. I spoke to a city spokesperson today. She tells me that all the remaining residents in the shelter will be placed somewhere else. Live in Uptown, Andrina Bigas, CBS 2 News. Robin Erica. And then that bitch in there with no sleeves on looking warm and cozy than a bitch. <laughs> yes, it looks quite cold out there, bitch. All right, Audrina, thank you. <laughs> Come on, keep going, Andrew. Evening news at six. No, here at six, a serious safety hazard for residents of South Suburban Dalton. Yeah, many of the villages' fire hydrants are not in any working order. WGN's Sean Lewis joins us live from Dalton with more on the story tonight. Sean? Yeah, and it's not just the side streets, Ray and Micah, that uh, we're looking at here. We're in a major intersection here on Sibley Boulevard, and uh, a couple of safety issues that... Wait, two things. Y'all got a White Castle on Sibley? I'm coming to Dalton, bro. And I don't do chain food like that, and I'm going to hit all the local spots, but, bro, I got to get me some onion chips, bro. Leave me alone. Can we get 300 likes? Hit that like button for me. Second thing is, how the fuck is Sibley so jumping, but a bank robbery happened on Friday in the, at high noon? And Chief Lacey, I want to ask you about that bank robbery. That's the, that ain't got shit to do with the mayor, does it? Because I want to talk to you about that bank robbery. Uh, were pointed out to us. First one's right here, as you said, those fire hydrants. This one is... I, uh, bluegrass. It's a nostalgia thing for me. I'm an Indianapolis baby. And I've done, I've traveled so many different places in my life, but I never actually moved from that. And I've been gone from that for like three years. So 
anything that make me feel like nap, I'm with it. I, I, I'll take me a lo- I'll take me a sack of onion chips and some horseradish mustard and get the fuck out my face. It's not only sunken into the ground, but also sitting on what appears to be a 35, 40 degree angle. Certainly not something that fire crews would be able to access easily if there was. What's happening, guy? It was, in fact, an emergency right here. The other one, take a look at this, exposed wiring from what used to be, we presume, a street light. Just beyond the city limits of Chicago, the village of Dalton is hometown to celebrities like Jay Lynch and the NFL's Donovan McNabb. Time out. Donovan McNabb is from Dalton? All these years, I never knew. To, and you want to know what's crazy? I thought about it and forgot. Before I interviewed Trusty Belcher, I wanted to look up famous people from Dalton. One of my favorite quarterbacks of all time, Fly Eagles Fly. Bluegrass, what's happening? But today. Oh, no. What the fuck is that? Oh, shit. It's also home to what some here say is decay and neglect. Dalton is a great place, but it's bad when you really don't know the inside. Um oh, Lord. Among them is Andrew Holmes, known by many as a community activist and victim's advocate. Holmes is now running for mayor of Dalton. And you say, welcome to Dalton? What are you really welcoming them into Dalton for? Let's take a look inside of Dalton and see what's really going on. Just below this billboard, littered with smiling village leaders off I-94, sits this parcel of land, littered with a wasteland of junk, despite warnings of no dumping and cameras watching. I, you know what I just thought of, side note? I think I'm going to try to reach out to Burt Odelson. I know Burt Odelson know who I am. Bro, he good at his job. He, he knows who the fuck I am. Though this one camera we found had its cord cut. I see the village of Dalton is going down. Pearl Greens called Dalton home for the last 45 years. Anybody? Ever, oh, 660 skin? Oh, hell no. Yo, the devil's the... Full Has anybody ever gotten a tattoo of skin graphics? No disrespect, skin graphics. But, bro, I got a big problem when people be incorporating sixes in their shit, even if by accident. And sees the Yeah, Trusty Holmes running for mayor. This was when he ran for mayor. He already ran for mayor. Problem. Things need to be fixed, you know. One of the most glaring fire hydrants like this one. The only one here for more than two blocks, a resident telling us it's been this way for the better part of a decade. These houses get called a fire. Where are you getting the water from? If it's on this end over here, now you got to run across the street to the Chicago side and get their water. It shouldn't have to be like that. Okay, you trustee, what are you doing about it? Okay, I hate to say this about the water. Let's table the water for a second. Did you rape that bitch in Vegas? Did you rape that woman? Did you rape the mayor's assistant? And if you did, did Stan Brown help you? How did you, and if you didn't, how did you know she was drugged? I just, I don't want you to think that I've lost sight of why we looking at your trifling ass. Looking at that, you know, that's wrong. A wrong, says Miss Pearl, that should be righted. For her and Holmes, it comes down to safety. We got to adjust what we got to do to save. Thief Freeman. Thief Freeman, I need you to come out on record and say you had nothing to do with the mayor's assistant. Or you just got fucked up with him. The same goes for you, Keith. You were there. You were there. Some lies, and this is what it's about. Saving some lies, because if it's a liability risk and it's a lawsuit, guess who paying? 
taxpayers, and they shouldn't have to. The taxpayers are getting ready to pay for a lawsuit that has to do with rape because of you. Do you care about that? Or is that bitch lying? She just a slut. She a whore. She was just some drunk, passed out high bitch. All you did was help that bitch out and look how she doing you. I'm not going. We did reach out to the current mayor of Dalton, Riley Rogers. We have yet to hear back. We are live tonight in the South Suburbs. Of course, Andrew, this is all alleged because, you know, maybe you didn't do it. Lewis, WGN News. Thank you, Sean. <coughs> Fuck it. <coughs> is this you, nigga? Hold on. I need to hear my bell first. Yeah, we need to wait for the bell. Because <laughs> I need to know if this is you, nigga. Bell came faster than you expected, didn't it, nigga? Oops, wrong button. Oh, you got lucky, Andrew. Hold on. I hit the wrong button, nigga. So you got to wait for the bell again. Just wait for it, nigga. Just wait on it. Now you done. Hey, nigga, is this you? You know, Rick is so wild and has went so far off the, the meter. It's shit that I can't even tell, talk, tell you on TV. I mean, you know, I, for the sake of our friendship, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not even going to bring it up. But trust me, he's went there. He he. He has went where it's like, yo, Rick, man, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? You done took this shit too far. And his response is like this. There's no such players. Darkness. Let's go to the abyss, nigga. <laughs> I'm not with it, man. I don't want to go to the abyss, man. You know what I'm saying? Rick wants to go to the abyss. In fact, he dwells in the abyss. Rick James dwells in the abyss, OK? And he, and he wants company. Sometimes, you know, and, and for some reason, he likes to reach out for me. Whenever I'm around, when he, when he wants to go there, he will reach out for me to try to take, take me to the abyss with him. And I'm not with it, man. I'm not with it. And that's when we end up, you know, tussling or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Betty can't do it with a dick, any. And I'm supposed to believe with them old ass hamstrings, he ran 14 blocks. Shut the fuck up, nigga. Y'all think he twerking and this nigga literally taking a shit in that depends right now. He's shitting all in that depends and y'all think he dancing. So when this didn't work in Vegas, it was Pill Cosby time. I got you. This <laughs> nigga. Come on, Lucille. I'm going to finish this one out and roll up with you. Fuck it. This nigga is outrageous. This, this nigga is out. This nigga, every time he popped his ass, his hairline went back one centimeter, nigga. This nigga popping his ass, nigga. And they in the background, boy, yeah, girl, look at him pop that ass. You better shut up and take this drink, bitch. <laughs> Fucking with Ed, nigga. Yes, Andrew, I got, look, I'm not the regular nigga. 
And see, I know you think you're going to catch the trustees slipping by coming on here. I would never disrespect. I wouldn't even disrespect you like this on air. I wouldn't call you Pill Cosby on air. I would never do that. But since you're not here, <laughs> I put my hand up on your hip. If you dip, we if you dip, I dip, we dip. I put my hand up on your hip. If you dip, I dip, nigga, you gonna catch a stroke. Nigga, we need to meme this up. This is when Unc Mo, this is when your this is when your daddy Viagra kick in, nigga. We gotta mean this when your when your daddy Viagra kick in, nigga. Yeah, bring that ass on over here, woman. Yeah, nigga, dick done got hard. Damn, yeah, nigga, dick done got hard. Come on, get it, bitch. Come on, and get it, bitch. Nigga, when granddaddy motherfucker Viagra kick in, nigga, we need to mean this nigga out the game. This is real life, nigga. Hey, fresh tats. Hey, man, I need that sad face. <laughs> you just drop one of them sad faces one time for the one time. Because that's all I feel, nigga. Like, this shit. This shit is just fucking depressing, bro. I feel Dalton, the vill people of Village of Dalton, I hope that I brought you at least a laugh or two. To just know the pain for a moment because this shit is outrageous. And Village of Dalton, I'm going to tell y'all a secret. And y'all might not like this, but I'm going to keep it a stack. They clearly think y'all bitch made. <laughs> they clearly think y'all niggas ain't going to do shit. That does not mean go catch felonies. I just want to put out there the level of respect they have for y'all. That's all I'm doing. I ain't tell I do not want any of y'all to go catch no fucking felonies. That's stupid. That's giving them what they want. But they like y'all niggas ain't gonna do shit. This nigga twerking in the street, this might this might have done it for me, bro. Three, four, right on the and then y'all don't never know how to make clips. Y'all audio is always motherfucking janky and shit. Nigga, why ain't you got the camera on the mirror? I'm trying to see what she look like, nigga. I don't give a fuck what he doing. If I got to watch any of you evil ass niggas dance, I'd rather watch this. She don't know how to dance either. She just jumps up and down. And I'm not replaying this video. This is them just looping this nigga twerking over and over and over. This is outrageous, nigga. He said it's been over four hours. Yeah, you need to order about three, four more bitches because them little seven, eight nuts you done made me bust ain't shit, bitch. We need, we need more hoes over here. Like, so I don't want any of the people of the village adult think I take light of them. I, I got respect for y'all. Y'all some people, you know what I mean? I respect all people from all walks of life. But that don't mean I got to respect the niggas that's running the shit when they doing I mean, this shit's crazy. Tommy G didn't even do shit. And this nigga look up. It's a police car slow rolling down the fucking street. Chief Lacey lying about the law. Niggas is IDing niggas. Five, six cops roll up on camera. Let's see what that motherfucking video is up to now. Cause that bitch has just been steadily climbing. Almost 600,000. He done got damn near 100,000 views on that motherfucker since I've been on the air. Since I noticed it, what, about an hour and a half ago? Andrew, somebody sent me a video of you too that I'm going to probably use tomorrow. Yeah, I got video of you on a door cam, on a door, or on a ring, on a ring cam, nigga. 
Yeah, I got you on a cam over somebody's house looking creepy. That nigga was looking creepy at somebody's house. I'm like, nigga, you don't get your creepy ass from around here. This nigga went and pretended to sleep under the bit bridge. Okay. So you don't believe that and so maybe I didn't show you enough proof that Andrew Holmes be staging the news. Maybe I didn't show you enough proof. Damn it, Shay. They need proof. Practical nuke incoming. There's no way I got more. There's no way, Shay, you now you you lying. There's no way you got more. We've been on there for four hours. You can't have more. Stop. Developing now, a Chicago woman hit and severely injured by a driver that didn't stop. Dalton trustee Andrew Holmes says this morning his sister, Cassandra, was walking when a white pickup truck hit her in a crosswalk at 74th and King Drive. Holmes says she has a severe leg injury. As the suspect drove off, Good Samaritans took this picture of the truck. This is three hit and runs this nigga's been involved in in some way. <laughs> and all of them made the news. Every one. Did you hit your sister? Did you pay somebody to hit your sister? Did you pay your sister to flop like LeBron? That car hit her like Jokic hit LeBron last year. Andrew, I'm on your head. You got some questions. I need you. You got a whole lot of fishy shit in your jacket, cuz. <laughs> everywhere, Mexican. The niggas everywhere. <clears throat> yeah, he didn't run after this truck. That nigga, <laughs> he didn't stretch that morning. Oh, shit. I'm gonna seek and find this individual. You know, regardless, we have a lot of hit and runs in the city of Chicago. And I Apparently do the same thing. so, like, and you at every one of them, nigga. <laughs> you be at every motherfucking one. I circulate the files for them, too, and try to seek and find the individual that do, do a hit and run, whether it's my relative or not. His sister will now have to have surgery. We've reached out to Chicago police, but haven't heard back. Yeah, I'm sure you haven't. He don't do everything. He don't be doing anything for clout. Well, I got a, I got an update on that uh, Easter basket incident. Yep, I sure do. So, Shay, why would he, if he did, stage a hit and run with these Easter baskets? What was the end game for it? Oh, simple. This. You see a child pick up their own basket, and they're happy and they smile. I don't care. They get one or two. Just days ago, community activist Andrew Holmes was badly injured in a vehicle accident. He ain't got no cast, no nothing, but he was badly injured. No cast, no scars, no nothing. But despite the physical pain, he only felt... And she out, out here at the Easter basket giveaway with her Easter eggs all out. Joy today. Holmes's foundation partnered with Orland Park native and NFL player Michael Schofield and his foundation to distribute more than 2,000 free Easter baskets to children in the Englewood neighborhood this afternoon. It seems like the littlest kids always picks the biggest basket. The baskets is dragging on the floor, but I love it. You know, it's, it's the excitement in their faces what makes it worth it. We need something for the children, you know, to look forward to. And this was real beautiful for them. And I know they will remember this for a long time. Each basket. They, they, yeah, they definitely gonna remember that that was one of the wackest Easter bunnies of all time. Basket <clears throat> brought smiles to hundreds of families and a fulfilled sense of purpose for the nah, event's organizer, away, who went corny. through great lengths and literal pains for all this happiness. Wednesday, Holmes suffered multiple injuries after a CTA bus driver hit the van. Allegedly, did you drive the van out? No, this nigga did not drive the van out. I'm done, nigga. I'm so done.
No, this nigga did not drive that van out there to with the shit with them Easter bet. <laughs> I'm over this nigga, though, bro. Let me finish rolling this blunt. I'm done, nigga. <laughs> I'm fucking done. I'm not high enough yet, nigga. Oh, my goodness, bro. This nigga drove that fucking van. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga want every drop of sympathy clout out of this shit he can get, nigga. This is the most scummiest politician, nigga, of all time. Oh my goodness, bro. I can't, I fucking believe this, bro. Of all the things I did not expect to see, I did not expect to see this truck again, my nigga. This is too much, bro. <laughs> Andrew Holmes is a whole ass savage, nigga. I stand on it. This nigga got severe injuries, but the truck, but the truck ain't told. Bro, that should be illegal to even drive that motherfucker on the street. This nigga wanted all the sympathy. So what happened to the truck? Oh, it's right over there. <laughs> this nigga. Nigga, this nigga begging to get in the office. Some sort of office. This nigga just out in the streets pretending to be a super nigga at 80 years old. This is some shit that somebody's supposed to do at like 35 to pretend like they fight and help fight crime to become elected. This nigga 80 years old, won't y'all believe he out here surviving hit and runs. The, the, we, could, we wouldn't have had an Easter if it wasn't for Andrew surviving that hit and run. Because it's always a hit and run, so that way they can't catch the, the criminal who actually did it. Whoever hits this nigga or his family, they always got away. But, the, but a hit and run he had nothing to do with. He chased after a nigga 14 blocks on foot to get the nigga. <laughs> this nigga is the biggest capopotamus I've ever seen in my life. We don't believe you. You need more people. When you say all this shit out loud, it's just fucking, just what the actual fuck? This just shows you how normal people don't watch the news and see this shit. When I get it, the news, they be lying and shit too, but sometimes. That he was driving in in Bronzeville. Inside, thousands of dollars of donations for this Easter basket giveaway. Paramedics wanted me to uh, go to the hospital, but... I just stood out there and waited on the tow truck to come. I didn't, I didn't want these bastards to go nowhere. Holmes waited until a tow truck came to take the donation. Yep, you look hurt than a motherfucker right there. Yep, you look like you got fucked. Nigga, Saul Goodman set this shit up. This ain't nothing but a slipping Jimmy scam. Safely to its destination. Somebody would have cleaned that truck out. I'd have been in more pain, and these kids wouldn't have no baskets. Holmes' story caught the attention of community organizers. That's because he guarantees that if he would have went and got help, he guarantees that somebody would have stole them baskets. Because the police and shit on scene, they wouldn't have protected the baskets. They would have let somebody come up while you got carried off and steal all the shit out of the truck. Come on, nigga. Who are you talking to? Organizer Lisa Sweeney, who gathered more volunteers to help his efforts. It's an overwhelmingly fulfilling experience to have when you simply give with no reason, no purpose, and no expectation. Eastern Stars. Hmm. I think I know somebody that's affiliated. And I think if we all did that, we'd have a much gentler place to live in. He said he suffered multiple pinched nerves and will have to undergo extensive physical therapy, but none of that mattered today. He is going through enough today with this. You know why he said multiple pinched nerves? Because ain't nothing you can do for that shit. This, man, he's such a liar. 
And look at this scary ass Easter bunny. Bitch, get away from me. Bitch, you do not look like Peter the Rabbit. Watch out. Where's Jesus at? What kind of Easter event is this and there's no representation of Jesus? The fuck? It's gun violence. Yup, and you can't prove pinch nerves either. Thank you. It's coronavirus. I can just, with the sand. I'm mad this baby got some jeans that's better than any jeans I got in my collection. Pain, even though I'm hurting now, but. No, I'm not taking a selfie with this fucking rabbit. I'd rather see the kids smiling. Hey, if you like that video, be. I don't really like that video like that, but you hot though. You kind of look like Dana Jacobson. Give you like a six. Well, at least I'm at least uh at least I'm done showing Andrew Holmes clout chase. Practical nuke incoming. Hit the button. We done, bro. Don't. Why are we hitting the button? It's over with. There's nothing else. Damn. There is a push underway to solve cases involving two newborns found abandoned and dead in two south suburbs in 2017. Andrew. You clout chasing off baby cold cases? I'm losing my motherfucking mind, man. I mean, this is some shameful shit. This nigga clout chase off the homeless. Now this nigga clout chasing off baby dead bodies. This is the shit why I can't fuck with politics. This shit. I'm supposed to sit here and look you in your face and pretend after all this other shit I've seen that you really care about these two babies. I know you don't. That's why I don't even want you talking about them. Because every little thing you supposedly do for somebody, the media is always motherfucking there for everything. Because if the media that ain't there, you ain't doing it. Nigga, I know how this shit go. Drew Holmes, who is often at the scenes of violent crimes, working to help police and comfort families. What you mean you a nigga? Now you wearing a shirt that says I'm a man. I don't need a gun. But you was handing out gun locks. So which is it? Are you anti-gun or pro-gun? Because you were in Chicago. Remember Sh Chirac? And then everybody, everybody would talk all that shit like, well, you see what banning guns did. Nigga, all they got to do is drive. Uh, right across the Indiana border where there ain't the same laws, grab the guns and come back home. You do understand that. I know a lot of people don't understand it. But, yeah, that's how it's like, well, they got these gun laws and they don't work. No, nigga, they are surrounded by places that don't have those gun laws where they can just, bro, they can just go get motherfucking to a gun show right over in fucking Gary, Merrillville, South Bend, any Elkhart, any of that shit, get straps and come right back home like nothing happened. This nigga was to say when he was handing out them gun locks sitting out there with the police, he wasn't saying none of that anti-gun shit. Now he out here with the citizens talking about, yeah, fuck guns. You're fucking disgusting. Members placed a rose in a teddy bear. Total bit. fucking grifter. In Dalton and Markham, where the baby's bodies were found, hoping someone's conscience compels them to talk. He adds that there are safe haven laws that will protect anyone who cannot care for a child. Matt Yurs for CBS Chicago. There is a push oh, underway. Disgusting, to nigga. We don't even get to see no pictures of the babies. We just saw multiple pictures of him. Fucking. Ugh. Let's see this nigga cape for the police some more. This nigga got an endless trove of shit. And all of it just lets me know that you a slimy politician of the, of, bro, you 64 and just now made it to trustee with all this shit you doing. And this is where it ends for you, though. 
pistols inside of his vehicle. He approached that vehicle. As he approached that vehicle, he was assaulted, battered by three individuals. Now look how he's talking now. You see how he's talking? Already he's had more head movement than that whole other shit. Now you see his multiple news outlets and shit out there. Now he's talking naturally. That other shit he was just... Oh, yeah, 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 was the... the, 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 the inside of his vehicle he approached that vehicle as he approached that vehicle he was assaulted battered by three individuals that hit him with objects they battered him so bad that uh, he was knocked unconscious and also at the same time his personal property was taken from him I say this should be considered a hate crime too and the reason being I say that because the, inv the individuals that committed this crime was too comfortable the reason I say they was too comfortable, because they should, may be from this area. They took the time to leave, then come right back as he laid unconscious, committed more bodily harm, and not only that to his body, but they also went through his pockets, took his wallet, his credit card, his personal property. Now, that says a lot. It says a lot because you were too comfortable. Then you were too comfortable that you left the area, went to North Riverside Mall, went inside certain stores out there, and started shopping. You want to talk about what sounds comfortable to me? What sounds comfortable to me is becoming a Dalton trustee taking a trip to Las Vegas <clears throat> on the corporate card on the village of Dalton and or Thornton City Township or is it just Thornton Township and then you got so comfortable that you got out there and went to an expensive dinner and you were so comfortable that you had a girl that was under the influence of drugs and alcohol that you said naked in your fucking room. And you were so comfortable that you kept your job and she lost hers. And the cop that you called, he got demoted. And I'm sure you were so comfortable to hit Las Vegas Strip and go to the mall and go shopping after that yourself too. How are you talking all this victim talk and then somebody makes a real claim about your black ass and you release a statement under an anonymous name? But obviously you didn't do it because, you know, this is all alleged. Start buying shoes, start buying jackets. You work caught on surveillance video cameras there and we also asked him that the neighbors around here as we circulate these flyers out with your face and your pictures on there which is crystal clear that not only the neighbors give you up but also your mother and your father should be the first one to give you up in Africa yeah I know you all about getting people to snitch on their family <clears throat> right because I as a mother or a father should turn my fucking kid in because what you said on the news is exactly what happened. And I'm just supposed to believe you. Don't even ask my kid. Just call the police. Hand you and turn you over to the Chicago Police Department. Second, I spoke with the victim. He's still in a lot of pain. He still has a lot of swelling. He's still suffering. He still has to be under hospital care, doctor care to continue going to the hospital. But what we're asking is that anyone in this neighborhood on this block, once we circulate these pictures out and we put these pictures out, if you can identify the perpetrators in these photos, which is crystal clear, we ask that you give the Chicago Police Department a call or either you give us a call at the call center, 1-800-883-5587. This was a vicious attack at eight o'clock in the morning. Could have happened to anyone, but we can put the photos out, we can put the surveillance out, but it's up to his family 
to give the Chicago Police Department and turn this individual in is up to this nice, quiet community. As we circulate these flyers, if you can identify these perpetrators because they were too comfortable in their attack, how many people have become victims to this violence of these individuals? How many times have we put pictures out of individuals? See, Andrew, if you did what they said, this is why you should get the max. Speeches like these. Individuals that committed this crime, we need help. The neighborhood need help. Chicago Police Department need help. You made a bad choice. You did bodily harm to him. Not only bodily harm, but you committed a fraud inside the mall by using this gentleman's identification and information, his credit card. Don't know how much was spent, but... Come stand in front of these microphones like you always do and talk about what happened in Vegas. I'm going to be asking the federal... You be charged on a federal level because I'm going to ask the same thing for you. I only want you to be judged by the same thing you would want to be judged by. See, if you had said nothing, I just judge you by what I would want. I wouldn't want nobody just calling the police because a nigga says some shit on TV because niggas lie. I don't wish jail and prison on nobody. That is not a form of rehabilitation. But you like putting people in jail. You arrested your brother on film. You did. See, you use this credit card. And as I spoke to the victim, he just don't want you to get a slap on the wrist. He want to follow this to the fullest. Felony charges all the way. And if you were juveniles, and I'm going to say it again, if you were juveniles, this you better not say what I think you about to say should be a felony. You should be charged as an adult because you give this nigga the, if he raped that girl super max. If you saying that if some teenage kids beat up somebody and robbed them, robbed their pockets and they should be treated like fucking adults, then bet nigga. I want you to get the same this since you a motherfucking trustee, you should be charged at the highest level possible. Just for the record. You left this individual on the streets for dead as he laid unconscious. Then you come back. No matter. Well, look, if you raped that girl, remember, she says she passed out. So after you would have allegedly had sex with her, you know, you left her there for dead. You knew she was under the influence of alcohol and drugs to the point to where her body was unconscious. You do know she could have died, right? So you very well could have left her for dead as well. I'm just telling you what the motherfucking prosecutors are going to say. That's all. That's all. Because prosecutors will love a layup case against a fucking trustee because then they get to go back to their constituents and go, see, we tough on crime no matter who it is, even though it was such a layup. No matter what race, creed, or color you are, you just don't beat an individual till he's unconscious. You just don't put shit in people's drinks till they're unconscious either. I just want to put that out there. I ain't saying nothing with you, but I just want to put that out there. So when you put your hands on an individual, on a human, no matter who they are, I'll be out here. Yeah. And what you going to do? Jog after him? <laughs> Well, you are alleged to have put your hands on an unconscious body as well. So does the same apply for you? If I got your picture, then guess what? I'm going to circulate it to every home, put it on every card here, and hopefully not only this. How much you want to bet the only, the, out of this whole stack, this is the only stack with something printed on it. All, them, all these other papers are blank. <laughs> All of these other all of these other pages are blank. The only one that got this shit printed on it is this. This nigga talking about he handing them out to every motherfucking house. You only got one flyer, nigga. <laughs> this nigga got one flyer trying to act like he got 
two, three thousand flights, nigga. And we going around the whole hood too, nigga. <laughs> community everybody can put your pitch out on social show media me the rest of the flyers the United States until you are apprehended look I'm how putting... tight he hold the <laughs> look how tight he hold the motherfuckers nigga nigga look how look the tension nigga this nigga does not want you to see that that's the only one of the fucking flyers he got nigga it's just a stack of papers <laughs> oh no this nigga is a scam artiste this nigga is a scam artiste oh my word the Andrew Dal or the Andrew Holmes Dal Dalton trustee episode has yet to disappoint the family members take a look if you plan we can't see that shit, nigga. Hand them out so we can see it. And don't leave in Chicago. To the family members that don't even stay in Chicago, ask him or her, why are you really here? And you ain't seen him in a while. So now we supposed to be questioning family members that pop up. Hey, nigga, are you running from Andrew Holmes? Oh, no, nah, nigga, you got to get up out of here. Nah, that, that old ass nigga will run here. Ask them why are they visiting you. Find out. Check with the Chicago Police Department. Check with your family in Chicago. Just really find out why your loved one is really there. If they First of all, people that run from 12, when they pop up on family, they pop up on family that they can say, hey, nigga, I'm on the run. They generally don't pop up on family that it would look weird while they popped up. I just want to let you know that. I haven't even been to see you in a while. Find out. Because if this... Okay. Okay, okay, it was at least three. Oh, you lucky Listen nigga. Track to your home. Hold on, oh, let me make sure it was more. I, I want to see how many. Been to see you in a while. Find out because. Uh, Hold on, nigga. I want to know, nigga. I need a count on them fucking flyers. Just really find out why your loved one is really there. If they haven't even been to see you in a while. Find so the first three yeah. are. Because if this individual is tracked to your home. Okay, I, I was wrong for the moment, Andrew. If they haven't even been to see you in a while. Find out. Because if this individual is tracked to your home. And they find out that he's been there for a while and you knew about this, you may also wind up in court yourself. You hear that, Stan Brown? Say that again for Stan Brown and Thee Freeman. Home. And they find out that he's been there for a while and you knew about this, you may also wind up in court yourself. Talk your shit. Talk that shit, Andrew. Let them niggas know. You heard what he said. You might find yourself in court, too. To the individuals, your fingerprints are everywhere. Your identification is everywhere. Save your family the trouble. Save your mother and father the trouble. Just simply turn yourself in. Your picture's out here crystal clear. Why would anybody call this old nigga for help? Well, he did approach his vehicle. And of course, anyone that's approaching their vehicle and see someone in their vehicle, they're, hey, they're going to say something regardless. Even though on, to be on the safe side, they're asking that if anyone is in your vehicle, just call 911. But, you know, some people, they see their they vehicle, they see somebody in there. They don't want their vehicle stolen. But at the same time, uh, there were some exchange of words as they were getting out of the car. They did assault him. They did beat him. They did hit him with objects. He did. Look, fuck all this. At least during, at least during the pandemic, you know what I mean? He couldn't be outside clout chasing his shit. At least that was a quiet two years or at least a year and a half.
save our seniors. That was the call for action at a news conference outside the Thompson Center. I understand that people are afraid to lose. I'm losing my motherfucking mind, man. This nigga was outside clout chasing during the pandemic, nigga. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is our... <laughs> Bro, he should take over Chief Lacey's job. This nigga's the greatest police officer in the city, nigga. This nigga's real-life Kojak, nigga. This goofy ass nigga everywhere. Their life, but our seniors should not have to suffer and lose their life because of a lack of staff and medical attention. Medical staff need to be more in touch with the families, not just wait until they expire. Well, the news said, I understand why the news won't release it, because the person that filed the complaint if they would have released his name, then the news would have reported his name. But they got to wait till the criminal charges come. And when the criminal charges come, then the news will report his name. All in the video. Nigga, where is Suge Knight? If you don't want your trustee singing in the video, dancing, come to death row, nigga. Y'all need to vote for Suge. Yeah, Suge Knight need to be trustee. Clean some of this shit up. South Suburban Dalton trustee Andrew Holmes is also asking all governors across the country to provide resources to protect seniors. Always asking for Say money. So what do you want? Hey, can y'all send us some money? Nigga, you always asking for money. Come on, Shay. Is the clout chasing even worse than this? I don't know. Let the people tell me. You tell me. Happening right now, community activists are trying to track down a child rapist in the back of the yards neighborhood. They're going door to door looking for information about a sexual assault. CBS News' Lauren Victory is live right now along 50th and May with details on what happened. Lauren. Good morning, Suzanne. Well, crisis responder Andrew Holmes tells me he's just a few minutes away, and when he comes here, he will be talking to this community that's already put on alert by... So you call, so you on the way to help with a rape, and you called the news to tell them you were on the way. So you on record out here helping put a rapist away. You using rapes for clout, too? This nigga called the news and said, I'm on the way. Tiffany, this is bad. Good morning, Suzanne. Well, crisis responder Andrew Holmes tells me he's just a few minutes away, and when he comes here, he will be talking to this community that's already put on alert by police. That's because investigators are still searching for a man in his 30s or 40s. Yeah, this thing is the crisis coordinator. 40s who allegedly struck a 12 year old girl here and dragged her into a van. The attack happened around 10 30 Thursday night. Police say the preteen was walking on the 50th block of South May when a man approached her and hit her with something. He then pulled her into his gray conversion van and sexually assaulted her. The 12 year old luckily did escape. Neighbors tell us this block is normally filled with children and this incident is both why would y'all show somebody in the neighborhood driving in a van? Nah, this shit is this shit don't smell right. Nobody has any proof. Why would you show this nigga driving in this van? Y'all think he out there looking for kids? Unusual and of course horrifying. There's a lot of young kids here. This neighborhood is comprised of mostly seniors and people who own their homes. And, you know, this is not what you hear here. So, yeah, I'm shocked. That scares me because I got a daughter that be out here every day. So now she got to stay in the house for a while. Do y'all know who the girl is? I'm just asking. I don't need y'all to say it out loud. I just want to know if you know. 
Now, the Chicago Police Special Investigations Unit is on this case. So far, nobody is in custody. Reporting live in back at the yards, I'm Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Explain to me, when we hear this story about this 12-year-old getting raped, explain to me why it's led off with what Andrew Holmes is doing and where he's at. Why wouldn't it be led off with just a girl? Why would Andrew Holmes even need to be mentioned in that? This nigga clout chases off of everything. He gives no fucks, bro. He he gives no fucks. Bro, it's nothing he won't clout chase on. They don't shade. They don't they don't get it. I'm about to smoke one more blunt and leave, and I still ain't gonna show everything. A six month old girl was shot and killed in Chicago this week, all while her dad was First changing of all, her diaper. I ain't gonna lie. Headline news, they bro, they make all they news bitches wear their hair like that. All of them except Robin Me. Police are saying that gang violence is to blame for like, that. She ain't ugly or nothing, but they just all make them look alike. Joining me now from Chicago is community activist Andrew Holmes. <laughs> Nigga, you're on headline news. <clears throat> what the fuck are you doing on headline news, bro? This nigga look like if Muhammad Ali was a bus driver. Oh um, Andrew, you've been shot yourself, so this is something that you're familiar with personally, but you started your own hotline to try to stop this sort of thing happening, like what happened to this poor little six-month-old baby girl. How does this whole hotline work? Well, what, what we do, we circulate... Um, flyers out with our 1-800 number. I have a 24-hour call center. <laughs> this nigga, this nigga's using a six-month-old baby getting shot to promote his phone line. <clears throat> yeah, this nigga looks like a cross between George Foreman and Muhammad Ali if he was a bus driver. Hey, so what about this six month old getting shot? Oh yeah, nigga, just hit my hit my hotline. What? <laughs> this nigga's man. No wonder him and Tiffany like this, bro. They both clout demons, nigga. A twenty four hour call center, nigga. Why would I call him to report a crime? Explain that part to me. Why the fuck would I call this nigga? Right, exactly, Tag. You call him, and then he calls Crime Stoppers and get the money. <laughs> you call... You call him, then he call Crime Stoppers and get the motherfucking bread. <laughs> Andrew Holmes, you trifling to the motherfucking nigga. <laughs> this nigga, this nigga's outrageous. And also, we use social media to make contact with anybody who knows any information about any violent crime, not only in Chicago, this is a nationwide hotline number. Okay, so to try to get those people off so the street. So why the fuck would I call, I'd rather call her, nigga. <laughs> I'd rather call her on the left and see what she doing, you know what I mean? Why the fuck would I call you? <laughs> this nigga's talking about call from another part of the country. Um, possibly. What does a typical call look like that comes Please, to the call me. center? Well, we have a bulk of calls that have been coming in, and I must credit the community with 
calling in so much on this ca particular case here. They're very concerned, and we have turned over a lot of information to the Chicago Police Department. Along the more he talked, the more he do look like George Foreman. I'm just waiting this nigga to tell me he's about to knock out the fat. With pictures that they have emailed us to. Now, what made you decide to jump into action? Because I know that a lot of people really feel when they hear about this this baby that was killed, uh, want to do something. You're actually doing something about this problem of violence. Why is that? Well, you must take into consideration that this child could have been your child and, you know, a lot of shooting go, go on here and at the same time, you know, you don't want these individuals taking another life, stopping a heartbeat and just think that they can go head on, party all night and sit up and continue their life when people are hurting on the other end. You make a great point. I mean, I change my child's diaper out in the car, you know, in the parking lot or whatever quite often. It really could be just any of us. Um, what do police or government officials need to do to stop gang violence? Well, I believe we need more funds here to fund more programs. And also, along with the government official, we need more parents, strong parents, just to monitor the kids. You know, the way he never answered the question. We want to know what a call is like when you call. That nigga sidestepped that question like a motherfucker. We were brought up and monitoring our kids and raid kids. We need more parenting courses because. You know, you have a lot of parents that are not monitoring the kids. We have a lot of grandparents that are raising the kids. Yeah, so just keep an eye on your children and band together. And really, sometimes it just takes a community to keep an eye on your children and, and just help make sure that everyone's safe and just all look after. No, it don't. All it takes is the mom and the daddy. Now, it's great to have other people help. All help is welcome. But I don't need no nigga like an alleged rapist doing anything with my family for each other and you're doing just that andrew holmes thank you shay you can't have more mother fucking clout chasing watch this watch this Watch this. Andrew, what the fuck is this, bro? Andrew, tell me the truth. What is this? Carjackings remain a major issue in Chicago. So far this year, there have been more than 700. CBS 2's Brad Edwards has been following the story, and tonight he reports we've already topped last year's total. We hit the streets with Andrew Hall. Now this nigga's, yeah, she cute. She, she was rocking that little song, the hedgehog shit. I ain't gonna lie. Nigga, now you out here clout chasing off of people getting their cars broken into. You clout chase off of everything. You ain't yet, you, you got your hand in all these different problems and you ain't solved shit yet. 88th in Eggleston, 92nd in Lowe, 94th in Wallace, and 900 West 90th Street over in this area. That's the list of recent carjackings in this neighborhood where we headed door to door. Four or five over here in this area. Oh! The car door. Warning. When I see you, there's something wrong. What happened? Had a rash of carjackings over here. This woman says an elderly neighbor was carjacked. Like someone had um, jacked his car, my next door neighbor. Citywide, the number of carjackings have soared. It was about 300 in 2013, 14, and 15. Then a big spike to 663 in 2016. Demon time. A number already surpassed in 2017. These numbers are overwhelming. Overwhelming. Yes. More than 90% this year have gone without arrest, including the August case of Jesus de la O, 28, killed in an attempted carjacking in Noble Square. Three months later, no arrests. And our compiling of the data as of tonight is there have been more than 720 carjackings this year, well on their way to topping 800. Live tonight in River North, Brad Edwards, CBS 2 News. Back to you guys. Brad, thank you. Wait a minute. Well, <laughs> Andrew.
I don't even know how to set up this next clip. So I'm going to just let you have it, cuz. I'm not giving you no nuke drop or nothing. I'm, you got the floor, cousin. Nah, you you got the whole you got the whole ass floor, my nigga. First breaking news in the death of a young woman at a suburban hotel. What surveillance video shows? Good evening. I'm Rob Johnson, and I'm Erica Sargent. For days, the big question: How did Kanika Jenkins wind up in a freezer? CBS Two, Sandra Torres is live at the Rosemont Police Station tonight. Sandra. Well, Rob and Erica, a short time ago, crisis responder Andrew Holmes came here to the Rosemont Police Department. He told us he saw the surveillance video, a video that shows Kanika walking into that freezer on her own. Me looking at the video, she was trying to find her way back upstairs to the lobby. And she was checking the doors, and she was checking other doors, just trying to find her way back upstairs. So in saying that, she was walking forward where all of the video cameras caught her every movement and I watched her as she went through the other door and at the same time she went through an unsecured area which is not her fault <clears throat> Kanika Jenkins bro and I'm sure some Kanika Jenkins fans didn't like what you actually said either <clears throat> You clout chasing off of Kanika Jenkins as well, bro. Where was you at when the police shot that kid for dancing? What was the kid's name? Please, somebody tell me his name because I, I don't want to mess it up. Were you there when the police shot that kid when he was dancing? Was the crisis people out there for that? Were you out there when the, uh, when the Dalton police tase that uh, autistic kid in his own backyard. You don't give a fuck about Kanika Jenkins, my nigga. So why are you trying to act like you do? You don't give a fuck about her, bro. So why are you trying to act like you I know you don't. Everybody named Mama know you don't. As a matter of fact, your statement was of the people that's like, nigga, she killed herself. I will say this is somebody who's watched all of the footage of the hotel and still shot some shit. Why didn't y'all question some of them white people? I'm just asking. I ain't saying they did nothing. Just that, uh, if nothing else, all I want them to admit with me with the Kanika Jenkins shit is just admit that it was shoddy police work at best. I've read the reviews. And just so you know, Andrew Holmes has had several people of his family victims of gun violence shot. I left a lot of those out. He he even allegedly had some one of his family members get shot in Indianapolis. Like, this nigga ain't never did nothing without clout chasing. He's never done anything and just done it. Everything he's done has been on the news. I got every clip to prove that he, bro, he wants to be on the fucking news. Everything he wait. fucking does, nigga. This shit ain't a game. On a wet and windy December day just before the new year, the often overlooked are getting supplies they need to weather the winter. 
They need help. They need coats. They need food. The children need to have somewhere to be safe. Community activist Andrew Holmes teaming up with FM Omni Channel radio stations to give out those coats, hats, and other cold weather supplies, along with a hot meal to warm hearts and bodies. The bottom is getting ready to fall out. It's getting ready to get real, real cold. There are people who are a paycheck away from being out here. The call from homes to elected officials as hundreds of millions of dollars are spent to house and help newly arriving asylum seekers to remember and remedy the chronically unhoused in the city. Let's take care home, take everybody off the streets overnight. You're doing it already when the buses come in here. According to the point in time count of the unhoused in Chicago nearly a year ago, there were almost 4,000 non-asylum seekers experiencing homelessness on that night. Of that, nearly 1,000 of them were living on the streets. That's likely a large undercount. Compare that to the explosion of new migrant arrivals in need of secure housing, almost 31,000 of them as of Thursday morning. The gratitude is palpable with a lot. It don't matter. He clout chases everything, bro. Line that stretched down the block, turning no one away, including migrants from Ecuador who've been here for just 15 days. Sandra, See, you, you hear the cloud chase? Yeah, we even helped some motherfucking as 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 asylum seekers. I bet you won't say that shit now with what's going on. I bet you won't come on there and say this shit now. As says she crossed jungles in Ecuador with her two kids. It was very difficult. It was dangerous in Ecuador, she says. A harrowing and emotional journey to get to the safety of Chicago with no job and no money. Thank you for welcoming us. Today's effort is clearly needed as the city grapples with the growing migrant crisis and establishes the first ever chief homelessness officer. But I think they should do more better, give them some kind of... Is this nigga the chief homelessness officer? A way to stay so they won't be living in the streets during the winter time. Watch breaking news. Shay, you can't have the bro, you got something worse than him clout chasing on the homeless. Again. There is a $25,000 reward for information leading to an arrest and conviction. More than 40 years have she passed. Hot though. But this case remains unsolved. That's right. Andrew Holmes is about to clout chase off a 40-year-old cold case. He don't care, nigga. $1,000 reward for information leading to an arrest and conviction. More than 40 years have passed, but this case remains unsolved. It was March 23, 1982, 22-year-old Tony Capozzi and her 34-year-old boyfriend, Jacob Bird, were found dead from gunshot wounds in her mother's home on Lincoln Place in Calumet City. Capozzi's family believed Bird was the target, but over the years, they received no answers and no justice and raised questions. So now we got to call that hotline. Questions about the police investigation that was at a standstill. We know someone somewhere knows something, and we are waiting for that piece of information. A friend of the Capozzi family who did not want to be identified says the loss was devastating. The delayed justice, frustrating. Capozzi's parents have since passed away. She has one sister still living with heartbreak. She would give her heart and soul to anyone that asked for help. She was creative. She was loving. This young lady was 22 years old. She was... Bitch, are you for real? A 40-year-old cold case. <laughs> Here come Andrew, nigga. <laughs> this nigga ain't done shit but just show up after the fact to everything. Like he doing something. It's murder, along with a friend. She can't rest in peace. The only thing she's doing now is resting because there's no peace. Community. Well, you not in charge of that. This nigga's built like a sugar daddy. <laughs> I bet you can stretch that nigga, bro. <laughs> I bet you if you grab the top of his fro, you can stretch that nigga like a sugar daddy. Look how that nigga built in that suit, nigga. <laughs> the 
this old funeral director suit he got on, nigga. He look like a funeral director. Oh, jinx tag. Jinx, nigga. Jinx. This nigga look like a whole ass fucking funeral director, nigga. <laughs> I'm done. This nigga got the, the funeral director clipboard and everything, nigga. On behalf of the family, the the bereavement will be at <laughs> On behalf of the family, we have a fried chicken, collard greens, and sweet potatoes in the basement of the church. (laughs) (laughs) We ask that everybody just get one roll. The family requests that everyone just get one roll. Oh my lord. This nigga crooked is all get out. I stand on it. Activist Andrew Holmes joined Lisette Guillen from Case File Chicago today, hoping to bring renewed attention to the case and generate tips. Time is really slipping away from us, and we need some help. If the Calumet City Police Department doesn't have the resources, then we need to enlist the help of the FBI, the state police, or even the Cook County Sheriff's Department. Calumet City Police released a statement saying detectives continue to review this case. Now they're asking for new tips and information to help them solve the crime. Well, at least when 50 people get shot, Andrew Holmes ain't going to show up. One of those toddlers was brought here to Christ Medical Center last night following an accidental shooting. That victim, one of 48 people shot in various incidents over the weekend. I don't call them an accident. I call them negligence. 50 motherfucking people got shot and they... (laughs) 50 motherfucking people got hit. Hey, yeah, she was fine. 50 people get hit. Andrew, did your motherfucker? Well, thanks to our phone line, it wasn't 50. We definitely saved two Chicagoans from getting shot this evening. And, and you know, I'm, I'm very thankful for that. This that gun jacket he wore. This is him trying to promote them gun locks. Due to no gun locks, put on these guns. Church out. You can't even make it up, bro. I'm not that good. Very next thing out of his mouth, the motherfucking gun locks, nigga. Get them gun locks. Community activist Andrew Holmes visiting two separate scenes on Sunday evening with gun locks in This nigga's shameless. I guarantee that company has paid him. Because I saw the locks and the company's name is all over the locks. I guarantee they paid him. I guarantee they paid him. Hand following shootings involving young children discharging firearms on themselves. First, we had a female, two-year-old, shot, found a gun, unsecured, no lock on it. That weapon was discharged. How the fuck does a two-year-old wander their way to the strap? She was struck in the hand, transported to a hospital. Now we're on the south side. The two-year-old girl discharged the firearm in the 1500 block of West John Keel Terrace around 6 p.m. Then around 11 p.m., police were called to the 7900 block of South Hermitage, where a two-year-old boy found a firearm and shot himself in the forearm. He was transported in good condition to Christ Medical Center. The incident... Okay, for me to believe you, tell me the charges that their parents received. Two two two-year-olds shot themselves in the same night and Andrew Holmes is on the scene with gun locks. Show me the charges the parents face for their kids accessing and firing firearms. 
part of a violent weekend across Chicago. Dozens of shootings keeping officers, first responders, and street pastors like Donovan Price busy. So much is being done or so much is being attempted um, to curtail this type of, this level of violence, but unfortunately it's, uh, it's been a bloody, deadly weekend. On Sunday, Mayor Brandon Johnson. Yeah, but photo op. We didn't stop nobody from getting shot, but take pictures of us. And showed his support for Chicago police by joining a roll call on the southwest side. The mayor speaking on the importance of working together to address the violence. I come from a very large family. I'm one of ten. And I know that if you point fingers at one another, nothing gets done. There's a lot more we can accomplish together than pointing at one another. Some feel the new mayor has taken over at a challenging time and say any effort to curb the violence in Chicago and keep communities safe will be worth it. If you could change one life. For me to believe all this shit, Andrew, one thing about the Bible that it talks about is when you're doing for people, when you do with your left hand, you do not let your right hand know what it is doing, which means just do the shit, nigga. Stop doing the shit, trying to brag on every fucking thing. How have I shown so many clips of you just bragging like you've done some shit? And then on top of that, you really ain't even done shit. The only thing that we got you is you delivered some fucking Easter toys in an alleged, after an alleged accident. What caused one life to continue, one child to make it. Um, as they get out of school to make it back to school in, in August, then you've done, you know, a great deal of, uh, of uh, health for the city. Of the people shot, nine victims died from their injuries. I'm Melissa Donovan, WGN News. It's nonstop with this fool for years and years and years. Shay, it can't get worse than this. I thought you said you was smoking this last blunt and going. Man, I might even have one more after this one, what I'm about to show y'all. I might have another blunt in me, bro. Practical nuke incoming! This is a proclamation by the whole city on your behalf for what you've done for our children, for our neighborhoods. To... I'm losing my motherfucking mind, man. <laughs> this nigga is getting the world, Steve Harvey, nigga. I'm dumb. This nigga ain't done a motherfucking thing, nigga. I don't know who just said in the chat a minute ago, but they was like, if this nigga would have never been fucking with Tiffany, this not would not be happening. I would have no reason to look at anything going on with you, nigga, if it wasn't for what this girl said. And I got to know if maybe she's lying. And so far, it does not appear so. Period that way. Your whole career is a fucking lie. This nigga went on Steve Harvey, nigga. Give families a sense of normalcy. What you're talking about is that communities can have to live by a moral code, not a code of silence. And I want to thank you for creating that moral code out there. So on behalf of all the people of the city of Chicago, we do hereby proclaim February 26, 2014, to be Andrew Holmes Day in the city of Chicago. Bitch, are you for real? I mean, this is some shameful shit. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Andrew Holmes Day, nigga. <laughs> And Drew Holmes Day.
I told y'all I was going to dare to have to roll another blunt, nigga. I can't even, nigga. It's an endless pit of Andrew Holmes, nigga. Somebody gets shot. Somebody get hit. This nigga rolls up to the scene and talks to the media. You never see him with any victims, family members, nothing. This nigga just rolls up, gives a speech, goes home. Breaking news at 10 o'clock, one person is dead. Another is being treated for gunshot wounds three blocks from Chicago Police Headquarters. WGS Brona Tomalti is near the scene with the story. Brona. Good evening, guys. Yeah, I'm standing at 35th and Michigan at police headquarters. And just about three blocks south of here, you can see some blue flashing lights. That's where some two people were shot tonight. One of them didn't survive, and the other is in the hospital. You don't know how they feel until you get that knock at your door, and it happens to your loved ones. Gun violence in Chicago. Why do they all, why do when people lose their life, they talk to Andrew Holmes first? Like he was there. They said somebody died, nigga, and they like, let's see what Andrew Holmes think. For, nigga, for what? Chicago streets claiming another life Sunday night. The male sustained multiple gunshot wounds from the head to his body, and he has succumbed to his injury. And leaving a second person, a woman, fighting for her life. The female was transported to view of C. Uh, multiple gunshot wounds to her body. Community activist Andrew Holmes telling us it seems the pair were sitting in a vehicle before 7 p.m. along 38th in Michigan when someone approached their car with a gun. Someone knows who ran up on this car, but we have another mother and a father. This nigga there every time. Maybe. Because of the loss of their loved one and negligence of the person that discharged this weapon. It's unclear how many times each victim was hit or how many shots were fired, but it was certainly more than a couple. That's what you see. Lots and lots of shit cases on this crime scene but what we need is lots and lots of information because the person who pulled the trigger hold on nigga that police officer she got a fat ass trade. nigga hold on nigga why are you being a lots cop with all that no shit. you don't need to be a cop with all that ass Jail cases on this crime scene but what we need is lots and lots of information because the person come on man she don't need to be a cop with all this ass bro there's other shit she could be doing <clears throat> who pulled the trigger in this potentially targeted shooting? I would say it probably was because, you know, there was uh, no indication that there, this was a carjacking. Is still on Chicago streets right now. You make this bad choice, then you have to suffer the consequences. Yeah, this nigga be sitting listening to the police scanner, but at, probably at this juncture, especially now that he a full-fledged trustee, the police, are they call him as soon as, as soon as some shit happened. They call him like nigga, blah, 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 because they know to let him know because he going to go down there and he ain't going to ever make them look bad, ever. He's never going to make the police look bad in any of these situations. So, yeah, they'll get this nigga the heads up. Because you took somebody's life and then you ran off and you still live it. And as always, anyone who has any information is asked to call police or you can submit a tip anonymously at cpdtip.com. Right side police headquarters, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News. Where is she from? Is she Ireland? I mean, bro, I'm telling you, it's endless. Nine o'clock, an unsolved murder mystery. A little girl found dead four years ago remains a cold case tonight. But as our Jenna Barnes reports, the child is not forgotten. Ben and Lourdes, this little girl would be about five years old. Her death is still unsolved. Another Christmas, but no justice. Community activist Andrew Holmes says Anna Marie Townsend should be opening presents tomorrow morning like most kids. In July 2017, crews responding to a house fire at 155th and Hamlin in Markham found her. This nigga cold cases like if ain't nothing popping off then this nigga go look up some cold cases and be like yeah so why ain't y'all found the killer to this motherfucker this bitch been dead 40 years we still ain't found shit like you been helping the whole time this nigga fouled in a motherfucker bro body in a plastic bag on the second floor of that burning house investigators say she was about one year old when she died they also found a gun inside the home more than four years have passed and there are still no answers no arrests no one charged in her death there hasn't been a missing person report filed since this baby's death where's the mother where's the father so why do you care no let's be honest 
He said the mother, it ain't like he talked to the mother and the father. They hit him up like, please, Andrew, help us find. This, this, I, he, he just proved what I said. He was sitting around with Chanel's popping, and he found out about this shit and was like, I'm going to get some media attention over it. That's why only one motherfucking mic. Look, all these slots, only one news cha channel showed up. Because they like, wait, so ain't no parents and no family involved? It's just you? Yeah, it's just me. That's probably an AI baby. Nobody has come forward to say my child is missing. Holmes. So, so how... Lord, bro, you can't even be serious with this nigga. Says he hopes someone watching this knows something and will come forward with information about what happened to this baby girl. Hey, by the school! He said by the school! He's going southbound! The sounds of gunshots pow, 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 pow. and sirens <laughs> echoed through Chicago. So they just loaded him up on a violent weekend. You can call it gang or drug related. A weekend that saw at least 61 shootings and nine homicides, including the killing of three-year-old McKay James. We heard six shots, about six, probably six to eight shots going off. Who witnesses say was in a car with his father in the South Austin neighborhood. The kid had got hit in the car and they drove the kid straight to West Suburban. The child was pronounced dead. Police say the 27-year-old father was the intended target, and he is not cooperating with detectives. How y'all doing? Could I leave you with a car? I mean, this is some shameful shit. Like, he would be a character in power. <clears throat> you think he's this cool-ass community nigga? He's just like, uh, what's that nigga? Mr. Tate seemed like he's just that nice, hospitable guy and then behind the scenes, cutthroat to the motherfucker. <clears throat> People get shot up. Here he come. He don't have no shame, nigga. Come in, passing out flyers. Hey, come check us out at the club tonight, nigga. We gonna be at the club tonight. This nigga ain't nothing but Councilman Tate, nigga. I'm done, bro. This morning, community activist Andrew Holmes canvassed the neighborhood seeking information. So y'all got me handing out them flyers, right? On the suspect. Block by block, let's find the shooter. <laughs> Holmes, who also lost a child to violence, was shaken by the toddler's killing. But excuse my language. It take a damn fool to discharge that weapon. Happy Father's Day to you! Now what you gonna do? The outrage over a toddler being shot and killed brought pastors and community activists out to the block where it happened Sunday to denounce the violence. It would be an ultimate contradiction to pastor in this neighborhood and not say a word about a three-year-old who can't... That's real shit, nigga. I can stand with that. ...can't defend himself and cannot speak for himself. Several community groups raised $10,000 as a reward for information leading to the suspect's arrest. About an hour after the toddler was shot, just blocks away, two men were shot, one of them fatally. And an hour after that, about a half a mile away, three teenagers were shot, including a 13-year-old girl. Andrew, were you able to hit all three of those on foot? She was killed. Police say she was in her home simply watching TV. The bullet goes through the window, striking her in the neck and causing her death. And in South Shore, a 17-year-old boy and a 16-year-old boy were killed near 79th and South Uella Avenue after they had gone to the corner store. This offender runs up with a gun and shoots and kills two of these guys for no reason at all. The police superintendent says there's a common thread in all the violence. Gangs, guns, and drugs, and no consequences. Explain to me how Andrew Holmes had any type of segment in this video. When Chicago cops make arrests. Let's keep. And Chicago police say they have their hands full trying to solve all of these cases. They are asking anyone with any information to contact detectives. Like. <clears throat> Andrew, I'm letting I'm letting it all go tonight, bro. I can't believe I've been on five hours and I ain't even done, bro. I'm gonna let a couple more go because uh, trusty Jason House may be here Saturday.
Now breaking news in South Suburban Harvey. That's where police are investigating a shooting. Bro, she bro, she a baddie. I just can't deal with the cone head shit that should be going on with that wig, bro. At a Popeye's restaurant. Yeah, there are multiple bullet holes in the restaurant's windows and doors and evidence markers all around the parking lot. WJ's Dana Rebick is live now in Harvey with the very latest here. Dana? This restaurant is right on the corner of Sibley and Hall. Only a white bitch would be out here with some fucking mittens on. Halstead police have been here for a little over two hours now processing this scene. I'll step over to the side here so you can. Damn, come on, man. Y'all shooting at Popeye's, nigga. As good as them fucking bit. Well, I don't eat Popeye's no more, but still, nigga. See a look uh, inside the restaurant. There are a few detectives we have seen walking back and forth inside the restaurant. There are yellow. They ordering. They waiting on their order. <laughs> they walking back and forth. They just waiting on they fucking order. Popeyes can take forever sometimes, bitch. This bitch think they in her door. Real police. Work. They're pacing back and forth. They waiting on they fucking fries to be fresh. <laughs> Evidence markers on the floor Cap. inside. What we know at this point, again, this happened sometime before 8 p.m. tonight. Still working to confirm specific. Hey, so even though they done did all that shooting, do them fryers still work? Details from Harvey police, but we do know at least one person was shot uh, here on the north side of, or rather the east side of the restaurant next to the parking lot. You can see multiple bullet holes through a side window of the restaurant Jason, as happening? well as one of the glass panel doors. This did happen as people were eating inside. We do not know, though, if this was a drive by or some sort of altercation uh, <laughs> in or outside of the restaurant. A witness did describe, though, what he saw. Uh, we got one person shot, uh, three, four people skipped. They shot up the whole front line. Um, other than that, it was it was it was two elderly people in there. Uh, one of my family members got hit. It was bad. It was real bad. We spoke with crisis responder Andrew Holmes over the. He ain't even there. We talked to Andrew Holmes over the phone. Oh, my Lord. Bro. Phone. He said what he is hearing, uh, he believes that this is something that happened out in the parking lot and that bullets flew into the restaurant. We do. How the fuck would he know? Nigga. <laughs> bro, you can blame the news. The news is the reason Andrew Holmes is in the position he's in. This nigga was a Harvey hero, nigga. Like, stop playing, bro. Every time an event happened, he there. He ain't prevented shit from happening. I promise you I done skipped so many. He's been in at least, like... He's been at least like two, three hundred events, bro. Like shootings and shit. He just shows up after the fact. Yeah, nigga, take one of these flyers. Call my 800 number. Promise we gonna get these niggas, you feel me? Yeah, we gonna get these dudes. This nigga Andrew Holmes is everywhere doing nothing. I'm trying to find how he did something right. Like, where it's like Andrew Holmes, they, they gave this nigga an award for being a hero. And I'm like, what did he do? All right. Maybe we'll see him in action right here. Come on. This got to be action. Come on. Come on, Andrew. This got to be action. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. Watch this. Finally. Finally, it's happened to me right in front. Andrew Holmes, village trustee, chair of the police and fire department. All right, go ahead. Just about 835, 840, three individuals were standing outside in the back of a car. A dark colored vehicle drove up. Another one of these stage videos. Displayed a weapon and discharged that weapon. 
There's a possibility two people were shot. We do know that we have one that's in critical condition taken to UFC hospital, very critical condition. We're working with the uh, police department, it's in the preliminaries, to see if and indeed anyone shows up at a local hospital. Residents say that someone picked someone else. I will just say this. In this video, you have the demeanor of an alleged rapist. I'm just going to put that out there. Else up and put them in a car and drove them off. So we don't know if that individual was shot, but we at least have one person definitely shot for now in critical condition and the possibility of a second person. Anyone with any information on this shooter or either on the car, give Dalton Police Department a call, give them that information. Once again, three individuals standing outside, congregating, talking. Dal Nigga, that's not illegal. Three people standing outside talking is not a crime in America. Our colored vehicle drove up, displayed a weapon, discharged that weapon, and took off. Yeah, that seemed natural as fuck. Well, at least we done with this nigga and hit and runs. We know that the man is in the hospital trying to survive. Now police and community leaders are trying to track down the person who was behind the wheel. Chicago police are searching for a driver involved in a hit and run crash that left an elderly man in critical condition Saturday afternoon in South Chicago. And for unfortunate, this senior was struck. I'm losing my motherfucking mind, man. This nigga's a literal ambulance chaser, nigga. <laughs> this nigga show up after the fact and act like he did something. Hit and run, he there. Unreal, this nigga. I can't believe this shit, bro. Can hit. I mean, you're speeding, you're trying to make a turn. Endless pit. You're not paying attention. Police release photos of a dark-colored pickup truck they believe is connected to the crime. They describe the truck to have a possible silver color lower trim, ladder rack, a black front metal grill, and a white circular sticker on the tailgate of the passenger side. According to CPD, the victim was crossing 87th Street near Commercial Avenue when the driver hit him. Video shared with WGN shows a horrific crash. We froze in the video right before the impact. This senior had to suffer at the negligence of this driver. Less than 24 hours after the accident. That's 1-800 number had a senior get hit by a car last night. Community <laughs> activist Andrew. <laughs> no, nigga. No, this nigga didn't just tell this bitch to call this 800 number if she get hit by a car, nigga. No, he didn't just say that, bro. That ain't what he just said, bro. Stop, man. Why do y'all play like this? Y'all shouldn't even play like this. <laughs> that nigga told her. The car is a hundred number. She hit my car, nigga. <laughs> Bitch, you should only be dialing three numbers: nine, one, and one. That is it. I'm done, bro had to suffer at the negligence of this driver. Less than 24 hours after the accident. That's 1-800 number had a senior get hit by a car last night. Community this is save you if you get hit by a car. Nigga, who pay is this outfit go show up on the warrant list? Nigga, did you steal this outfit from one of your nephews? Nigga, where'd you get this outfit from? Activist Andrew Holmes was in the neighborhood passing out flyers and trying to get answers from those... <laughs> Where'd he get that outfit, nigga? Hold on, nigga. Where's <laughs> after the accident? Where'd he get this motherfucker? This nigga look like Mike Epps, nigga. 
Data, if you get the fuck out of my car, nigga. Duty activist Andrew Holmes was in the neighborhood. <laughs> no, nigga, look at this nigga fit. Hood passing out. <laughs> That is a straight Burlington outfit, nigga. <laughs> Flyers and then this nigga got a motherfucker button up shirt up under it tucked in. <laughs> this nigga, bro. Trying to get answers. <laughs> oh my goodness, Just from nigga. those who may have seen what happened. They said they heard about it. They know this. It's a senior. This nigga trying to fuck. I ain't mad, nigga. Hold on. Yeah, take one of these flyers, baby. Please show this nigga look at her ass when she go by that's please please show this nigga look at her ass as she goes by and if y'all cut it off before he do it's confirmed he did and y'all helping and it's a shame so they hoping that yep he so he looked at her ass as she went past he probably looked at the cameras like You can see her ass from the front. Nigga. He was trying. He, yeah, he did. You see, he's really stopped to talk to her. Seen what ha happened. They said they heard about it. They know this. Hey, baby. So do you got a nigga that keep you safe from gun violence? Hey, come here. Let me holler at you right quick. It's a senior and it's a shame. Yeah, girl. I like your hat. So they hoping that someone turned the information over. Holmes not only devotes himself to fighting gun violence in the city, but also to finding suspects who take off after driving into a person. It became personal to him after his younger sister was hurt in a hit and run crash two years ago in Park Manor. They're dodging bullets, a projectile coming through a gun, striking uh, citizens, and now we have to dodge cars. They shouldn't have to dodge cars. Less than a week ago, a 71-year-old man was killed in a hit and run in Brighton Park. CPD is still looking for that driver as well. But Holmes believes it won't be long until a suspect is caught in the South Chicago incident because pod cameras were in the area. Do the right thing. Turn yourself in because at any given time, you may have lost a piece of something off of your car that's going to lead back to you or you catch it on the surveillance Real familiar, place. Mike. At this time, no one is in custody. Anyone with information on what happened or where the driver could be is asked to call police. Reporting at District 4 Police, Andrea Medina, WGN News. I got one more video and I'm done. Because the title of this video is just a bit much for me as I roll up my final blunt of the evening. This video is titled, Man Risks His Own Life to Find Baby Killer. <laughs> Shay, stop. Pass the message. Innocent victims are... What is the shooting? Children, women, uh, uh, uh. A not gang to shall could just times I think hood. I mean we we don't live there. We don't understand how dangerous it is. Just in the middle of an afternoon when this little girl was shot four. Hold on, hey, what up? I don't even want her to turn now because if I see her face and it don't match what I'm looking at right now, that's gonna be devastating. Five times I think. Help us understand what you are living with on a daily basis. Well, on a daily basis, any child could just lose his or her life just by walking to the store due to a person taking a weapon just discharging this weapon trying to sh take another person's life which is unacceptable and uh, we're not going to accept it here and we're letting them know you know whether they're gang members or, or not gang members or they have any dispute with anybody they need to put these the dalton the police got y'all to vote a fucking police plant that's why y'all didn't even pay attention. The whole time, this nigga was always pro-police. He got y'all to think he was a community leader, and y'all elected him in the spot, and he ain't done nothing but been pro-police the whole time and ain't did a damn thing for the community, protecting y'all in any way. This is a literally a local Jesse Jackson, bro. Fucking disgusting. Filthy nigga. 
just bro, I believe what that girl say. I sit here and watch this nigga clout chase off people's deaths. Everything, bro. As soon as you get shot up and die, think about it. If you by hopefully God protects you. But if you get hit in Chicago, he's gonna show up and act like he cared and he never gonna contact your family. Nothing. We're all, cause I don't see all these videos of him with family members and shit. I just see the initial first shit happens and then he shows up. Mm-hmm. And then if the police involved, he ain't nowhere to be found. He got everybody thinking he's some pro-community activist when the police are the ones telling him to show up. You see that he don't get, you see the police ain't telling him to move and get back and stay away from the scene and what you doing here and they ain't doing none of that shit to him. Well, I'm so happy that you did that. Kara, a very smart woman you are. Babies be dead. This woman been dead 40 years. This nigga clout chasing off her death. He got an alleged missing baby and like, yeah, I got this missing baby and don't nobody care. Well, where's the baby at? I don't know. It's missing. How the fuck you know it's missing when there ain't no parents saying that there's a kid missing? Like, I think that baby was fake. You see only one news channel showed up because they like, oh, for what? Wicked, what's happening? Guns down and handle that situation in a better way like men and just talk it out without coming to violence and we have to keep on bearing not only our children but our teenagers do you find a lot of it is gang related hey when is george Foreman coming out with an air fryer can you tell me that and if so is it just are they just shooting random people because it's a game to them or do they have you know, some sort of yeah bitch that's what they're doing. They're playing a game in Chicago, and the game is let's just shoot up places. Shut up, you dumbass. Some what kind of stupid ass question was that? Sort of number they have to meet to be in a gang. I mean, what what is going on? Well, you know, a lot a lot of the uh, shooting is not related to gangs. You know, you have some domestic disputes. You have some disputes about money. You have some disputes. Uh, about maybe a lover's call. You know, a person takes a gun, don't have no training of how to shoot a gun. Uh, they may have alcohol in their system, may have a lot of drugs, uh, which is... You very good at identifying people with alcohol and drugs in their system. It's a talent of yours. Chemical lace drugs that a lot of these teenagers are, are taking and the mind is clogged up and the first thing they do is pull out a gun and it discharges. Is that what you do when you own drugs? You just pull out your gun and it discharges? And by gun, I mean your dick, nigga. Did you rape that woman in Las Vegas? I don't want to lose sight, nigga. There is a purpose for all of this. I, I need to see what type of nigga you are. And I've watched hours of film on you tonight, and it, it, none of this has made you look good to me. All this shit, you come across as slimy, shyster, Who's printing up these flyers? You always got a flyer ready. This nigga's a creep. I mean, it's just take a second for that gun. You take that gun, point it, and discharge it. Before you know it, you don't even know you shot that gun. Mm. Brian, Andrew, I know you've got a question for Yeah, you. Andrew Ryan Smith here. You're a victim of gun violence. You've been a crusader against uh, these kinds of crimes ever since. Your efforts have... How many people has he got arrested besides his brother? I'm going to ask again. How many people has he had arrested besides his motherfucking brother? Paid off. Reading about all these people shot, hit and runs, people getting hit in cross rocks, people getting shot at, shot, killed, cold cases. But the only person he was able to get arrested was his brother for stealing Amazon packages. You can't make this shit up.
about you. You helped make arrests in more than a dozen high-profile cases. You've rescued more than 50 young victims of kidnapping or human trafficking. Tell us no, he showed up to all this shit. He didn't do anything. Tell us this. How do you do what you do? He don't do anything. It, he just goes on the media and y'all just puff, y'all just puff this nigga up. Well, you know, first of all, you know, as I stated, you have to have a heart and a passion to just see anyone just take an innocent person's life. You know, if I could, number one, change places with this six month old baby that lost her life, I would change places just to give this mother the time that she needs to enjoy the life with the You a gross ass fucking bitch. Why the fuck would you say that? First off, God don't make no mistakes, nigga. So you trying to sacrifice yourself up, nigga? Nah, there's some other shit you could be doing right here that could really help the mother of this fucking child and selling her that bullshit that you want to trade places with her fucking baby, you gross bastard. There's some shit you really could be doing, but you ain't, and you're not going to. That child, but working with Morrison Investigation and the Chicago Police Department and the uh, ministers and pastors <clears throat> in trying to help enhance the quality of life, you, you have to take in consideration, you know, once that casket is closed, there's no tomorrow. So, as Dr. Martin Luther King said, I had a dream. Our mission is to save this dream. Now, we have to co constantly educate these kids because that bullet hits your heart, hits your artery. It's mm -hmm. over with, and they don't understand that. And I'm not going to stop until we can save many kids as we can. Andrew, this is the thing that shocked me. What about assistance of mayors? Do you believe in saving them? Me about Chicago. In 2013, January, 42 murders. We go back to the reign of Al Capone, the peak of that reign, only 26 murders only, but it's still a lot in, in January of 1929. Do you have a theory on what is happening today? Why it's... So no, 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 no. That's the wrong question. <clears throat> the question should be, why the fuck are we sitting here talking to you like you doing some shit when there's more murders in your area than there were when Al Capone was running shit? That should be the question. Why are we acting like you have done so much for the community when we just pulled up a stat that people are getting clapped at a rate unseen by man? But he's a Harvey hero. Got you. So bad today, Andrew. Yeah, you know, uh, we, we have to look at our drug situation here where we have so many chemical-laced drugs that... Uh, uh, teenagers are being introduced into and some of the older adults and and we Police have a talking points. problem here with a lot of them are not being parents and a lot of the fact that he keeps mentioning them very specific drugs that is a police talking point kids are reaching out looking for love but they're looking for love in all of the wrong ways and I look at it the same way yeah it's worse than Al Capone days but we, you know we're maintaining doing the best we can superintendent doing the best he can, but I, I also, you know, wonder why that they spend billions and billions of dollars to help other countries when in our own backyard, I'm with you the there, other Andrew. countries are not putting. Ain't this the same nigga that went on the expensive trip to Vegas and shit? Wasn't this nigga riding on one of them $2,000 scooter bikes? I found out them bikes are like $1,500, $1,600, $1,700. <clears throat> Now this nigga want to talk about the politicians spending money at home. Now this nigga's a politician, and he's spending even worse than other politicians ever have. They're not putting billions and billions of dollars here to help us in the United States, not just only yeah. in Chicago. Let me ask you this, Andrew, because you sound like a guy who, who, who has absolutely thought this through. How do you turn things around? Where does it start? Where oh, yeah, it they did not cancel the H ACH on them bikes. First area that you attack and say, here... We, if we can if we can do this, we can make incredible inroads to stop these murders. Well, you know, first of all, we need m more funds here to fund more programs other than showing these kids or uh, the kids looking at guns. 
other than everybody can't play basketball. We need more funds here to teach them con construction, how to be for forensic science. Some of these parents uh, don't have the funds, uh, income, to send their kids to school. But I look at where we are spending billions of dollars overseas when we can have these schools here and pull a lot of these teenagers in and teach them a lot of these trades and get them off the streets. And Man, I, I can't. To watch these people sit here and act like this nigga spitting bars when he, in the words of Tiffany, shows no work, no work, no work, no work, no work. This might be the most outrageous one. I, I said this that was the last one, but I got a little blunt left. Go ahead, Andrew. I can't listen to these fools no more. You tonight. Residents are boarded up inside of their own apartment in Harvey with no way out. The city claims the building Residents were boarded up in their own apartment. It was unsafe. People I'm done, bro. We stuck in here. Hey, hold on. We gonna call Andrew to come get y'all out. Just hold on. We can't get through this weak ass little piece of plywood. So just hold on. We gonna call Andrew and we gonna get y'all out. I'm done, bro. These niggas just sat in, look, I would have karate kicked right through that fucking shit. Wham, I would have kicked that motherfucker down, nigga. Like, what are we, we, we waiting on Andrew to come fucking let the, <laughs> everything seems staged with this nigga. <laughs> this, this I'm, what the fuck is this? Nah, we gonna call Andrew. Andrew gonna get it. Andrew gonna get you out, my nigga. Don't trip. New tonight. Residents are boarded up inside of their own apartment in Harvey with no way out. The city claims the building was unsafe. People living there, including young children. And say, then his weak ass couldn't even get it open, nigga. Oh no. Residents are boarded up inside of their own apartment in Harvey with no way out. The city claims the building was unsafe. Uh, People living uh. there, including <laughs> including young children say that they were trapped inside NBC fires v win picks up the story he from here that photo up all up we got an old man that's 73 years old boarded up in here new cell phone video shared with nbc5 tonight shows a desperate nephew trying to get to his 73 year old uncle who he says was trapped and boarded up inside his apartment in harvey and you stuck up in there nephew called and got me on the door and said, you boarded it up in here. I said, what? <laughs> Why is Andrew Holmes here, nigga? Why wouldn't they call them? That's what I'm saying. This seems like bullshit. Why wouldn't you just call 911? This nigga Andrew, he just be staging shit randomly. And I opened the door and that's when I saw I was it was a board right there. Rudolph Williams has lived in this apartment near 145th Street in South Halstead for 10 years. We just waited until we uh, got somebody to get, get the screws out so to take their boards down so we can get out. There's someone still in this apartment. How are he going to get out? Williams told NBC5 he heard crews board. Holmes boarded up them fucking houses. Holmes came through with his niggas and they boarded that shit up. They created this because this makes no sense. Why would they quietly, man, they, they went up to all these niggas. Look, we going to pay y'all $25 a piece. Y'all let us board up y'all house and then we'll take the boards down like an hour. Them nigga and that nigga was like, well, shit, hold on. Let me get my side bitch over here since my girl out of town. I'm going to get my side bitch over here, then you can board this motherfucker right up. And by the time you take them boards down, she'll be ready to leave. Putting up units yesterday and says no one warned him. Uh, I was just thinking somebody was over enthusiastic and just got carried away with their work, you know. 
But I was wondering why they didn't knock on the door and ask. Because I would respond. The city of Harvey says they've been having problems with the property owners over unsafe conditions of the building since last October. So why why didn't you show up before then? It's been shit going on since last October, Andrew. Why did you show up at this point? Discussions and extensions were made to fix the problems, including structural issues. The city says the owners were notified that evacuations were mandatory by October 28th and for them to notify residents. By mid-December, the building's department determined the property posed an eminent safety risk. The city says it started getting calls last night about the board up and that police conducted wellness checks this morning but didn't find anyone inside. Did y'all pay that old nigga to go in that one building and then just board up the rest of them and then lie about other people being there? Because the police said they didn't find anybody. <laughs> Andrew Holmes is colder than Batman, nigga. February 26th, Andrew Holmes, day in Chicago, nigga. Deal with it. There was no way of being checked because how was he still inside this apartment? Crisis. You put him there. This responder, Andrew Holmes, says at least four people were boarded up, including a mother and her two children. As for Williams, he's asked. Are you calling the police liars, Holmes? Be careful. Asking how something like this could happen. Disappointing the way that people, you know, the way things happen, you know. Seems like there's a uh, lack of compassion around here. We reached out to the city of Harvey and the property owners for a comment tonight on this entire situation. We are still waiting to hear back. Reporting in Harvey, V1, NBC5 News. I see you, V. So, people are telling me, Andrew, that several families were there and the police lied. When are you launching an investigation into the police? And I see you was okay saying that because you and Harvey. How far is Harvey from Dalton? See, you would have never said that shit about no Dalton police. Oh, yeah, v Win, she she's sexy. At least she's sexy in her winter attire. I got to see her outside that big-ass coat. So it's one city over. So yeah, he said that shit about some police that ain't going, that can't do nothing to him. He'd have never said that shit about Dalton police. The moment he found out Dalton police did that, he wouldn't have showed up. So yeah, that nigga left, that nigga left out of Dalton, talked some little shit about somebody and not even, and then he still didn't say nothing hard. He just said, man, I don't know how, who they said, bro, of course. He, like I said, he ain't going. He ain't going to dig into it and really find out why the police is fucking up. Fucking up. What Laquan McDonald shot? Ain't that the name of the kid that was shot in Chicago for dancing in front of police? Did Andrew Holmes show up to that? I'm being serious. I want to know. That was Chicago, correct? Nigga, why did you why didn't you show up for Jesse Smollett? Never mind. He probably did. I probably just ain't came across it yet. Andrew Holmes, you got a problem. Um if all goes well tomorrow, we will be talking to Trusty Homes on, or not Trusty Homes, I wish. We will be talking to Trusty House on Saturday. If you got any questions for Trusty House, Shay at latenightcrew.net.
Shout out to those that have sent stuff and whatnot. Jesse Smollett beat his own ass. I don't know. He might have had Andrew Holmes help. And then Andrew Holmes went to collect that payment, and that payment didn't come through. So Andrew Holmes got the ball rolling to get that nigga indicted. <clears throat> Man, the shot is cool, bro. I promise you, the, the police, I mean, the news make the sh- Chicago seem like you can't even, niggas, the Chicago ain't like that. Chicago ain't like how they make it. Yeah, Chicago, Chicago ain't, bro, Chicago can be tough. Some areas can be tough, just like everywhere. There is no major city where you don't have to deal with gun violence, homelessness, and all of that shit. That's how these major cities are. I've been to Chicago multiple times. I was where Duck got killed. I was in Duck neighborhood, all these places. And every time I go, I have fun. I know how to stay out of trouble and shit, bro. White people be all up in that bitch, bro. And when they be saying that, for, bro, notice that whenever they say 40 people, 60 people, they say all these, they never release any names of all of these 60 people that got shot, all these 40 people that got shot. I was in Chicago literally one weekend, celebrating my anniversary one weekend. I was in Hyde Park staying. And. One, bro, I had a great night. Woke up the next day. The niggas was like, yeah, 40-something people got shot. And I'm like, I don't remember hearing no bunch of sirens, nothing. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I ain't saying that it don't be like 50, 60 people get shot. But they, they just be so, it's only Chicago where they be saying this shit. And it, but you see videos of shit and it looks like some shit where you at. We all know, like, you could be at a car show in fucking Kentucky on some shit during Derby and somebody get to acting goofy. You could be at some shit in St. Louis and all the people out in the motherfucker get to acting goofy. And you don't ever hear of, like, 40, 50 people getting hit. <clears throat> shit could happen in D.C., shit in Nap Town, all these make shit in Houston. You don't never hear of like, but it's only in Chicago. You're like, oh, yeah, 40 people got hit this week. 60 people got shot. 50 people got hit. I'm not saying, no, you, you, you right, Lucille. I know exactly where I was at. I've partied downtown in, in Chicago multiple times, leaving three, seven o'clock. Bro, the last three, four times I've been to Chicago, was out late. I ain't even hear a single gunshot. Downtown. When they shot, bro, again, when they shot Duck at the Gold Coast, everybody around the world just seemed like, oh, that, yeah, they did. Bro, y'all don't even understand. That was game over for them. The moment they did that, it was like, oh, that, all that, y'all being drill rappers and shit, that, that game's over now. <laughs> y'all have crossed over. Oh, yeah, you're not going to hear this. I know you're not going to hear the shooting. That's why I said I didn't hear no police or nothing anywhere. Every time I go to Chicago, I eat in the hood. I just don't like it when they be trying to put stigmas on shit where it's like, again, I'm not saying that none of these weekends, 60 people didn't get shot, but uh, where's the proof of it? You just say it. And I'm like, this doesn't happen anywhere else in the world where people just casually, oh, it was another Memorial weekend and 50 people got shot. Bro, I proved one time that they, bro, I the last time they pulled that shit last summer. They were sitting here trying to pull some shit where they was like, oh, the teens in Chicago, they was clearly trying to clear out downtown before the NASCAR race and was trying to look for an excuse. Then it was like, the teens take over downtown. All they kept showing over and over was it looked like it could have possibly been a fist fight through a, between a couple of teens and people ran away. And they tried to turn that into, they, it was a takeover downtown. The teens have took, taken over downtown Chicago and just going crazy. I literally broke down all the news showing how the news was just blatantly fucking lying. It was clearly a play. It was clearly a play. I 
I just be finding it weird. And bro, I ain't, of all the people I be hearing and knowing and shit from Chicago, I ain't never heard of them saying that they legit know, man, out of them 40 people, I knew like five people that got hit. Nobody ever says that. But that tag, I promise you, me being, I've been across the country on streaming and everything, bro. And if you cool and you doing what you supposed to do, leave it, it don't matter where you roll up to, you'll be fine. They never report it like that. I can give you that, Lucille, but they never report it like that. They will show a crowd of people at an event in Chicago. This is how they report it on the news. They'll show a crowd of people on Chicago, and then they'll show blue lights somewhere with some crime tape and be like, 40-something people got shot this weekend. They won't show, they won't even show you 10 crime scenes. They'll show you one and then just say there was 40. Nigga, Chief Lacey would cry if he had to go to old block, nigga. Again, he only tough on white people. And he gonna find the wrong, the wrong, the wrong white people for him are on their way to Dalton. You can bet that. Dalton is getting ready to be some smoke in the city because some of them auditors are coming and they not going for Chief Lacey bullshit. They not scared to go to no crime scenes. The crime, the, the shit's over. That's the thing about the police. They, the police are not there for any type of preventative measure. They pull the Andrew Holmes shit. They just show up after the fact, stand around, take pictures, do a couple of interviews and go home. All them, bro, every time you see some shit like that, when the smoke clears, it's only going to be one or two of them niggas that was there working on the case. Everybody else is just there. Shit, every time you drive past O Block, it's police there. People don't even realize that. If you go to where Von Mural is at, there's 12 there. Just so you know. <laughs> Am I lying? Andrew Holmes, I'm going to stop cooking your ass right here. But if I find anything more crazy, I'll be back tomorrow. Tiffany, ain't nobody trying to hear that I'm a black woman shit. I'm a black single mother shit. I ain't trying to hear that shit. Nah. I Look, here's what I... Look, this is what I'll say, Miss AJ. The exact shit I'm talking about before that NASCAR race last year, they lied. I'm not speaking saying them motherfucking kids don't ever do no shit. But they lied. And there's ways to prevent a lot of that shit from happening and they just don't do it. The police, when they know events are coming, the police presence should already be there if they was really trying to prevent it. But they don't. They wait until them niggas tear up shit and come there and crack some heads and leave. Chicago is the shit, bro. I don't have, I, I, I'm not one of them people who's just like, oh, nigga. I can't go to O Block. I can't go to Chicago because O Block there. And nigga, O Block is one shit over there, nigga. Stay away from over there and you're fine. <laughs> it's really not that. And then Chicago's so fucking big in the South Side. Bro, they got two baseball stadiums. If I got to go to Chicago just on some, on some real shit, when I go to Chicago, I'm excited. I don't ever go to Chicago nervous like, oh, man, I don't want to go there. Nigga, Chicago's cool, bro. Just stay out of trouble. Either way, I'm getting the fuck up out of here, man. Say goodnight to your boy.
Andrew Holmes, you made me stay on for five hours fucking with you, bro. But I told the village I'm on y'all head. And I want to know if you mess with that girl or not. And I'm going to find out one way or another. Trusty house may be in the building. Oh, boy. Kiki, Lucille, Tag, Latasha, Janice, 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 Janice. So if I ever miss again, use one of those. Kendra, Big, Miss AJ, Tag, Patrick, they lived in a million dollar house and stole collectible dolls downtown. Who? Who did that? What are y'all talking about? That nigga said that truck was crashed like his hairline. <laughs> that truck did look like his hairline after the fact. This lying ass nigga said he he said he ran 14 blocks to chase after and arrest a motherfucker. East Coast, get y'all some good breakfast, bro. This nigga wild the motherfucker. You have a great night, Mexican. Mexican, you need to go ahead and apply to be that nigga's, uh, you need to be like his PR team. Because he is that superhero. 5.30 a.m. on the East Coast, 4.30 a.m. Central. I'm hungry. I think I'm going to do breakfast this morning. Yeah, isn't it good? But then again, I'm probably lying. I love y'all to death. Hit that like button, subscribe, all that good shit, bro. I th Yes, uh, Big, I think we will be hitting Nickelodeon tomorrow. We got to talk about Drake and Josh, bro. Wasn't it Drake and Josh or Drake or whatever the fuck that nigga? It was the Drake nigga. And I don't think it was for Drake and Josh. It was Drake. It's, bro, it's, bro, again, it's a bunch of fucking kid shit from that shit. And we're going to have to go over that shit, too. So, we got more news from Dalton. We're going to touch on that Nickelodeon shit. I also want to touch on LeBron tomorrow and this nigga juicing. A couple things we're going to touch on tomorrow, too. But, Dalton, I'm keeping my, I'm keeping my eye on the prize. And, uh, obviously, if she do anything crazy, I'm going to have that. And looks like Trusty House is going to come talk to us. So, we got a lot of shit going down here at LSC. Geek, Steven. Rule number five, wicked. <sighs> Andrew Holmes, don't fuck with me. I ain't the one. All you had to do was stop fucking with that bitch. None of the video I saw from you, Andrew Holmes, made me think that that chick's lying. Everything I said is alleged, but, you know, when the facts come out, you know where I'll be, old nigga. And I ain't gonna be jogging, nigga. And Chief Lacey, don't think I forgot, nigga. That nigga won't his fade. Chief Lacey. Chief Lacey. That nigga won't his fade. Pussy. This is Chicago's very own WGN Evening News at 5. WGN Investigates has an update on a deficit of trust in the South Suburbs. It's leading mayors to urge their residents to vote no on a proposed tax for mental health services. And the mayors say the politician asking for that money can't be trusted. Investigative reporter Ben Bradley here with the story. Mental illness is real. I don't care what y'all say. Mental illness is real. But y'all have to be willing to do something about it. Illinois' largest township, which covers all or part of 17 south suburbs, wants to provide new mental health services and facilities and is asking voters to approve a new tax to pay for it. Me, Tiffany Henry, I support the tax. It's $42. The Thornton Township mental health tax would add an extra $42 per year on a $100,000 home. They hope to raise $2.9 million in all. Residents spoke for and against the tax Monday night. When we vote down your tax increase, I hope every one of the residents also vote down these trustees who supported you. Everybody hollering about their, this tax here, this tax there. 
If it's something that's dealing with mental illness, we got to do something about this. And if the township want to step up and do something, then hey, we ought to support them. 11 of 17 mayors who represent suburbs in the township, along with two Cook County commissioners and a state senator, penned this letter urging a no vote. They call it a needless and inefficient duplication of services. But but also add Township Supervisor Tiffany Henyard essentially can't be trusted with the money. Y'all should be ashamed of y'all stuff. Y'all black. Y'all are black. Yo, what's going on, boys? How are you? Yo, dab me up. Yeah, all right, damn. What part of the city are you from? That nigga yeah, built like a fucking potato, yeah. bro. <laughs> Take this. Oh, all right, sick. Uh, why don't you guys come inside? Don't scare me. These are the guys. I'm Octavius Gray. And I'm Steve. Steve Lavoie. It's okay, I bathed him in. I'm looking so fly. Sunset rooftop, yeah, that's nice. Pills. Right. Almost six hours of pain. I know you need that. Heart racing fast like the speed of light. Is this attraction? Nor is it the moonlight? You want satisfaction? But only for one night. This could be real love, but you've been broken. And I just want you to see. Tell that old ass nigga get the fuck out the street. God is great, bro. I love y'all so much. Have a great breakfast, bro. I love when I get off when the sun's coming up on the East Coast. I feel like I did my work. <laughs>